why are you guys all so negative in the pre-stream chat? You guys are so rude. We're going to get through everything in the title. Every last thing. I have a very precise, exact, punctual docket of everything that we're going to do. Top to bottom. There is nothing that is in the title that we will not touch tonight. Can we bet on it? No. <laughs> I'm not going to let you do that. That just gives you more reason to guilt me if it doesn't happen. And that's a big if. But I don't know. My power could go out again. My power could go out. My internet could drop. Could be anything that happens. What's good, claimers? Congratulations! Hey, look at all those first message claimers. Look at everybody showing up for their first gift sub. Congratulations, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I'm surprised you have stuff planned besides a fa Smash Factor watch party. Honestly, I'm okay to just watch this, maybe. <laughs> I had a full stream plan, and then I remembered this was on today. And I'm like, wait. <laughs> Maybe I'll just watch Smash Brothers. I don't know. Maybe we just full stream on Tuesday. But we're not even in top 16 yet, dude. It's still top 64. Like, this is so far away. You know? I want it only up 64. I want that too. Although I don't know if it's going to be fun watching me do it. Because I don't think I'm going to be good at it. That's already hard for good people. Thank you, Fridge SSBM. Thanks for the gifties. Gorilla Chad in the chat. Fridge Chad. Thanks for the five gifties. Watch all of 64. That's too much. Coney, check out Skibidi Toilets. Oh, I've already done that. I've, I've done watch the whole series. You know what else I watched? And this is not a, a joke. You guys are going to be surprised by this. Um, I watched two episodes of Twisted Metal. It is not bad. <laughs> okay. It is actually not bad. How much to guarantee a spot in the random bracket? Well, I mean, <laughs> hey, the money can solve all of our issues, right? I don't know what day we're doing it, um, and I don't know when we're opening up signups, but you know, we can make something work. You know what I'm saying? We could do. We could. I'm sure we could come to an agreement. <laughs> It depends on how many people are in it. If it's a 32-man bracket, that's probably like, I don't know, $500, I think. I think that's fair. If it's 64, I'll drop to 250. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, there's no money prize. I want you to know that. At least not yet. I'm trying to get other people in on it, but we'll see. No, I saw, uh, dude, I, I watched two episodes of Twisted Metal, and it's not bad. And I kind of see what the IGN uh, review was saying now about it being an all-or-nothing thing. That said, it is exceptionally low budget. Like, it feels cheap. Extremely cheap. It's nasty. Um, Coney embracing the future of the series, hashtag ad. I would kill to be sponsored by Twisted Metal. Absolutely. Even with the cast? That's the weird thing. It's got, like, Will Arnett... Anthony Mackie, uh, and some other people. I mean, Samoa Joe, but I don't know if he's, like, a big star. I don't know how much he asked for. But, yeah, dude, I thought it would be... I don't know. If it just feels so cheap. Does it feel like an indie film? Less than that. It's just kind of ugly and not well-produced. I don't even know how to put it. It's kind of rushed because all the episodes are only 30 minutes. But it's not terrible. Seriously. It's really not bad. I don't know about high school film. <laughs> Come on. Like the games. I guess kinda. I, you know, the games were always cheap fun, you know? When's the next Mojo Night? You know, it was supposed to be tonight. <laughs> I've got a, a docket of, of movies ready for tonight. But I don't know, because we also got... I, there's this. But this is top 64. There's so much left to go, dude. There is actually so much left. It's crazy. I think we do a bit of both. I think we can pop Mojo for a little bit. Check back in on Smash Factor, maybe top eight. 
I got a Honkai Star Rail bounty tonight, so let's get those viewers up. Right, fellas? <laughs> huh? We all agree, right? Let's all do it together. Come on. Let's stick around. <laughs> Kafka soon? I don't know who that is. I assume that's a Honkai Star Rail character. I'm in the mood for a sailor joke. Oh, I wish I could help you. I know no sailor jokes. Don't know a single one. You are not beating only up 64. I, d I make no pretenses. So I played it for a little bit on my 64, and that shit crashed over and over. So then I put it on my N Nintendo 64,000. Uh, and that worked beautifully. But I had to use my PS5 controller. Um, which is a little bit tougher. But yeah, I d it's hard, dude. Like... I don't know when I'm going to slip or not in Mario. I don't know when I have to do funny kicks, you know? It's so long. I didn't want to spoil it, so I don't know how long it is. Only Up is, is comically long, too. And for what? Like, I feel like most people are going to give up anyway. I can't believe they're sitting on it for that long, but... Yeah, th somebody made uh, a Mario only up. Hold on. Well, I shouldn't show you because I'm going to be playing it tonight for sure. Is only up 64 what I think it is? Yes, it's Mario 64, but only up style, which is very hard. <laughs> Dude, okay, so while we're talking about ads, my Twitch front page has had the same woman, and don't make the joke, this is has had the same woman who's doing body paint. And every single day, the, the, the title says, like, is this allowed? 18 plus, toss, whatever. And I showed my friends, and of course, everybody makes the same joke, which is like, you know, oh, it's based on your preferences. It's recommended, whatever. That's, I, it's not. You guys have the same thing? You have that same woman. I don't know. I don't know who's pushing her on the inside. <laughs> I don't know who at Twitch is a huge fan or what, but I don't know if maybe a lot of you guys are into it. And so it's like, well, if all these Coney viewers love that shit, let's send Coney to it too. But could you guys stop? I'm not, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> Coney, watch your words. Yeah, I went through like four different phrases in my head because I didn't want chat to analyze me and then they did that anyway so let me look at my twitch right now just to see and twitch can't ban me if I show you my front page because they did that okay she's not up there right now maybe she's not live <laughs> I'm telling you it's bad it's like day and night refresh the page <laughs> I'm scared. Just check my front page. And I don't see what you're talking about. I, it's probably, I don't think she's online right now. She had to have gone off. Yeah, there's somebody doing body paint on Twitch regularly. Uh, and they keep popping up on my front page. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> stop. No, thank you. Oh, really quick. Hold on. I wanted to bring this up. Fellows. Remember that you said we'll have Xenoblade Mondays. I never... Did I ever say that once? <laughs> if I did, I lied. We're never going to have Xenoblade Mondays. You got to sub to someone else for that. I probably did. I remember it clearly. That does sound like something I would say. I saw that a bunch of you guys were into Xenoblade, and I was like, you know what? Now's the time. Um. So, friend of the stream, Ritzler, has recently released a game called Pseudo Regalia. We love Ritzler here, and I wanted to tell you guys about it. Kaboom. Very positive. Look at that. Developed and published by Ritzler. It's only six bucks. Check it out. I think it's like a Metroidvania, like a 3D Metroidvania kind of deal. Not even 
sponsored. They didn't even tell me to do it. But the reason that I wanted to bring it up is because uh, this game, and the reason I have this on my other monitor is because my Steam is also very weird with my top selling, new and trending. Yep, here's Naughty College 18, but number two is, is Ritzler's game, which is great. Only behind Naughty College 18 plus. Fantastic. Love that. Do not mouse over it. I, I, I shan't. <laughs> Worry not. Um, but you should mouse over the subscribe button, because we gotta pop these ads in five seconds. If you don't want any ads, gotta drop a sub now. Subscribe with Twitch Prime or a Tier 1. See you guys in just a little bit. You know, I don't skip the first one. Maybe I'll drop a snoozy later, okay? I don't know why these games keep popping up on my new... Thank you, big-ass gorilla. Drop it. Um, but yeah, it's very high up. It's, it's good and upcoming. It was in upcoming, now it's in new and trending. Game's doing very well. And we're a big fan of Ritzler here, longtime friend of the stream. So check it out if you want to play a 3D Metroidvania in this kind of style. It's got good movement. I think I've seen Ritzler like tweet about um, like the process. You know what I mean? Getting movement down, getting stuff on. I think it's neat. Big ups to uh, Ritzler. Okay, back to Mutes. Everybody's talking about Mutes. Where's Mutes? That's not Mutes! <laughs> Mutes doesn't play Incineroar! Just filter them? Well, what if one of them comes up that I, you know... <laughs> I want to be open-minded, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to filter it, because then I'm never going to see it, you know? Wait, there's three streams? Wait, Smash Factor Gaming is a stream? Oh, shit, my bad. Hold on, let me, let me follow that. I feel bad now. <laughs> Fraud ace, said chat. Wait, shoot on. Oh my god, dude. This shit is stacked, stacked. Oh my god. Did you see Spargo get game five last hit against the Kirby? I didn't see that, but I saw the start of that set. I saw the beginning of that set, but not later. With this Smash Sunday and Evo next Sunday, Coney is eating good. I actually think I might be going to Evo. But I'm not sure. T. Gluto is going to happen soon. Oh, my God. Do I just watch this? Like, I might just fucking watch. I didn't want to watch Smash all day. But it's like, if these matches are this good, man. Uh, I want to see good matches. It's a good-ass major. That's what I'm saying. These are good-ass matches, bro. Look at the projected top 16. Oh, my God. Holy. That's a really good top 16, bro. <laughs> But I don't think we watch it all night because I don't want to watch all of Top 64. You know what I'm saying? I'm down to pop a couple movies. All right. Maybe we'll swap. We come back for like Top 8, Top 16. You feel me? How about that? We good? <laughs> Mario? Maybe we Mario Tuesday. Big Mario Tuesdays. Huh? We love Mario on Tuesdays. Come on. Everyone hates watching Ultimate until there's good games. Bro, just preach. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big fan of top 32 at a Super Major, which this is kind of giving me those vibes. Mexico is extremely good. Like, Mei, Mei doesn't get to travel much. He's very good. Um, you got Big Boss, who I was watching in here, who does get to travel, but not as much as some other people. So I didn't realize this tournament was this big, man. Top 32 is fantastic. That's like my favorite, yeah. I saw Zamba. Yeah, he's out. Mr. R went out at 33rd, something like that. So, Yeah, I can't believe that it went this crazy. Cosmos. Cosmos. Cosmos 49th. Is he doing that inkling bullshit? Is he back on that shit? No. 
Oh, lion ass. Saying he's really gonna focus. Yeah, you're really focusing on the inkling, huh? Cool, man. Totally. Stupid. He did play inkling? Ugh. I was gonna say, I'm surprised these two are meeting, but I guess they're in winners. Who did Tweak lose to? Cosmos talked shit about Zomba on his pod, then got 3 0'd for 49 Yeesh. Siski? Gotcha. Is the Roblox variety stream gonna happen? Uh, maybe Thursday, yeah. I've been thinking about that. I want to pop that on maybe Gameplay Thursday. We'll do that. Should be fun. Something that. I gotta make the Discord, like, the group to send, like, games and stuff, so. Okay, okay, okay. We'll come back maybe for Top 8. I don't know if I'm down for... <laughs> this happened to Cosmos. Hold on. Oh, I heard about this. I heard about this. I didn't see it, but I heard about it. <laughs> Uh-oh. That Terry is at 154. The Terry named Zol 3. I wonder what will happen. Surely Cosmos will be able to clinch this set and win the game with Pyra. Pyra can kill so easily. All he has to do is land this edge guard. Surely he'll land it. It could be almost the stock. It goes past the lead with his up B here, Snacks. It's going crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, he's dead. Oh, man. That rage was perfectly on deck for... Look at the... Uh, you guys know those memes with, like, the guy and the woman and they're standing where, like, it's straight line, curved line... You can see, based on the reticence that Cosmos put up, is you see the hand here is kind of contracted, right? It's not fully out. We're not giving it our all on this one. Was perfectly yeah, he's he's a little. You could tell he's pretty frustrated by that. Holy, was it really just air dodge in? Yeah, it's just air dodge in. That's it. Well, that's not the only mistake. The other mistake is this: getting youped. You gotta block that. Oh, did he try to spike it? Ah, uh, he thought he would go low. So he burst it up with that. That's a risky play. Because if Cosmos just shields and then F tilts. Right? Did he commit to that? No, he saw Cosmos jump and then do that. That looks like a reaction. Damn. Wise. Pre-DLC ult was so good. <laughs> I mean, like, these guys are both DLC. They are different levels of DLC, but they're both DLC, right? Unless that's the point you're making. No way that was reacting that's so soon. Oh, it might be. No, I guess not. I think it's less about reacting to the jump and more about reacting to shield down. Because, like, the shield drops, and then you don't think he's going to shield and then shield. You know what I mean? That's what I would assume. But... Ugh. No, it wasn't Pichu and Olimar were top two. That's the world I want to live in. Not Pichu, but Olimar. I love Olimar being good. I think Terry is mid-based. <laughs> I don't think Terry's that good, bro. I just think uh, Terry living to 154 is a crime, and you should go to jail for it or die. And I think Cosmos died. That shouldn't happen to you. Stop. Kill with any move. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Mute Ace. They call him Mr. Last Hit, and we're about to see why. <laughs> God, dude! I wanted to see why they call him Mr. Last Hit. I was curious. Why do they do that? Oh, we'll never know. We'll never know. What an elusive title that is. <laughs> oh, why do they call him that? He always gets hit, man. All right, how about this? A cheeky bit. <laughs> okay, so I I have I have a series of Mojo videos. And twenty six minutes ago, I shouldn't watch that. Top twenty 
commercial controversial commercials that were somehow not banned. Now, how how not banned are we talking? Like <laughs> like it's on YouTube, right? Am I allowed to <laughs> How bad is it? Right? How controversial are we are we saying, right? Mojo just shitting out vids, bro, like eight a day. Yeah. Yeah. Are we just watching Smash today? No, I, w I didn't even want to do Smash at all. I had a full stream ready, and then I realized that this tournament is goddamn stacked. So I think what we're going to do, start off with a little bit of YouTube, switch over to Smash Factor for top eight. So... One day we'll do eight vids a day. I I would I would die. <laughs> what human could do eight vids a day? I think DSP has done four vids a day <laughs> for a while. That guy's fucking crazy. Northern Lion. Oh, that's true. No, old let's players maybe. That's true. He dried up like like a cow, just totally shriveled, withered. Okay, let's uh let's do a cheeky bit of YouTube. Okay, maybe a bit. I actually I I I reached out to I don't know if you guys saw, uh I reached out to uh Tierzu because there's this whole conversation about React channels, what is and isn't okay, what's transformative, whatever. And I reached out to uh, Tirzu because that's my guy. I was like, hey, if you ever aren't okay with this, you know, just let me know because, you know, I respect you and the hell out of what you do. Um, and he's like, oh, no, it's fine. It's cool. I think the frustration is more with, like, huge YouTubers, like multimillionaires who just watch, which I didn't even realize was a thing, like just watching something without any input, which is crazy, right? Like, that's... And the reason that I, I sort of got tuned into it is because uh, that Let Me Know video, I think that's how you say it? I don't know. Let Me Know? I haven't actually watched it, but it's on my docket because it's like two hours long. And that's the one that everybody's talking about. So. People like XQC just eating food while letting it play. I Yeah, that one's a little... I don't know if people realize how much work goes into making those videos. You know what I mean? Editing, scripting, VO... Um, there's so much, right? It's crazy. Did I not follow this channel? I just hit the button. Maybe I unfollowed by accident. How are the alt view counts still so high? It's not bad. I thought it was kind of low, but it's across three streams, because this one's like 11, uh, 3, and that's the Spanish stream. So that's what, 14 plus 14, 28K? Not bad. So... Your React content got me into Carlito. Dude, uh, that's that's my dream scenario. I would love to react to people who I think are great and deserve more attention and just give them as much push as possible. I'm glad more people are into Carlito. Carlito's great. He feels like old YouTube. Doesn't feel like a performance. Doesn't feel like... Uh, I, I don't know how to put it. He's great. Big ups on Mute Ace, by the way. W, we love him. Dude, I, speaking of uh, staying at my house, because <laughs> Chatter said that they're staying here until they come over to the house, uh, I got one of those really... Okay, so I told you guys I've been playing the new league mode, right? Arena. And um, mostly it's been cool because in a one... Like, in a two-people scenario, people are generally cool and less, you know, toxic and fucked up. Um, but one game for fun, I tried to play something that's bad in Arena. And I did not, we did not do well. We had a bad team comp. I don't really give a shit. And I got a guy that was like psychotic. Like, I'm going to dox you, come to your house, say all this awful shit. And like, I really, really wish that I had a guy at Riot to like help me out with that. <laughs> if I could just get a guy at Riot to just like ban that guy, you know what I mean? Just. Fuck it, low You know what I mean? I want to I want to have the nepotism to be able to talk to a guy at Riot to just ban an account for free. Just one guy, you know what I mean? Who trusts me, who's like, listen, I don't want to ban just anybody, but this guy said some really fucked up stuff. So I got to find somebody to talk to. Just to be petty, based to be honest. Well, it's like one of those things that like people say that stuff and they never get in trouble or anything. 
and I don't I'm I don't get my feelings hurt or scared or anything because I've been on the internet forever. I know nothing's gonna happen, but I kind of just want these fucking like twenty two year old edge lords to like learn something. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you can't just say that awful ridiculous shit, you fucking geek. That's all I want. If you can do the thing we were talking about, I can introduce you to someone. Fuck yeah. I need to meet somebody that lives, that, that lives, that works at Riot. <laughs> that can ban people on, on site if I tell them to. That's what I want. Did you ever do Tribunal back in the day? Oh, fuck yeah. It's fantastic. I love that. If you're 22 and doing that, that's crazy. I, th I think you are. I think it's, I think the rage, or the age for like, Omega Ragers, even in the four fun mode, is like 19 to 23. That's my guess. I know people that work at Riot Games. No I mean, I know some people that work at Riot, but they wouldn't be able to be like, I want, I want shooters. You know what I mean? I need a shooter at Riot Games to just ban somebody if I send an email. Just be like, hey, take that guy out. Yes, sir. It's for sure 15 to 20, maybe. I think it's somebody, because I think young people still have the, um, how do I put this? I think if you're 15 to 20, you still have the optimism of youth. Like, you're still playing the game, and yeah, you're getting mad and saying some edgy, dumb shit. But, like, you're not going overboard because you still have the, the hope and the dream that, like, one day things will be better. I think that what you really see is from, like, older, like, mid-20s doomers that life hasn't quite worked out as they'd hoped, and now I'm in trouble. You know what I'm saying? That's the feeling I get. But maybe I'm not uh, as familiar with the generation, young generation as I think. <laughs> I think the guy that's raging at me and telling me he's going to kill my, my parents in their sleep in front of me or whatever the fuck, I think that guy had a plan and it didn't work out. You know what I mean? That guy's, that guy's mad about other stuff. <laughs> That's my feeling. If you're getting mad at the four fun mode in Arena because we played Ash Senna, you know, it's, uh, get, just take it easy, you know? Philosophy major? Hey, I'm a comms major. I can't say anything. All right, let's do some mojoing. I have a wonderful cut, a fine selection of mojo for you tonight. I hope. I don't know. You know it's always, it's, always, <laughs> it's up in the air. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. Young guys throw controllers at their grandparents. Yeah, that's true. Well, if their grandma's talking shit, right? You can't really blame them. Stop it, Mammy. <laughs> oh, did Mute Ace die? Oh, what the fuck? No, man. I like Shuton, though. I'm big up. Dude, Shuton is coming to SmashCon, and if I do that Dandori bracket, he says he might enter. Which is cool. Please. He apparently is a big Pikmin guy. Which is great, because most Olimar all, all players don't really give a shit about that. Okay. Tonight's a Watch Mojo kind of night, but it's all gaming. All gaming all night, I think. Unless a different video catches my eye. <laughs> oh, wait, where's the... Okay. <laughs> Unless Theme Park pops up. No, 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 no. Theme Park Crazy uploaded a video, but it's an L. It was, is not what I'm into. Okay. It's not, it, it's, it's fine for a personal viewing, but maybe not for the stream. So. All right. That was a bad clap. I thought something was on my hand. Fellas, welcome back to React Mojo, the only series on the internet that tests Watch Mojo's claims. If you don't know what Watch Mojo is, they put out eight top ten videos a day. Videos like ten actors who actually did it on set. Ooh. <laughs> or the top twenty worst things Mr. Burns has done. I'd love to see that. What about the top 10 dumbest things Chris Griffin has ever done. There's a wide selection of that. He does act rather foolish on occasion. Or maybe... <laughs> There's one more. Hold on. Where's the one I was looking for? Because I made this joke on another one. The top 10 most evil people... In all... 
The top 10 most evil people in Australian history. Don't watch that one. It's not funny. It's, it's kind of sad. There's a Canadian one, too. They've done Canada, Australia, Britain. I don't know if they've done America yet, but... <laughs> Crikey. Yeah, okay. There is tons of videos for you to watch. But me, I'm interested in just one today. And by one, I mean a couple, because I've got a couple videos. Which one of these do I pick? Which one's easier to clickbait for Vince? I'm trying to make Vince's life easier. Did the number one Canadian knock down a trash can or something? No, I think he, like, kept people tied up in a basement and tortured them. I think he, he was kind of bad, actually. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I don't know if that's true, by the way. That might not be true. Oh, shit, that guy. No, I think that guy was German. The guy that you're... That you're oh, shit. Am I... Are we talking about the same guy? I feel like it's happened more than once. I don't know. That trash can thing sucks, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that does suck that that happened. Yeah. Coney, what's the Raichu video? Oh, my bad. Top 10 Pokemon battles where they took zero damage. That one seems shitty. Yeah, only 24K. That doesn't seem good. Okay. All right, we're going to do this one because it seems easier to clickbait. This one's for Vince. These are the top 10 video game series that went downhill. L, these games fell off and they're never coming back. I, I think I know what number one is. <laughs> And maybe it's just me. It, I know it's Silent Hill. It has to be Silent Hill, and I'm so sad about that. But fuck Mass Effect. I never thought this series was good. I see a couple Sages in the chat. I was never into this one. I heard Mass Effect 2 is like one of the best games ever made, but I played one, and it was mad boring, so I'm not touching that. From dealing with it's Halo? Oh, that's a good answer. Everything. It might be Halo. Yo, it's my boy Deuces in the building! Let's go! <laughs> Deuce is in the studio. I love this guy. Deuce is one of my favorite guys on the channel. Number one is Sonic? No, no. Sonic still sells well for some reason. I don't know why that is. We'll be looking at notable game franchises that took a dip in quality. They have yet to truly return <laughs> a dip. However, I don't know why you said it like that. Including games that killed their franchises outright. Which of these makes you the saddest? Oh, this one, actually. Oh, my God. It's crazy to me that Nintendo put out Star Fox 64, which was, like, peak. The best game they've ever made in that series. And then they just were like, I don't know. <laughs> what do we do now? Uh, Let's try to make it again. Oh, that didn't work. Put that shit on the Wii U. Oh, no. They literally can't figure it out. They had it right on 64 a long time ago. Know of any other? That's so sad. Let us know in the comments down below. Number 10. Halo series. Nah, that should be higher, dude. That should be so much higher. Series. This was like a global phenomenon. Halo changed the world, man. I need you. Donkey Kong is going to be on here. I think Donkey Kong is just dead. <laughs> The Xbox you know what's really sad, by the way? My daughter's really into the Mario movie right now. She loves Donkey Kong, and I don't know... I don't have the heart to tell her you will never see him in a video game. <laughs> she loves Donkey Kong. She does, like, the beating the chest thing. She thinks it's so funny. And I'm just like, sweetie, he's dead. He's gone. Donkey Kong is never coming back. And Halo began a beautiful... Highly beneficial relationship Just let her play the old Microsoft games. How am I going to do that? She's going to play Fortnite one time and never want to play those. Halo Reach, after which Bungie moved on to other projects. But before that release, a new studio was founded to take over the reins. 343 Industries. 2012's Halo 4 Damn, was that a shit looks strong good. entry, even if it didn't quite measure up to the others. Was Halo 4 the most recent one? The open world one that like everybody loved or hated? But things took a dip soon after. The Master no. Chief Collection had an incredible Oh, that was infinite. Yeah, 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 that was infinite, right. by bugs and matchmaking issues. 2015's Halo 5 Guardians is seen by fans as the low point of the mainline series, especially due to its lackluster campaign. The long-awaited Infinite earned back some goodwill, but the franchise's peak seemed to have long Wait, passed. Wait, why do I even add? What? Bro, what? What happened? 
Okay, th this shit just snuck an ad past me. A minute long? What happened there? Did it change? But hold on. <laughs> Toyota Thon jump scare? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Did they change my ad times? What? No. That's so Hi, weird. Connie have Donkey Kong 60 for be her first game. <laughs> no. And it worked great for me. <laughs> no. Depressed. No, she's going to think that every single game is 60 hours long. She's going to be so sad when I show her Donkey Kong Country and it's like an hour. <laughs> she's never going to want to play a game again. Donkey Kong 64 is one of the worst first games you could show somebody. Ridiculous. Number nine. Dude, yeah, it's giving me ads every 20 minutes. What the fuck? Why? Hold on, let me edit this. Huh? It's... Why is it overwriting what I said? So I have it so that every hour it's three minutes. And now it's doing every 20 minutes it's one minute. I can snooze it, but... That's weird. And I edited the schedule, so I don't know why it's still doing that. Because I didn't change anything. That's really annoying, Jeff. Let me try it again. Twitch being awesome. Dude, I don't... Okay. I'll just snooze it. Uh, I don't... I don't... This is annoying. If you tab out the ads, pause as well. Not sure if that's true. Woo! That sucks. I'll snooze it. We'll see. Jeff Bezos has assumed direct control. Yeah, I don't know what Jeffy B's up to. I don't know why he changed my shit. I thought it was because it was... De Whoa! I thought it was because day one... Of of August, but it's July still. So, whatever. I'll I'll snooze. I'll pop a couple snoozies. All right. We're gonna try to make it to an hour. We'll see if it fixes. Okay. Mass Effect series. Yeah, this one is just over. I feel like this one did fall off. It's just like it's over. Despite Bioware's established, there's nothing left you could do. RPG developer, 2007's Mass Effect still blew everyone away. The emphasis on player choice was monumental and intrinsic. Four is coming out? D yeah, but it's not by the same devs, right? The original Really? Trend. Rather, we should say it was intrinsic throughout most of it. Mass Effect 3's simplistic ending it literally is. a lot of okay, passionate well, players. Good luck. <laughs> Some even organized the retake Mass Effect campaign and drew the attention of government bodies over product misrepresentation. 2017... Wait, what? Hold on, I didn't hear the government bodies over... ...passionate players. Are you talking about okay. the ending? Mass Effect 3's simplistic ending angered a lot of passionate players. Some even organized the retake Mass Effect campaign <laughs> and drew the attention of government bodies over product misrepresentation. Oh! We got the authorities involved because the ending was so bad. That was the ending with the three colors, right? You could be red, blue, or green. I didn't realize that, like, the government was about to step in. That must be, like, a... I guess that's, like, a... That's, like, a gamer moment, though. They got laughed off. Yeah, I was gonna say, that didn't go anywhere, did it? That was, like, when everybody made a petition for literally everything. Never mind. In 17's Andromeda, which was handled by a new team during a fraud. No, Metroid's period, not in this list. Not after Dread. People love it now. Smooth things over. The biggest impression it made on the public's radar consisted of bugs and laughable facial animations. Bioware is currently working on a new game, which we hope returns the series to glory. It will not. Number eight, Star Fox. <laughs> okay, I thought that was Peppy. I thought that was Peppy. I was like, huh? <laughs> I thought Peppy Though made that it sound. It doesn't look like much today. 1993. Star Where did Peppy get a trumpet in space? Games. Would it even make a sound in space? Next entry, Star Fox 64 was even more This game more had one good game. This series has had one good game. It didn't fall off. It had one game. It was this. Sadly, the franchise left its innovative days behind long ago. Damn. 2002's adventure <laughs> was seen by most as a. I have never seen that crawling animation. Long ago. Oh, the climbing one. Look at this. 2002's Adventure. Pro is throwing himself into it. Look at the tail swishing. Adventures like. 
was it's like a part of it. By most as a He's got to get his spine into code. it. Assault and command put Fox back in the cockpit, yet still didn't leave much of a This mark. does look good. A Assault does look pretty good. Followed by this is the Wii U one, right? Star Fox Zero, whose controls were too awkward to thoroughly enjoy. It was nice to see the canceled Star Fox 2 get released in 2017, ugly. but it certainly wasn't the new installment fans wanted. Ugh. Number 7, Guitar Hero <laughs> Series. You know what's weird? There are people alive. There are people in this chat right now who didn't live through this. The whole wave of peripherals where you just had like a box in the corner of your room with like drums and three guitars and all that bullshit, all the peripherals, DJ turntables. It's just all For these plastic toys. Years, we all subscribe to the fad of playing real rock songs with fake instruments. And it was glorious. But there's a good reason it only lasted a the short The peak period. of Friday pizza nights? Oh, baby. You get that two liter of Pepsi with a stuffed crust? Oh, dude. Harmonics Make a brand new band and rock band. Be up till 3 a.m. When Activision acquired publisher Red Octane... Is that Kurt Cobain? <laughs> no, right? You didn't put Kurt Cobain in the video. Yes? No, you're kidding. No, they didn't do that. No. 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 No, he's dead. It can't be. That's why I'm so surprised. He should be dead. Did they get his blessing? Wait, no, that's definitely Dave Grohl, right? Because Dave Grohl was the... That's not Dave Grohl. It might be. Acquired publisher. That's fucking David. How did they get the rights to put Kurt Cobain in? In what? Oh, dude, Red that's Octane, crazy. As well as the series. He'd be mad as hell. That is Dave Grohl. Oh my god. Mountain of releases. In 2009 alone, we that's got entries up, specific man. to Van Halen and Michael Jackson and Johnny Cash too. Oh, dude. Yeah, but the the Cobain one is different. Like, Johnny Cash and Michael Jackson is, uh... Wait, you can make Cobain sing anything? You're kidding. You can make... I, I want to make Kurt Cobain sing Hip to Be Square. <laughs> By Huey Lewis in the news. Yeah, just something that really represents his ideology to a T. He would love that. That's what he's into, yeah. Another one bites the dust. Have Kurt Cobain sing My Way by Frank Sinatra. There we go. That's fucked up, dude. I can't believe you're allowed to do that. And Metallica. Spinoffs band. I made him sing Best Day Ever by SpongeBob as a kid. <laughs> Why can you do that? Why can you have Kurt Cobain in the that's that's unbelievable. And hero and can you make him sing Trogdor? I was gonna say, can you make him sing the Timmy song from uh the South Park? DJ Hero as well as the mainline guitar na, na, hero. Na, 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 na. It didn't help that <laughs> Harmonix was also milking the rock <sighs> band series around the same time. By the time 2015's Guitar Hero Live was released, not many players Is he he's cancelled, right? James Franco, is he? Yes? Okay. <laughs> Resulting I didn't know if that was like a, I didn't know what came of that. It was one of those things that like it got announced and I was like, okay, and I didn't read anything else about it. Kind of, maybe, not really. Okay, whatever. Number six, Battlefield series. Battlefield should just embrace the weird shit, like the tank going up the, the, the building, the skyscraper. Oh, dude, just send Battlefield that, Battlefield may still be one of the biggest FPS franchises all around. But we can't deny... <laughs> Who the fuck stuck to the carrier? Press Alt F4 for God mode. I hate you, Scorpio. This was a better time. An Look obvious at this right decline there. in quality over the past few Love entries. That. Beginning with the original, <laughs> Battlefield 1942, the series set itself apart Everybody from other Everybody in the alt chat just FPSs screaming at each other. large-scale maps and greater focus on teamwork. Since then, it's cultivated a robust online community. Drive the tank Though up the building. That community grows weary with Put that shit up the parking release. garage. Both Battlefield 4 and Hardline still had fun multiplayer, though their campaigns left a lot to be desired. Following the bright spots of Battlefield 1, 2018's Battlefield 5 was bland and lacked originality. One day, we're going to have another World War II phase where all these guys are going to be like, you know what? We need to do another D-Day. 
I need another D-Day scene. And they're going to go all the way back, and then you're going to be on D-Day playing that scene again. COD tried that. They're going to do it again. <laughs> I didn't mean we need another D-Day. Like, I'm not proposing another D-Day. I mean, in the they're going to say that in the game, not me. <laughs> we literally just got one a couple years ago. Yeah, that means we're due for another one. That shit kept popping up, bro. Like, they had World War II. I think this is, like, their fourth cycle now of World War II games. We need, like, a... <laughs> We need, like, a new war, right? Call of Duty and Battlefield getting kind of lazy. We need something else to, like, inspire them, you know? However, 2042 was the last straw for many, as it came with a <laughs> myriad of bugs. Bro, I, I, if I was, if, I, dude, if I was in that marketing room at Call of Duty or Battlefield, I would have a tie-in with Oppenheimer immediately. If you get a 50 kill streak, watch out. And not nearly enough worthwhile features. <laughs> you, 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 if you, if you drop the Oppenheimer bomb, you it, literally you only get one more point than the enemy team because everybody on both teams dies, but except you because you're Oppenheimer. <laughs> Fifty kill stream pops a three hour cutscene. Number five, Prince of Persia series. That's what I'm saying, man. Down, they rose to fight again. What began as an obscure <laughs> cut all. series found new life when Ubisoft revitalized Prince of Persia with 2003's The Sand of Time. Not how you say that word. Strangely, after a couple of well received <laughs> sequels, Ubisoft rebooted with the strange. What kind of combat maneuver is this? Strangely, after yep. a couple of well received sequels, Ubisoft that was kind of cool, actually. I like 2008 that. Release. The cell shaded style and true Dark Souls like skeleton DLC attack just lunging at you. Way. And Ubisoft will go back to the former continuity with 2010's The Forgotten Sands. Uh. Neither this entry nor the 2008 reboot measured up to its predecessors. The success of Assassin's Creed, similar in both gameplay and tone, prompted Ubisoft to leave the prince behind. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I guess these are similar. Why would you have two series that are kind of the same thing? Huh. Survival of the fittest? I guess so. I never really thought of that. Interesting. Since then, we've only got Damn, his ass is in the mobile game. Let him out! And two endless runner spinoffs. User, one. please. Let me escape the mobile was realm. Announced in 2020, but was delayed indefinitely following backlash to the trailer's visuals. Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time. That looks ugly. Number four, Medal of Honor series. I forgot this was a series, dude. We had too much of this shit. I'm glad there's only one left. I'm glad one of them won. This shit is dead, dead. Wait, it got that VR game. Yeah, the one that was like actually the World War II stories or whatever, which is a cool idea. It seems Battlefield isn't the only military FPS that EA doesn't know what to do with. There was a time when Medal of Honor stood as tall as Call of Duty, with harrowing <laughs> stories and pristine gameplay. Oh. For an impressive 12 installments, it put players 12? in the middle of World War II. However, when Call of Duty moved into an era of modern warfare, Medal of Honor attempted to do the same. The 2010 reboot followed Aww. the war in Afghanistan, and while Aww. financially successful, was it nearly as impactful as Call of Duty's jump to the present? Uh, honestly, Call of Duty being able to do, like, modern shit is such a big boon, as opposed to Medal of Honor, which kind of just... You run out of wars, man, and you can't touch every war, because then it's going to get weird, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you, you don't want to really touch the, the Vietnam War for a, a lot of reasons, right? The Civil War is even worse. Yeah, imagine a war about a civil war. Dude, a game about a civil war might have been okay back then. Like, maybe the early 2000s, right? Now, good lord. Uh, you're out of games. Or you're out of wars now. You you have nowhere left to go. Just keep making World War II. It's sequel. Meanwhile, Modern Warfare could just make shit up. 2012's Warfighter dropped further they went to space due to poor visuals, AI, and technical performance. You know who's obsessed with the Civil War setting? Grand strategy players. Really? Like the big 4X or like 8X or whatever? 
I see those games, and I've never seen more than three minutes of them because I go right to sleep. Something shuts off in my brain. My brain releases some kind of, like, escape eject chemical. Get the fuck out of here. Pfft. The series has since stayed quiet, except for 2020's VR title, this Above is the and Beyond. And putting you as the player on an adventure that spans some of the biggest moments of the war. Number three, Tony Hawk series. Uh, uh, I mean, how do you... There will always be a soft spot in our hearts for the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series. How do you explain this to a Zoomer? Like, how do you explain why this game is fun? This is probably one of the hardest games to explain to a Zoomer why it's so good. You know what I mean? I don't think you can. Movement game? Yeah, this game looks like ass. I get it, yeah. It, it, uh. Original Subway Surfer? Maybe. There's got to be a way to, like, explain why this felt so good and so unique. But you can't make one of these now. It just wouldn't really hit, you know? Even after Pro Skater was dropped I know they the had game, the remake, but that's like a nostalgia American thing, American Wasteland you know? were still solid entries. Unfortunately, the series began to dip in quality during the Did the, the remake late... do bad? No, apparently uh, the remake did great, but they still crushed the 3 and 4 remake. Because it didn't do great enough. Because they were going to remake 1 and 2 and then 3 and 4, but they killed 3 and 4 some, for some reason. I don't know why. 2000s due to a lack of innovation. The peripheral-based ride and its sequel, while unique, were awkward and clunky to play. Activision attempted to bring back the Pro Skater brand with this a looks fifth cool. release in 2015. Apparently it's buggy as hell, but it looks it pretty. But as it was a slapdash mess made only to retain the license, it was criticized accordingly. It was nice to get a remastered bundle of the first two games in 2020, but the series is definitely past its prime. Damn. I'll never forget the feeling of joining these lobbies and, like, <laughs> they, they, how do I explain this? I felt like one of those really old pool sharks going into a pool hall full of, like, you know, 20, 30-somethings, and I'm, like, 60, and I just fleece everybody, just like a shark. I've never felt more gapped. <laughs> yeah, like, I felt like I was the old pool shark walking into the hall. I fucked up everybody in these lobbies. Because playing Tony Hawk is, like, a skill that you never forget. You know what I mean? It's like it, it's like riding a bike. And I would, like, gap the second person by, like, double. Playing online in this was fantastic. Number two, Fable series. This shit's a meme. Why did you ever play this? Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> You're a victim. You got tricked by Molyneux. Old PDM fleeced you. Don't tell me you forgot to get a one. <laughs> My bro what is he on? What the hell happened here? God forgot to give him eyelids. Well, just skin. I'm bailing you out this time, oh son. <laughs> He's what. off the enchanted Zaza. Oh my god. I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. <laughs> Despite Peter Molyneux's unfulfilled promises, the Fable series managed to find itself an <laughs> audience. Goofy By the time kid. Fable 3 was released in 2010, the series was at its peak, though things started going south soon after. The cutesy and shallow Fable heroes and the connected the schools this? of Fable The Journey offered a double dose of mediocrity in 2012. Bro said mediocrity. <laughs> The multiplayer centric oh, he's new. He's new. was in development, he's new. but it was canceled in 2016, after which developer Lionhead Studios... Is that a word? Oh my god, it's real. That's a real word. But he didn't use it right. <laughs> Mediocracy. It's, it's, it's like idiocracy. Yeah, I feel foolish now. I didn't think that was a real word. I mean, he didn't use it right, regardless. He clearly used the wrong word. But still, I'll give it up. Sure. Close. That's fine. The only game to release since was Fable 14, a free-to-play digital card game. Microsoft Fable 14? Has since admitted Wait, that's fortune. This guy is sleepy. 
What the hell is this guy up to? What what happened to this reader? <laughs> they are really pumping these videos out, man. This poor dude had to get eight videos out that day. He just rushed through all that. Long day at the script reading workshop. Unironically, probably. This poor guy, man. It's like a sweatshop in there, man. They make so many videos and somebody's got to do the VO. Did that forcing line head to develop? Not as uh, glamorous as you might think, being a VO artist for Watch Mojo. <laughs> Fame and fortune is very elusive there. For Connect was a bad call. Gotta grab the brass Hopefully, ring. It's much nicer to Playground Games, which is currently developing a new installment. Fable is a meme series, and you guys are gonna fall for it. <laughs> Not me, though. Not all stories have happy endings. Number one is Silent Hill. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Before we continue, maybe maybe it's just me. Maybe it's too I'm too sensitive. Maybe it's too close to the bone. It's silent. Be sure to subscribe to our banjo. Channel and Banjo's ring the bell dead. To get banjo hasn't fallen off. Banjo's videos. just dead. You have the option to be notified. Silent for Hill videos is, is they keep trying to do if something. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch it's on It's Silent Fucking Hill, dude. Number one, Silent Hill series. And you want to know why? Because we got PT. We got one of the coolest things ever made, one of the neatest pieces of media, one of the scariest things ever created. And they made that, and it was fantastic, and then they took it away, and it's nowhere, and you can't play it anywhere now. It's just gone. Yeah, Banjo fell off with Tui. Banjo had one good game, and maybe the Game Boy one. I didn't play it. Like, like, some series are okay to die, right? Some some series, like, they run their course, they say their thing, and it's like, okay, that was fun for its time. Let's leave it in the past. It's it's just kind of got old. Silent Hill could have gone so many different ways, and then they just didn't. Although it hasn't had a mainline game in a decade, Silent Hill still commands a lot of respect from horror fans. <laughs> the franchise's quality I forgot his ass was that slow. The entry stopped being numbered. Though, it certainly went out on a sour note. 2012 saw the releases of Book <laughs> oh, of Memory, yeah. a forgettable dungeon crawler spinoff. 12 saw the releases of Okay, I get this. I, I think I might Book get that. Memories, what the hell is happening in this room? What is this perspective? Why are we in the baby room? Why are we dungeon crawling in the nursery? What could what loot could they have? Forgettable dungeon crawler spin. <laughs> the flaming pyramid head. Oh no. no. Coney, is the remake of two going to suck? Undoubtedly. I will bet any amount of money. I have zero faith in Bloober Team, dude. It is going to be a fucking disaster. They they did an interview recently. Hold on. They did an interview recently where they said they weren't worried about making it like scary. I don't know how to put it. I forget what the quote was. Ah, here we go. So, this is a story. Uh, with Silent Hill 2, Bloober Team is entering a new phase of its existence as a horror developer. So, if you don't know Bloober Team or what games they made, they made uh, Layers of Fear. And Layers of Fear is the game with that one trick where you're walking down a hallway and then there's a wall in front of you and you're like, oh, let me turn around. And you turn around and there's another wall in front of you. And oh my god, Oh, it's so crazy. Oh my god, am I going insane? And then you turn around and then a baby runs into a dresser. The game is is bad. And it does that trick like eight times in two hours and then the game is over. I think more people know it because the baby running into the dresser and Jerma laughing about it than for anything else. The game is bad. So anyway, Blooper Team made one good game called Observer, which is fantastic. And then they fucked up everything else. And they gave this interview where they said, we'd still like to make meaningful games. They haven't. We would still like to keep our DNA to tell stories about things which are important to us. They didn't. They played, they made Blair Witch, which was bad too. However, not by environmental storytelling, but by full action to have much more mass appeal. And I think this is the reason why we chose Silent Hill. So after, after like four different American studios took Silent Hill and tried to make it more action oriented with like Downpour and Homecoming, they kept trying to do action stuff. And then Silent Hill was like, all right, well, this action shit isn't working. 
So what do we do now? And then they give it to Bloober Team, and Bloober Team is like, I got an idea. <laughs> I know what to do. If I was Konami, I would be mad as hell. They're trying to catch up to Capcom and failing. That's a oh, that's interesting. You think they're trying to go like the action route, like a Resident Evil Four, like try to pivot the series, and then, I mean, that's that ship has sailed. There's no way to do that now. I've never played Silent Hill, but isn't that the exact opposite of what makes Silent Hill too good? Yeah, kind of. Like you can't. I don't know how you make Silent Hill two into an action game, because like one of the things that Silent Hill two does is like. Your character, James, is not good at fighting. And it's an intentional choice. Or it's just cope. And people have said it's an intentional choice just for limitations at the time. Maybe they were just really bad at designing combat. But it creates this situation where you don't want to fight stuff. And now they're like, yeah, we want to have action to be mass appealing. Which it's not going to be. This is going to be very bad. So. I don't know. They have not made a meaningful game. No, that's not true. Observer is very good. If you guys want a good walking sim game that's interesting and, and thought-provoking, play Observer. It's good. It's the one good game they made. It is a complete ripoff of, like, Blade Runner, <laughs> but it's still neat. They have fun stuff. It's a good game. But this is going to be so bad. This remake, dude, I will bet any amount of money on it. Metacritic score of... 73 and which is not good you're gonna say oh my god that's so good it's a c it's not good poor which suffered from 65 that might be better and dull yeah. creature design in 2014 a playable oh. teaser for a new game from hideo Kojima. if you guys haven't Guillermo played this you should really build a time machine you should invest all of your savings to figure it out bro scared the collective pants this off shit was everyone. cool man but as we know Kojima's falling out with Konami would ensure its tragic cancellation. Oh. New entries and a remake of Silent Hill 2 are currently in development. But until then, the outcome of Silent Hill remains... They won't let me re-download it? Dude, yeah, I can't believe they took it away from people and then just... So if you haven't played Silent Hill 2, you probably have seen this, and I'm sure you've heard this from like a million people. The reason this is fucked up is because this guy is not supposed to exist outside of Silent Hill 2. He is a manifestation of, of James's psyche, and now he has become the fucking trademark guy for the franchise, which isn't necessarily, like, a bad thing if they didn't overuse it like crazy. He's supposed to be for James only, yeah, but now he's a mascot, and he's in everything. And I wouldn't mind if he was in, like, Dead by Daylight, whatever. It's non-canon. It's a fun series, whatever. But, like, he's in fucking everything, man. Freddy Krueger, yeah. Did you enjoy this video? It was pretty good. Not a bad video. But uh I don't I don't know if I agree with it, because I think Halo should have been higher. But you know what, Watch Mojo, sometimes you're gonna miss. When you pump out eight videos a day, sometimes it's a W and sometimes it's an L. But I need more bad games. That wasn't bad enough bad games for me. I want more terrible games. Well, how about the worst games? How about games? That were so bad, they were recalled or delisted. <laughs> now, I don't know a lot of these stories. I actually don't know what these are. I'm curious. I know the E.T. one, right? Probably E.T. is on here. But have you ever seen a game so bad they had to take it back? I saw Mickey Mouse on this shit, and I was like, huh? <laughs> what is this game? Oh, like P.T. Yeah, like P.T. Get that guy. The I can't even ban you. You're a mod. He has a sword. He can defend himself. Mickey Mouse game. I've played a lot of Mickey Mouse games. I've never seen this one. I don't I don't know what game this is. I've got a bunch of I played all the Mickey Mouse games because I loved this shit when I was a kid. Cooking Mama Cookstar is gonna be on here. Oh yeah. That was the one where a guy tricked people into thinking Nintendo made a Cooking Mama game, right? That one's funny. Oh, this is Fantasia. I didn't know this was a game. <laughs> Welcome to what? Wait, what? <laughs> this shit looks like a bootleg. What the fuck is that? Welcome to Is that Watch a real Mojo. game? 
And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10. Oh, we got Callum on this one. I'm not a big fan of Callum. Bad games that were recalled or delisted. Is that... That's, um... Afro Sim... What's that called? What's that series called? My friend was really into it. Afro Samurai? Okay. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> Samurai Champloo! What? No? No, what Afro Samurai. Samurai. Okay, whatever. I did, whatever the fuck. I'm done. <laughs> no, what? I thought that's what it was called. For it had the list, big the we'll bear guy. At universally disliked games that were either recalled or delisted from digital stores, regardless of the reason Samurai for doing so. We aren't including Atari's infamous ET oh. game as burying unsold copies in a landfill isn't exactly a recall. Oh. I thought that was going to be number 1. We also okay. aren't including games like Cyberpunk 2077, which has made a strong comeback following being delisted from the PlayStation Store. Bro, honestly, I feel like Cyberpunk on base PS4 should be as valuable, if not more so, than PT now. Because that sounds extremely funny. Have you guys ever seen footage of Cyberpunk on base PS4? It is ridiculous. <laughs> it is... Hilarious. Turn your PS4 into a nuclear bomb. You can become death. You can be Oppenheimer in this one funny step. You download this CDPR game and you am become death. So easy. Did you play any of these bad games before it was Well, too I don't late? know. Tell me Share the list your thoughts I will. in the comments. I will. I always do. There's no code. No honor. No rules. Oh yeah, Walking What's Dead had like five different chaos. Games. Number ten, Babylon's Fall. I don't know this one. Welcome. Wait, is this the platinum one? <laughs> Developer Platinum Games. Yeah, is one of the didn't I do a bounty for this? Biggest names in the action. No, genre. I didn't do a bounty but for that this. One. I did a bounty for Godfall or whatever, and right? Babylon's Fall stands no, I did as Godfall. the biggest example. Despite being an action RPG, Platinum's bread and butter, the Square Enix published release didn't have much going for it. Combat yeah. was dull, progression was confusing, and basically no one wanted any of the live service elements. I'm told it's a fool's errand anyway. What is this music? Word has it. <laughs> These coffins will fill us. Do banjo too, yes, music with the frog At in launch, it. it sold very Jolly poorly Roger and Saloon. only reached about 1,200 players on Steam. Things didn't look That's up as time bad. went on, and the decision was made players? to delist the game from digital stores only six months after release. I feel like 1,200 players isn't that bad, is it? I guess for being like AAA or whatever. Servers also. It's an MMO. Oh, <laughs> oh. See, I thought it was platinum, so I thought it was like you know a combat action game. Shut down in February of 2023, making all physical copies useless. There are rules, and then there's common sense. They released around the same time Elden Ring did. <laughs> Yeesh. Elden Ring dropping the, at that time of year was like a, a fucking atom bomb, just in the middle of January, just. <laughs> All right, good luck, every other game. Hope you can do Elden Ring. <laughs> Same Poor Horizon. Ever. Number nine, Too Human. Dude, I remember this God. one because I, I loved Eternal Darkness, and Eternal Darkness guys made this game, and I thought it would be good. But then there's, like, a weird, like, lawsuit thing. We are on a vital mission to uphold justice. Stop with the fucking bomb references. I don't mean to do it! gonna be a rough trip. Silicon Knights released I'm in my some bomb solid era. games in its time, but I'm Too Human pill. certainly wasn't one of them. The blend of sci-fi and Norse myth could have been interesting, though most felt the Strauss controls, graphics, chat. and long load Oh, by times. the way, uh, d d I'm related to anything. I saw Barbie. It was great. Barbie was, was very good. I did not see Oppenheimer, but Barbie was very good. Is Ken funny? Extremely. Ryan Gosling is amazing. This is this is his best role. I I think the movie was a little uh in being so heavy-handed and having trying to say so much, it was a little clunky, but I think it doesn't matter when the story elements really aren't you're not supposed to think about them and they're more in service to the messaging. Um 
So it was kind of weird, like, when you think about it, but, like, that's not what it's supposed to be, which is fine. It was great. Is it a kid's movie or a Coney movie? I, I don't, Somewhere in between, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know where to what to, what to make of that. It's not a kid's movie. I can tell you that at all. Definitely not a kid's movie. Didn't Some people need it laid out like that. It felt very on the nose and thick, but I don't think that's bad because, like, that's in service of the characters because the characters are supposed to be very simple and, like, base, uh, which is kind of the point, which is fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but if you went into it expecting, like, uh, a subtle satire or whatever, uh, you're not getting that. But it was a great movie. Very good movie. By the way, ads in 15 seconds. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm getting so many. I'm getting another one in 30 minutes. I popped all my snoozies. I'm dropping the ad bomb right now. It's about to explode all over the chat. Hide in the Prime Bunker. Drop a Twitch Prime for the password into the Prime Bunker. Or Tier 1 for only $4.99 a month. That is your ad bunker dues for the month. Go ahead and pay up. It's going to come down. It's dropping. Here it comes. <laughs> I have something specifically for this. Let me see if it'll... Um, hold on. Hopefully the ad doesn't pop before I do this. Uh-oh! Red alert! Red alert! Ads are cut! It doesn't really work with the lights on as much as the other place. Oh, no! Red alert! Watch out for the ads! The ads are dropping! They're coming now! Watch out! <laughs> it's not quite as good. I don't, I don't think. Not as good as the last one. And it went off. And there it is. That's the sound of the ad bob dropping, and now it's the mushroom cloud, and you're about to get sucked up into it. Actually, you're going to have the worst time, because you didn't die in the blast. You're going to get ad radiated. <laughs> you're not going to be able... Yeah, your flesh is going to fall off your bone for the next two minutes. See you soon. Do it justice. However, a lawsuit is what led to its recall. Drop it. And there it is. That's the aftershock. Right there. The developer sued Epic Games in 2007 for <laughs> breach of contract and lack of support concerning Epic's <laughs> Unreal Engine 3, which was used for Two Human. Ragnarok. Yeah, so I don't know anything about this, and I wasn't paying attention because we were dropping ads. I know there was some kind of the, some kind of disparity. Dennis Dyack is a big deal. I only know about this because I loved Eternal Darkness, and I was reading every magazine at the time. But this game was not good. Has begun. Lawsuit Epic countersued for copyright infringement winning in 2012. That meant every unsold copy of Two Human was recalled and destroyed. Damn! Destroyed? How much are they on eBay, you think? Can you not buy it? Two Human Xbox eBay. Can I get that? Bro, that shit $20. That shit didn't get... Whatever. That shit doesn't Speaking look destroyed to me. Listed, did you hear about Twitch removing Jabasco? Shut up. <laughs> Come on. Stop. Why do you guys always fall for it? Why do you always do it every time? As was eBay doesn't count? It doesn't? The case for the studio's other game, X-Men Destiny. Silicon Knights then had to cancel several games using the engine before filing for bankruptcy in 2014. Bro, how come we can't get another Eternal Darkness? Did Coney say the sailor joke yet? Yeah, man. Everybody lolled at it. It was it was a lull moment. Everybody laughed a lot. You missed it. Guys, remember that? It was so funny. It was so funny, right? You guys remember that? <laughs> Don't tell him, though. Don't tell him what the joke was. He had to be there. Check clips. It's in the clips. I guess what kind of sanity effects would you put in a modern in Turtle Darkness? Uh, <laughs> I would put a fake voice chat in. Like, you walk into a room, and there's, like, a little mic thing up, and there's, like, you know, the smoke alarm going off, beep, and somebody just comes on the mic. Oh, what the fuck? You hear, like, a dog barking. Shit. What the hell is this? Huh? <laughs> is there somebody watching me? Your webcam turns on? Yeah, I think there, there it's I think there could be something very good there. Discord notifications, Slack notifications, something like that. By the way, we're fixed now. It's an hour till more ads. We're set. 
I don't know why it did that that one time. Joe just gave us a vote of no confidence. Number eight, the culling two. <laughs> Man, come on! <sighs> Fuck, dude! Painful stream. This one makes me so sad. I I was so culling build, man. I loved that game. Ooh. Oh. The first one was good. It was so good. And then they turned it into PUBG. The early days of the Battle Royale trend saw many studios try to get culling in was like on one the, of the action. First After BRs. an early access period. Wait, you liked the culling? Yes! The first culling was fantastic. Xavier's it was the so good. Released in late 2017. And did it fairly for well that time, despite... for that time, for the time, not now. <laughs> the crowded market. However, the studio released a sequel less than a year later. Competition was even more <laughs> stiff. There's actually a marketing term for people who consistently enjoy products that fail. What is it? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting set up for a punchline, but I'm actually curious because I'm that guy. Idiot. Okay. No, no, I'm not reading any of those. No, I'm waiting for the for the word of poopadoo. Only poopadoo knows the answer. Is there a word for that? Is that real? The esteemed opinion of poopadoo. That's the only name that I want to see in chat. Nobody else. <laughs> oh, never mind. He just dropped that and then left. The term is contrarian. Shut up. It's not even like I'm 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 liking these games because Harbinger's a failure. <laughs> Wait, is that real? MIT study finds the same consumers tend to purchase failed products. Dubbed Harbinger's a failure, these buyers may provide new windows. Oh my god. They keep on buying products that are taken off the shelves. The star cross consumers can sniff out flop-worthy products of all kinds. This is a cross-category effect. If you're the kind of person who bought something that really didn't resonate with the market, like coffee flavor, Coca-Cola, that also means you're more likely to buy a type of toothpaste or laundry detergent that fails to resonate with the markets. Fuck. I'm a harbinger of failure. <laughs> Rest in peace, Nasby 2. It's over. I am become death. I really am become death. The consumer of products. I just like cool shit, man. I just like what I think is cool. And I thought Secret Ponchos was cool. And I thought Nickelodeon was cool. And I thought The Culling is cool. I thought Knockout City was cool. I liked Rumbleverse. I thought that was cool. I thought Roller Champions was cool. Ah. <laughs> uh. I think Pikmin is cool. Pikmin literally just has Miyamoto, who is just God's strongest soldier. <laughs> Miyamoto just sitting in his office. Get Cody to hate Pikmin. This game we need Cody to hate that fucking game. Calling to the game's controller, shaking his controller off his desk and broke it. <laughs> Miyamoto is gonna have me assassinated. Pikmin has to succeed, and I have to die for that to happen. Because I've loved every game in the franchise, and he's got to take me out. Otherwise, that series is in trouble. Xenoblade fans better be happy that I don't like that shit. When Northern Line played this game, not only did he have to play Culling 2, the game's controller knocked his controller off the desk and broke it. How strong was the vibration there? Title of the video, Coney Becomes Death. Oh, dude, that's a good one. <laughs> Vince, let's do a Oppenheimer photo shoot after the stream. I'll do. I'll get a, my fedora, my lucky fedora. I'll do the pose where he's like, oh, "What have I done?" <laughs> Perfect. Xavier was criticized for clearly modeling the follow-up after <laughs> PUBG. We want a new Smash game. We now know what must be done. Come on, no Smash can't die. Come on. I've liked Smash since 1999. That shit's fine, I guess. I don't. Well, actually, no. This is gonna be a new franchise with a new director. I, I volunteer. Whatever. I'll just walk into the ocean so you all can be happy. Just remember my sacrifice, okay? <laughs> or I'll just pretend to hate it. I'll look at the previews and I'll say it looks shitty. 
Hey, that's what I did with Project L. Project L is going to be a big success because I saw that and I was like, damn, this looks kind of bad. <laughs> there you go, everybody. Enjoy. Dude, I remember seeing Calling 2 and it's literally, it's straight up just PUBG. I could not believe this. When I saw that, I blew my mind. Players also felt it was unfinished and rushed in order to capitalize on the fad. It lasted a mere eight days before Xavier Jeez. delisted it, shut down servers, and refunded all purchases. Do you guys remember that one BR that came out that had, like, the retro vibe or whatever with the money thing? Radical Heights, that's the one. Yeah. What is this Link Coney Harbinger? <laughs> I cast a spell where I really like your product, and it's a dot. Damage over time, just a slow curse. Every time I say I like your product, your sales get cut by half. <laughs> it's like a demon souls, you know, it's like when you die, you have to restore humanity. <laughs> Cody, stop. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm enjoying your product. It then went back to the first game, <laughs> making it free to play, but by then, it was too late. That shit and was ser dead, bro. Servers for that game were shut down in 2020. Oh. Got him. <laughs> How do you even... Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's funny to look if back. I remember correctly, Mer Harbinger, weren't you up a fan? I loved PM. It was my favorite Smash game. I think that was outside of my control, though. You can't blame me for PM, right? <laughs> That was like a couple other people. I, I think there are other people involved with that decision, right? I don't know if I did that. T. Yeah, it, it's funny to look back on this because everybody's like, you see how big Fortnite is, right? It's this like phenomenal game that has taken over the world. You know, billions of players, whatever. So much money, a billion dollars made a day. And you're like, how did that game pop off like that? And then you see this and you're like, ah. <laughs> It, it, this is what the competition was. Oh. I get it now. Number sure. seven. Cactu Shoujin Back Alley Brutal. I remember Kakuto Shoujin. Wait, was this on Xbox? I remember seeing this in the magazines. I was like, damn, Cactu that looks pretty. Cactu Shoujin began as a tech demo to show off the original Xbox power. Yeah, it was the Xbox. it didn't stay that way. Although it did have strong graphics at cool. the time, that didn't make it any fun to play. Its simplistic gameplay <laughs> it and looks story fun to didn't play. leave much of an impression, especially when there were so many other great fighting games to choose from. Doesn't this look cool? Am I crazy? Does this not look cool to you guys? It looks like it, it, it has like stylized Tekken. No? It looks like Tekken, but like, oh, hell yeah, get the zoom around. That was very, uh, that was the style at the time, that Matrix thing. It's basically DOA, but it's cool. It was recalled in early 2003 due to the theme song of the main character, Assad, featuring verses of the Quran. <laughs> oh. Uh, didn't know that part. Not only was not that expect religiously that. offensive, but Microsoft had actually consulted with an Arabic-speaking employee who spoke out against its release. Yet, it was released all the same. Oh, God. I thought they were going to say spoken with an employee that was like, nah, that's, that's cool. Go ahead and send it. That's fine. Go for it. Amidst protests from the Saudi Arabian government, Microsoft recalled all unsold copies around the globe. Dude. Link, I think it's Dom stamped, but if not, it's at 5710. Let me see. Your ass did not timestamp. 5710? <laughs> Hold on. Did he get paid for this? <laughs> he did it on Bootleg Tuesday? I guess not. Put your back to a window and shoot. <laughs> I don't like that the name is good. <laughs> Tar. <laughs> All right, we're, we're good. Don't worry about it. What was that loud bang? Oh the controller my fell God. off and said you have to reconnect your controller. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Professional gamers. <laughs> Why did they tell him to do that? I, I will give it this. At least the buildings are texture. It doesn't look like it's broke, though. His controller was never the same after this. 
How hard did that shit vibrate? That's not a lot to give them. That's funny. That's good. I don't know, bro. That game looks kind of cool. I get why they recalled it, and I, they probably should have done it, I guess, but... All the same. I mean, we could have had, like, slimy Tekken. Amidst pro Look at the mucus. Protests from the Saudi Arabian You don't like the government. graphics? It looks like Reboot. Microsoft recalled all unsold copies around Look how sweaty the they are, bro. This is what games will look like in 2012. Number six, Overkill's The Walking Dead. I did a bounty for this, I think. Yeah. I remember playing it, I think. Nope, oh, put that gate back. He did, his ass did not repair the gate. Watch it. He, the gate gets knocked down, repair the gate. His ass is lazy. Looks done to me. Just put down one one piece of wood, one plank. Here you go. <laughs> While the majority of content within The Walking Lazy Dead ass. does well, the same can't be said I did of do this. I did a bounty for this. I do not remember it at all. The FBS it's now been a year, so I can tell you this game is god awful. By the way, check out the bounty tonight. I'm playing Honkai Star Rail. Can't wait to do it. Tried to focus be on a cooperative lot of multiplayer, but was panned almost immediately upon release for <laughs> numerous reasons. These range. Unironically, I hear Honkai Star Rail is good. Technical issues to unbalance. I hear it is. I hear it's a good game. Are we actually honking tonight? Hell yeah, dude! It's in my bounty board with a fat payout. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Due to its reception, creator Robert Kirkman's Skybound Entertainment ended its contract with publisher Starbreeze. It was only ever released on PC and was removed from Steam in early 2019, just a few months after launch. Console versions have been planned and were even shipped to retailers. But with this decision, they were canceled and recalled. There was like a weird time where there were like eight different Walking Dead games and only one of them was good. You guys remember that? It was like Telltale made Walking Dead. And then there was like one with Daryl specifically, I think. And there was this one. There was like a mobile one. There was like a bunch and none of them were good. Go! Yeah, Telltale's was good. Dude, season two was good, except for the ending. What the fuck was that whole thing with Kenny and that other woman? <laughs> that woman was crazy. I forget what her name was. Which ending? It was the, the bald lady. Spoiling again. Shut the fuck up. You're not going to play it. Jane? Oh my god. Jane was... That, maybe I'm unempathetic. I don't know. That shit was... I don't know what the hell her problem was. They were both nuts? Yeah, but I think Kenny was less nuts. Number I don't remember five. exactly. Oh, here we go. There's my goat! Let's go, Mickey! Clean that shit up! Get those brooms! Stomp on his head! Sega's Fantasia adaptation Stop cleaning up may this look mess. and sound great, but that's really all it's Fantasia. There's something about, there's something about the animation of him missing the lily pad and, and getting great. back up. Oh, shit. <laughs> he went in for like four frames. And he's, he had to climb out. But that's really all I don't know why that's funny to me. It was made by a he didn't die instantly, which I think is funny. as comfortable making Whoops. console games. Not only that, but it was rushed and wasn't as Wait. comfortable making console. <laughs> Just wanted to see Ford facing Mickey. <laughs> there it is. Console games. Not only that, but it was rushed <laughs> in order to release during the holiday season. Unsurprisingly, it was roasted by critics for repetitive mechanics, oh, poor controls, and frustrating level design. This is kind of pre Oh, zap his ass, Mickey! Use your enchanting powers! Among the other people who hated it was Roy E. Disney, Walt's own nephew, who had promised his uncle that no adaptations of the groundbreaking 1940 film would be made. Oh, shit. His ass was gonna get haunted. <laughs> you better get rid of that, Roy. Walt's coming back from his cryo sleep. Better watch the hell out. Why Mickey got on high heels? <laughs> Mickey got on the stilettos on this one. Damn, Mickey Slay. Putting his chest in it. What is this pose, actually? I'm making jokes. I don't know what he's doing here. The curse of Walt? <laughs> yeah, Walt would have loved Kingdom Hearts. If Walt Disney was around for... Dude, Kingdom Hearts 4, I need Walt Disney to show up. I want him to be, a, if not a party member, at least a summon. I want a big, like, Mr. Freeze tube to come up out of the ground, like, 
opens up. <laughs> Stop hexing my game, bro. I will say, Kingdom Hearts 4 does look funny. I think I might be taking an interest in Kingdom Hearts 4. Can't wait to give it a shot. Turns Looks out, like it's the license was given to Sega by mistake. And so, Disney halted mistake? all sales and recalled the somewhat 5,000 unsold copies to be destroyed. How do you get a license by mistake? Oops. <laughs> Who sent that email? Given to Sega. By the by way, if I was a kid and I saw this, I think I would have nightmares. This is so scary. I'm glad it got recalled. I would have played this. Like, I would have rented this for Blockbuster, and this would have scarred me. And I would have told everybody, like, hey, what's that Mickey Mouse game with the horrifying visage of the devil himself? What's that game where Satan makes an appearance? Do you guys remember that game? Where Mickey Mouse has to fight Beelzebub, ruler of hell. And the kids on the playground would be like, Co Zach, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, let's play Mortal Kombat. I mistake. And so, Disney halted all sales and... That shit is scary, dude. Something about that face is scary. Calls the somewhat fine... Isn't that just Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts wasn't around when I was a kid. I had this. 5, Actually, this is like 1991. This is old even for me. ...sold copies to be destroyed. Isn't it crazy that you fight Chernobog in Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, because he's like a demon, right? I think it's funnier that there are Kingdom Hearts fights that are... Literally just you flying up to their face and just like, yeah, yeah, hi -ya! <laughs> Hold on, do I have a sword? Here we go. P I'm going to use the screwdriver blade. POV, you're Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Yeah, 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 hi -ya! Hi -ya! I don't want to hit my lens. <laughs> Very scary. I won, by the way. I won. <laughs> How else would you fight a giant entity? I don't know. Climbing the toenails like a... Uh... Like Tiny Kong, right? Just get in the toenail and shoot a feather into it. <laughs> that shit would hurt, bro. You ever think about that? If you had a feather shot in under your toenail, like Tiny Kong does in that game. Break that shit off Kratos style. <laughs> think about that. If a tiny monkey went into your shoe and shot a feather in between your toe and your toenail. I would hate Kongs too. That shit is gruesome. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what the hell is that? I can't really see it. Uh, <laughs> that, this is quite a face. I guess it's the wind? I don't like that. These faces are scary, bro. If I, if I played this game, I would have a very vague memory of it, and I would be afraid. At my age. I don't like that. Number four. Ashes Cricket 2013. In position and we're ready for the first ball. Is, cr Is this how big cricket fields are? What? what do people go out here? <laughs> Why is there so much space in every direction? Cricket 2013. In position and Cricket is so ball. silly. It's like a parking lot for a dead mall. Like, you don't need all that. We've seen plenty of horrible sports caching games throughout the years, but Ash's Cricket 2013 <laughs> is on another yeah. level. Developed by Trickster Games and published by 505 Games, it received Get a out. brief launch on Steam in November of 2013. <laughs> <laughs> what it happened? was a genuine broken mess with every player experiencing a myriad no. <laughs> of bugs. This what led to it being removed from on? the site in just four days and refunds issued to all players. I want to play this so bad. Oh my god. Additionally, the planned releases for right, hit the, the ball. generation of consoles. Don't let it hit the wicket. Hooray! <laughs> this just keeps happening. The guy throws the ball and then everybody the celebrates. Mountain of negative reception. What is going 505 on? 505 even put out a public statement apologizing for disappointing fans. I want to play this so bad. Throw it. Whoop. Don't celebrate. Oh, no, he missed it. Went behind Number him. Three. Okay. It went to the catcher. I guess there's a catcher back there. Afro Samurai 2. Revenge of Kuma. <laughs> the number one sword Orange team is going crazy. Afro Samurai.
The Afro Samurai manga branched out in several directions, including an anime series and a couple of video games. That shit looked While the ugly. original game adaptation got mixed reviews, its episodic sequel didn't even get to finish telling its story. Revenge of Kuma was lambasted by everyone who played it for pretty much every reason you can think of. And that's what makes this story so drenched and subtle. Why is Gameplay he not was nothing original His and far not worse move. than what came before it. Bug I played this at a PAX and it legit ran at 15 FPS and I couldn't believe they were brazenly showing it. <laughs> I wonder what it's like to be that guy standing next to a game and like you have to be like, yeah, so this is Afro Samurai 2. That's the jump button. This is attack. Right? Like, how do you how do you explain that? ...were frequent and unignorable. Oh my Audio god, look at that ice. were all over the place, and its plot was completely forgettable. The reception led to the second and third volumes being cancelled, and the game being removed from digital stores two months after release. I mean, okay. I, I It's weird to see... game. I guess that's the point of the list, but, like, games that are so bad, they had to get shut down. They can't just exist and be bad. Like, Gollum is bad, and it came out, and the studios were like, uh, you know what? My bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to release that game. That was an accident. That shit just kind of came out. We got the license by accident. It's weird to see a game that just straight up can't live. Those who purchased it were given refunds, and the IP has stayed quiet ever since. Come back. Where are you going? Come back. Number two. Fast and Furious Crossroads. What? Not so fast. <laughs> Come on, Vin. That's like the whole point. With as over the top as Come the on, movie Vin. series is, Let's a go fast. fast and Furious game so featuring furious. some of the original cast may have seemed like a great idea on paper. Holy shit! What fan wouldn't want to race through such bombastic set pieces. Oh my god, it's Burnout! I want to race through this. Failed to drum up much excitement. No, I want to play that. It was announced, which was a sign of things to come. No, dude, oh this came so out. I want to play that. Vin Diesel showed this game at the Game Awards. I forgot, dude. I forgot we did see this, I didn't we? The I didn't know it came it out. It was a completely shallow experience in every way, from its racing gameplay to its story to the cast's voice acting. While reviews were poor, the game wasn't removed from digital stores until April of 2022. Bandai Namco that didn't reason, give a huh? reasoning behind the removal, but that doesn't usually happen to games people like. Fuck, man. So they just dropped it? They just killed it. So if I bought the game, I would still have it. Man. <laughs> I watched a Let's Play of this game, and it looked pretty decent. I mean, the gameplay doesn't look that bad. It looks like Burnout, but with mo more motion blur. Fine with me. Coney is doing that Harbinger of Fail again. Listen, I'm, I don't want to play it because it looks good. Well, <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> it looks like a shitty burnout game. But I want to play it because it looks bad and funny. But it does look pretty good. They want to play with fire? Then let's turn up the heat. Oh my god, he's so invested too. Before we continue, he's giving sure it a, to is all in the to our see it right there? And ring the bell to get notified he's leaving about it all our in the latest booth. videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you <laughs> go into your settings and switch on notifications. I know I make this joke every time we do a Watch Mojo stream, so editor, please cut this out of the YouTube. But the idea of turning on notifications for Watch Mojo YouTube is so fucking funny. It is so funny to me. Your phone is going to be blowing up day and night. No. Your significant other is going to think you have a, a secret lover. Number one. Every Rainbow ten minutes. of the Lost. Oh, this is the one with the ending, right? The creators of this PC adventure game ripped off several other games, and yet the final product was still an abysmal mess. Limbo of the Lost follows real-life sea this with captain ending, Benjamin yeah. Briggs as he navigates Limbo. Its visuals are extremely poor, as is its voice I acting, mean... and it's incredibly boring from both a gameplay and story perspective. But the oh, ending is kind of fun, right? Well, someone still likes to keep pets. 
What led to its death a month after its US release was the fact that it copied assets and locations from other games, Ew. including The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion, and World of Warcraft. Developer Majestic Studios blamed external sources for the copyright infringement. Regardless, Limbo of the Lost was removed from all storefronts and is better oh, off staying forgotten. That guy's gonna... Ah! They're not even gonna show it? I want to see that guy die. I thought there'd be a funny way for him to... Hold on. Uh, What was it called? Land of the Lost? What the... Limbo oh, yeah. of the Lost. They're like... Limbo of the Lost Death Scenes. Surely there's like a really messed up one, right? Uh. <laughs> okay, so I looked that up, and there's a video on YouTube. Th this isn't funny. Um, It says, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Slur? No, it's not that. I looked up Limbo of the Lost Death Scenes, looking for death scenes of this game, and I see Lost in Limbo, Horrific Death at Churchill, and the channel is called Horse Racing Mishaps and Fatalities. Why are we documenting that? What the fuck? Why is that on Google and on YouTube? No, I shouldn't have looked it up. What a bummer ending to a list. Whoops. My bad, y'all. <laughs> but I know how to make you feel better. <laughs> These are... Horse racing usually has a lot of shit like that. Don't tell me that. Now I'm sad. Come on. Banger channel. Shut up. Stop it. These are the top ten most ridiculous design fails. <laughs> Look at Spider-Man. It's coming out of his... But who designed that? Why did Kleenex do that? Let's find out. That's so silly. Bullshit. Hashtag design fail. Am I right, guys? Bullshit. Hashtag epic Derivative. fail. Hashtag spider wrong. <laughs> I did not pre-watch it. It plays on its own from my... my my watch later history. Welcome to Watch Mojo. No, I did not. And today we're it. examining. Yo, it's the goat. It's the fucking goat. Rebecca is in the building. My favorite and yours. Love her. Ten biggest design fails that'll make you double take. Assuming Rebecca has got to be a millionaire. She is the voice. Wrong of this answer. Channel. That's what the kids call epic fail. Yo, <laughs> he's just like me. We're looking at graphic design fails. Okay, now it really does look like I pre-watched, but I didn't, I swear. ...be comedically misinterpreted if you look too quickly. Did any of these get you at first glance? Let us know in the comments below. Furby? Five bananas. <laughs> okay. Reddit user ultralaser23 took to the r slash mildly infuriating subreddit to share a hilarious design fail. The user explains that they grabbed a book called My First Numbers Book for their young daughter, uh -huh. hoping to teach her about counting. One of the pages in the book contains a drawing of bananas, mentioning that in the photo there are a total of five. Only yeah. a closer inspection proves that that is not the case. There are actually six bananas in the picture. <laughs> what the fuck is this video? Wait, why is this on a Watch Mojo list? And why am I watching it? <laughs> Why is this a design fail? This is just Watch Mojo looking at a subreddit. <laughs> this is the most is it live funny Reddit thread. Yeah, this is the most bottom of the barrel stuff I've ever seen from Watch Mojo, and I've seen a lot. Which seems like a massive oversight for an educational book about counting. As that is Ultra very Laser silly. 23 says, quote Proofreading this book <laughs> exposed them. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one, Rebecca. Massaging towel lady. We return to Reddit for another hilarious blunder. Great. This Love one that. Involving yeah. what seems to be a human. This is the content cycle of life. Hybrid. Either I look at Reddit or Watch Mojo looks at Reddit and I look at Watch Mojo. Hybrid. Right. Yep. Love this. You want to get high? 
It's not even not Reddit like slop. That, it's Watch User Mojo slop on Reddit. Seven shared a photo oh, to the r slash crappy design sub of what looks like an advertisement for a spa. That's kind of romantic, though. You know what I mean? They're getting fused into one, all wrapped up into each other. That's the nice. bottom picture shows a man and a That's woman getting a massage. That should look AI generated. Caveat. The woman's back has morphed into a rolled up towel. There's no way this wasn't intentional. The transition is just way too smooth and seamless. It looks Honestly, good. We don't know if this is a design fail or a design. It kind of looks like a um. Say it, Shatter. What does it look like? No, it doesn't. No. It looks like a collage. It's just way too smooth and seamless. Honestly, we don't know if this is a burrito. A design <laughs> fail or a design win. This is how I win. <laughs> this is a silly one just for Watch Mojo. Whoever is the editor on this one is very silly. Jackson deserves They're going to die. crazy on they this one. They say never judge a book by its cover. Wait, what? Lisa Jackson deserves to die. They say never judge a book by its cover. Well, we're not going to judge the book itself, but we'll certainly judge the cover. Lisa Jackson is a successful author who has written dozens of romance novels, including the To Die series. Uh -huh. The series' sixth entry, Deserves to Die, was published in 2014. Unfortunately, this title resulted in a pretty funny gaffe that would have bookstore browsers doing a double take. This is the worst video Watch Mojo has ever made. The title is placed directly oh underneath Jackson's God. name, resulting in the unintentional There's wording no information. Lisa Jackson deserves to die. Maybe they no should education the happening, nothing to be learned. It in a different color. It's Joking. just not. You deserve to die. He's not saving anyone. The trolley problem is a classic thought experiment that asks a difficult question. Would you intentionally kill one person? This to could have been a slideshow. Yeah. How many video? How many views does this have? Fifty-four k. Not bad. Not bad. The problem is often depicted visually, with uh -huh. a train barreling towards a large group of people. Yeah. Make a choice! The thing is, I mean, ethically speaking... Art is dead! Time, dude, make a decision! I think Watch Mojo is getting a little complacent. I think that's what it is. They're not challenged anymore. We need a little inspiration. Ricky. One person stands nearby with a switch that can alter the train's course, uh -huh. causing it to veer towards one person standing apart from the larger group. By the way, you guys pulling the, the cable? Are you guys pulling the lever? I'm pulling the lever. Last time we did this on stream, I think everybody pulls the lever. You guys pull the lever, right? Yeah. How many would turn the trolley car onto the side track? Raise your hands. <laughs> yeah. How many wouldn't? How many would go straight ahead? This diagram is trying to do the same thing, only they severely messed up the design of the track. Here, the train would take a brief detour <laughs> to its left, hit the lone person, oh. then continue on the curved track to hit the larger group. Okay, so that's just, just killing people regardless. That's very, that is a pretty big design fail. That's pretty funny, Rebecca. Thank you for showing me this epic meme. Maybe this is the reverse. <laughs> Multi kill? Thank problem. you, Rebecca, Would for you the funny meme. Just... This is just your Watch Mojo mom showing you some funny pictures that she found. Save one. That's good. The farting peep. Even the big names aren't immune to graphic design fails. Peeps are a very popular marshmallow candy made by Just Born Inc., and they are often consumed around Easter. Just not Easter without those peeps. I know what peeps are. Thank you. Uh, this particular box, picked up by Reddit. <laughs> I guess I th I I think you needed another number on this list. If you texted me this meme, I'd be like, I guess it kind of looks like that. It just kind of looks like cotton candy. Rebecca is going off with this one. Yeah, if my mom sent me this, I'd be like, yeah, that's pretty funny, mom. Um. By the way, could you pick me up a Slim Jim at the store? <laughs> User MM Callie was cotton candy flavored. I to help thought... visualize this, the graphic designer put a pink cotton candy guess, stick right yeah. beside the giant peep on the When you see deck. it. But this cotton candy stick was hilariously misplaced, making it look like a little fart cloud coming out of the peeps. I guess. Chat said peeps are so gross. Yeah, but have you ever had a stale one? You leave that shit out overnight? Oh. When it's a little crunchy? That shit is good. Have you guys not have it? Had a little stale? Are you guys serious? You guys haven't done that? You're kidding. I agree, Coney. Seriously, I'm not joking. Harbinger of failure. That's not weird. Guys, it's just sugar. It's not going to go... A peep isn't going to fester overnight. You know what I'm saying, right? Because you open up this package, you're not eating every peep, bro. There's like six. 
No psychopath is eating six peeps. You eat maybe one or two. But if you come back the next day and have another one, oh, dude. As a Coney maniac, I agree. Let's get all the Coney maniacs in chat to represent. Am I right, fellas? Western American culture. I'm saying peeps are, are not bad when they're a little crunchy. Seriously. Well, you know, and therein lies the not that bad. of physical placement. Chewable hair, skin, and nails. Apparently, CVS sells strawberry lemon flavored hair, skin, and nails. <laughs> I'll help you happy. They I look like a Cambodian not. stripper. Well, of course, they don't actually sell that, as oh, that would likely okay. fall under some oh, major I didn't federal think so, violations. But you almost oh, had me there, Rebecca. It. I'm done. I'm going Whew. away. Get your hands off me, pig! But we'd forgive you if you thought otherwise, considering the bad design of the packaging. Oh, right? I see. I get it. And center are the words chewable hair, skin, and nails. No, that's this is funny. a horrible that's really design funny. on multiple levels, with mm -hmm. even the words dietary supplement being hidden in the bottom left corner it's and really camouflaged funny. by the background. As it is, it looks like CVS is selling human body parts. It does look like that. And, well, that's about as big a design fail as you can get. Mm, that's a pretty big fail, because they shouldn't be doing that, because if they did that, that sounds like it would be bad business and probably against the law. Black and Gold Cans. Black and Gold is an Australian budget brand that sells hundreds of home essentials, ranging from insect killer to cooking spray. The brand's graphic uh -huh. design is suitably black and gold, with their spray cans being a bright yellow with black lettering. Uh -huh. It's certainly eye-catching, but it could also result in some major and potentially life-threatening confusion. We used insect killer and cooking spray as examples oh, because see. those are the two <laughs> items seen in this picture. Oh, I, I, I see now. Okay. <laughs> So, so Australia just, I guess, black and gold has a monopoly on cans? Why are they the only ones doing this? Why isn't this multiple? What's going on down there? Okay, this one is pretty bad, I guess. Yeah, I would say it's a design fail less when something looks silly and goofy and more when something will kill you if you make a mistake. You just have to remember the big one is canola. Ah, yes, the cooking spray, the big one, with the, the grass on it. <laughs> see, if I didn't have this on it, I would think this was the fly spray, because I think that if I'm out here, I would see a lot of flies get bit by horse flies, you know, and I want to use the spray to kill them. Both cans look nearly identical. They and do. And it would be very easy to mix one. Oh, I get it, canola. <laughs> For a big can. The other. The last thing you need sprayed on your frying pan is insect killer. That's the good. The elevator switch. There are major workplace violations, and then there's this. Reddit user Kate White Shark shared a hilarious but worrying photo That's to not the hilarious. r OSHA sub. It depicts a regular unassuming light switch with a bizarre note reading, quote, please do not turn off the light switch. It also operates the elevator. Do you think this is more or less dangerous? Probably more dangerous, right? Much more. Yeah, because, like, you could just... How... Are people gonna hit that light switch? Is that, like, in an open area that people would actually do? I feel like people would be like, no, it doesn't, and then flip it. But maybe that's just, like, curiosity. <laughs> right? It's more likely this is a fake sign. Yeah, you could just put this above any light switch uh, that you've ever seen. Put this in your house. <laughs> Elevator. For all my rich chatters. Why would you just not cover it? Yeah, just get some duct tape or something. I don't know why. Can you just take it out entirely if you... We just have so many questions. No way this works. Poke screams in the distance. This is my nightmare. I told you, my biggest fear is is the fucking elevators, bro. I is telling the elevator you, operated by a light I hate switch. that shit. Why is it where any regular person can access it? Why is it not contained by a lockbox? How did it pass the safety inspection? Hopefully this, very, this was just a joke very because good we cannot that, imagine someone messing up that this that bad. Happen. No, that's funny. That's good. It's really good. <laughs> By the way, I'm, just to be clear, I'm not afraid of elevators themselves. I'm afraid of a very particular scenario with an elevator that has to do 
with um, something very peculiar and specific. And if you'd like to hear what that is, I would love to tell you at 2920 subs. 2,920 subs. If you have a Twitch Prime, because I haven't said it one time tonight, go ahead and drop a Twitch Prime in the chat, and I will tell you my greatest fear. <laughs> or a tier one. I'm not begging. I'm just offering you a bit of Coney knowledge and insight for new viewers in here that might not know about it. I'm just offering a piece of me for financial compensation. I'm helping. Spider-Man tissues. <laughs> He's pooping. Oh, what kind of power is that? Did the spider give him that one? Is that his silk webbing? <laughs> what a design fail. Sometimes graphic design straddles the line between unfortunate and genius, and these Spider-Man tissues are a great example. Would a real spider do that? Like, if it was a real Spider-Man? Would that be, like, the right size? It would, right? Yeah. Kleenex released some... His ass would, like, make a, make a nest, a little web. Spider-Man boxes that yeah. see the web slinger hanging upside down with his lower half aimed towards the box's opening. Yeah. This resulted in a rather hilarious blunder, as it looks like the tissues are coming out of his behind. It sure Finally does. Enough, it sounds like she's watch mojoing for radio. <laughs> Like, if you can't watch the video. This is anatomically correct. Yeah. As spiders weave their webs from the spinnerets located near their rear ends. Uh -huh. Someone either didn't consider what this would look like, or they knew exactly what it would look like and planned accordingly. I should not have begged for subs, because now we got ads in eight seconds. Guys, <laughs> ads. Hey, if you primed just now, good news. You're not going to get ads. But everybody else, you got to go to the ad bunker. Go ahead and drop a primer. or tier one, only $4.99 a month. Otherwise, you're going to get ads right now. You're going to get caught in the ad blast. Jeffy B is sending the bomb right now. Bezosheimer. This is probably a funnier one. I'll think about it while you guys watch the ads. Jeffenheimer? Jeffy Heimer? Bezo... Bezenheimer? No. Bezzyheimer? No. <laughs> Bezos Blast? <laughs> the Bezos Bomb? There's something. Adpenheimer? No. That's a little bit much. <laughs> Good one, streamer. Streaming is hard. It's hard to be funny on command. I see this shit, it says 10 seconds, I gotta come up with something quick. You don't know how hard it's like. Nobody knows what it's like. We don't know which is funnier. Speaking of elevators, this happened to my friend at Wave Dash. <laughs> that shit clapping. Oh my god. That shit looked like dead space. What the fuck? <laughs> Dick Cruncher. Oh my god, there's a there's a xenomorph in there. Do not go in there. <laughs> or a lifetime supply of 1260. We unlock this later, I'm sure. There's a skill point in that elevator. There's a little panel to the side, but you don't have the electricity power yet. You gotta like hook up your thing into it. Unlock it. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's good. As <laughs> the shard behind that. <laughs> One way shortcut. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's funny. <laughs> Have to use stasis to get through. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's good. Hey, Coney, this one's fucked up. Can't wait to watch it. Oh, yeah, this is the one that's my fear. Yeah, 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 that's my biggest... Well, not quite my biggest fear, which I can't tell you because I didn't hit 29, 20 subs, but it's something like that. Yeah, that one's pretty bad. What kills me is how quickly it accelerates. You see that? It's like... You guys want to see something scary that happened... Uh... <laughs> His ass is thinking about the farting peep. Uh, so this happened when I was at a wrestling show. Hold on. So I went to a, um, a few years ago, I went to uh, Monday Night Raw or whatever. It was, it was a long time ago. And they had a cage match, right? And uh, the cage was being lowered during a match thing. And it, or like before or after or something. And this guy was getting in the cage. And you see this spike? 
Yeah. <laughs> so the spike goes into this latch, and that's how it hooks it in. So when I was watching this, because I'm I'm up here, because I'm pretty I, I'm 90% sure I was there for this, unless I'm misremembering. I was up here in the crowd, and I remember watching this drop, and they when when you go there, they have this on the big screen. They have like what the camera sees. And I was watching this, and I was like, did he almost die? Did I almost just watch him die? I thought he was going to get impaled, dude. I've never seen those spikes. Yeah, me neither. But yeah, he got poked right there. Oh my god, look at that. I didn't know it made contact. <gasps> oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Somebody had to have gotten fired for that. Oh, my God. By the way, if you've never gone to a pro wrestling event, I highly encourage it. I don't really watch or care about pro wrestling, but they are very funny to go to. That's a design fail, I'll say. Yeah. Live wrestling shows are top. They're great. I used to go to uh, watch pay-per-views at a bar in Maryland where, like... It's funny to see, like, actual John Cena marks. <laughs> People who, like, unabashedly love The Undertaker. You know what I mean? That CM Punk is so disrespectful, he needs to learn him some manners. Get him, Taker! Like, in the full regalia, it is fantastic. I love seeing that. <laughs> I've heard indie wrestling is super fun. See, I never want to go to an indie wrestling show again... Because I once went, and literally every match ended in <laughs> a countout. It was Delaware Championship Wrestling. And, and literally, <laughs> every single match ended with the heel going, I don't want to fight. And then walking out and getting heat from not... He, he would just walk out of the fight. At DCW, disqualified by countout wrestling, yeah. It literally happened five times that night. W heel... <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was, it was, I, I'll never go back. Oh, he's laughing at Spider-Man, pooping out of his butt. Are you serious? I forgot. Thank yeah. you for what, standing there? Before we continue, be sure to... What's the number one ridiculous design fail? I, I couldn't possibly know. What could it be? Do you think it's a book? Do you think it's, uh, something to do with toilet paper? Do you think it has to do with food, maybe? A billboard? That's in a very unfortunate position, perhaps? An escalator, maybe? <laughs> Children's book? Gotta be a restaurant sign. That's a good one. It might be so that. Subscribe yeah. to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. What could it be? You have the option to Fort be notified. Pinto! That's a different list. Chatter, that's, the, that's not this list. What you're thinking of... <laughs> this will be really funny when the joke is faster. Are the top 20 worst cars of all time. You're on the wrong list, Chatter. It's this one. By the way, number one is the Pinto, I think. I looked. In the Let me see. Yep, congratulations. <laughs> well done, Chatter. Good guess. Pre-watched? I did. I watched this, and I was like, would this be funny for stream? And I ultimately said no. 16 minutes of this is not good, but... Good one, Coney. It was. That's going to be very funny on YouTube. There was too much setup here on Twitch, but that's what you get for watching Twitch, you know? Top 10 scariest Ben 10 characters. They keep putting out fast food lists. They really do. They love this shit. Why am I going through their list now? I shouldn't be doing this. I just can't help myself. Okay. What's the number one design fail of all time, Rebecca? Notified for occasional hmm? videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and <laughs> switch on no I can't help myself. Notifications. I really can't. Tale of the Pup. When it comes to design fails, it doesn't get much funnier than the iconic LA landmark Tale of the Pup. This hot dog stand opened all the way back in 1946, uh -huh. and after a brief stint in... Uh-huh. 
inside Valley Relics Museum, it reopened in 2022. A brilliant example of novelty architecture, the stand is shaped like a hot dog, complete with two buns and a purple dog in the middle. It's very cute, but when viewed from the wrong angle, it could be misconstrued as something else. Could it? Uh, I don't see it. Like, I mean, I get, I guess I get what they're going for, but it's also like not, you got to really kind of stretch for that. Yeah. Poop joke, I guess. I don't know if it's poop or intimacy, but either way, it's like, well, where's the rest of them? Right? I guess it's poop. I think it's poop. And is shaped like Speak on that, Coney. No, thank you. Like a hot dog. Is it going in or out? Yeah, that's kind of my question. Dog. Yeah. Complete with two buns and a purple dog in the middle. Pooping is intimate. Well, it depends on who you do it with. There's casual pooping, too. It's very cute. But when viewed from the graphic and inappropriate for public streets. You don't see this I mean, kind I of guess. thing in New Jersey. Uh, this uh, design, this architecture to tell you that what you were driving by or where you were about to stop, that's what they're doing. Did you... <laughs> I guess so. I, I I think I think that one's a stretch, Rebecca. I'm not a big fan of that one. Shrek Twinkies? Oh, true. What's the number one disgusting junk food fail? I don't need to watch the whole thing. I just want to know the number one. Two. Easy squirt ketchup. Oh, that's number two. Oh, is that the green one? Using yeah, it for yeah, your yeah. fries, burgers, yeah, or a yeah, massive yeah. plate of crispy tater tots. That's the one that looks like. That does look like Shrek poop, actually. Like with the squirts. Yeah. Ketchup are winning for ketchup in the East. Yeah, we still ketchup. What's Funny number stuff. one? It's oh, there he is. It's just green. It's just green, donkey. Put it on your pancakes. Oh, he makes waffles. Put it on your waffles. Before we continue, <laughs> donkey. Sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have. What do you mean minus two? That was a really good impression. Donkey. What are you doing in my swamp, donkey? Minus four? Minus four? I mean, you can't do that. That's too many. The option to be notified for additional Donkey. videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. <laughs> Number one. Oh, not again. Shrek has both top two spots? Shrek Twinkie. Oh, no. Shrek taking a dump in the Twinkie. Donkey, what are you doing in my Twinkie? Yep. I took a shit in the Twinkie, Donkey. about those Ghostbusters Twinkies, <laughs> and this was the reason. I just realized that Shrek is just fat bastard. That's the same voice. Huh. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Okay. In 2001, dozens of food companies had their own cross promotion. Which came first? Fat bastard, I'm pretty sure deal to make disgusting Shrek themed products but of them all Shrek Twinkies were arguably the worst they stink yes no oh they make you cry no oh you leave them out in the sun they get all brown start sprouting little white hairs no for starters the green filling was unsettling <laughs> and it didn't help that the front of the box proudly advertised ogre green creamy filling <laughs> uh, yeah uh, uh, that must take a long time to fill up 10 of those for Shrek, right? <laughs> He's got to be absolutely spent by that point. It's like chunky, too. You see that in there? That's not, like, smooth. It says creamy, but it's not that creamy. It's like chunky peanut butter, you know? It's like got chunks in it. If you were one of the poor, unfortunate souls who bought a package, you probably realized your mistake after opening one of these foul sweets and discovered the Twinkie looked worse than what was on the box. <laughs> and to think, they... I gotta see a real picture. Uh, Ogre Twinkie real. Can I see the real thing? Not like on the box? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. See, that's not chunky. Never mind. That looks fine. That's fine. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's just cake icing. That's all. Damn, they also go... That's literally the same thing. But ghosts. Pond scum flavored? It does look like algae. Yeah. Cream. <laughs> the shrek cream look kind of good, actually. 
Coney, opinion on these. What, Ecto Coolers? Uh, they're very good, but I'm not bat-chesting about it. This is, There was a certain time on the internet, like in the past, with like, you know, angry video game nerd and nostalgia critic when they were all coming to Mike Matei, when they were all coming to Power Rangers. Like, does anybody else remember these drinks? Kids don't have these anymore. We need these back. And I don't know if, like, Zoomer Generations will have that same kind of, like... It, and and this is an honest question for Chad. Do you do Zoomers have, like, an era-defining drink that doesn't exist anymore? Baja Blast? Well, okay. I guess that would be it if they turned it off, right? Sierra Mist, maybe? Yeah, but it's the same thing, right? Starry or whatever? I thought it was the same. Arizona Tea? Sobe was, yeah, Sobe was one of them. Because Sobe was like a drink that was like when I was uh, in high school. Four Loco? Oh, that's not bad, actually. Not that Zoomers would be drinking that because they would be below normal drinking age. But yeah, sure. Four Loco is not bad. Root? They need to bring back Root, bro. That was a nice paycheck once a month when they would send me 16 Roots. Mmm, delicious. Love Root. Yum, yum. Root was disgusting. Be honest, how many of you guys got Root? Vault. I forgot about Vault. Oh, my God. Do you still have any? Yep. Hold on. I'm keeping one can in case I ever need to hit it big for $1 million. I can sell it one day. I'll never sell it until it's worth a billion. I'll put that shit on eBay. In case of emergency, yeah, if I need to game out of my mind. Maybe with this Mario only up shit. <laughs> One day, bro. Tish, you're in here? Tish, did you ever have some root? I, I, I wasn't a big fan, but I get it. I have a whole case. Holy shit, you're going to be a billionaire. You sell that shit, you're going to, you could buy Twitter. Oh my god, a new competitor. That shit looked like Mario Sunshine dirty water on the inside. It's orange. It, it It's very orange. I'll say that. It's like a carrot drink. I think it's ginger root or something, but... Dude, I forgot about Vault. Hold on. I loved this. But I think it was just Surge, right? Isn't it the same? I loved Vault. I think Vault was like a less It was like it was like a casual surge. Like surge is try hard, but Memory unlocked. Yeah, I forgot about this until Chatter brought it up. Whoever that Chatter was, God bless you. Wasn't that just Mountain Dew? K kind of? Yeah. I think it was Coke's answer to Mountain Dew. Cuz Coke cuz Mountain Dew is a Pepsi thing. Coney, you are Team Mug or Team Barks for root beer? I hate all root beer, so I hope that they kill each other. I want them both to die. I'm the arms dealer that plays them against each other. Root beer is disgusting. I got Vault because the bottle was cool as a kid. Hell yeah, this shit got curves. You? Feels nice to hold right here. No, root beer is nasty. Not good. Yeah, they had a code red one. Red blit. Damn, this is just Mountain Dew. <laughs> I want some Vault now, dude. I didn't know they had Vault Zero. Do that? Does it still exist? Can I get a Vault somewhere? <laughs> does minus two actually do anything? Yes. Do not hit it. Please don't hit it unless you mean it. It's. It does. It. It. It's very bad, too. It's not good for me. Please don't. Guys, stop. 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 But can I get some plus twos to help me out, please? Don't do it unless you mean it. It's going to affect my payout at Twitch. <laughs> Guys. They never sold internationally? Oh. Damn, I want some. <laughs> I love seeing the first message. Plus two. Thank you, J Money is here. Thank you. I can feed my family this month thanks to your message. It's always the new people that are nice. And always the old people that are mean. I wonder why that is.
because the branding sucked. Shut up. The branding is cool, actually, because I like it. <laughs> it looks like a Fallout drink, which I think is cool. Okay, maybe one more mojo. Hold on. What do I have? I've got so many mojos. Fellas? <laughs> I have a couple here. How do you guys feel about the top 10 things Americans want you to know? <laughs> what do we want to tell the rest of the world? We have some fellas in this chat from some other nations across the globe, and I want them to know some things. Do we want to tell them? Let's do it? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Let's spread our culture. Time to let freedom ring. These are the top 10 things that Americans want you to know. You better listen up, too, or you're going to be free thing it's a bagel and then for liberated lunch you get sushi and then for dinner you can go get chinese food you can't do that anywhere else in the world welcome to watch mojo and today we're counting down who the hell is this tom that's a new guy down our picks for the top 10 things americans want you to know people from california kind of have like they say like for this list, we'll be looking at the facts about the United States. I have a feeling this is going to be a bad list. Of Should review the list first. Yeah. Abroad knew about. Number one, we want your oil. We're also looking at the misconceptions about the nation they want to clear up. If there's an American well, fact that you wish we'd stated loud and proud, plant your flag in the comments with your picks. Please pivot. I mean, it can't get any worse than the last one. It can't be any worse than the last list. The last Number list was 10, bad. Americans like to make friends. Welcome to America, son. Your long, arduous journey is uh, over. There's a stereotype of the ugly American out there, that they're rude, arrogant, or brash, and there are certainly Americans like that, but that still leaves room for the tons of friendly people around the country. Those who I visit one of the numerous small towns what? are likely to find locals who will smile and try to strike up conversation. Americans do like to meet new people if they have the time. I have a splendid <laughs> establishment here. My okay. Some people are nice. My friend, I'm sure you'll As a New Yorker, this is a fat lie. Well, it depends on where you are, right? Good list. I mean, the, oh, the, it depends on where you are. In the South, people love to make... Well, uh, sometimes. Flourish at this the South likes to make friends sometimes. Location for many, many years. You're very um, kind man. <laughs> cut this part. I don't want to instigate kind. any conversation. Thank cut that. You. Certain kinds of friends. I well, I I need a different list. I think for In to go ah, into that, speak on that for a bit. I honest reaction. <laughs> well, hold on. Maybe hold on. That might just be one thing they get wrong, but there are in many others. Residents may seem highly focused on their own thing. Hold on. However, they're still what else take a moment to help would we like to tell the rest of the world about Americans? Americans. Easy when the time and place I love to make friends. They're not wrong. Right. I love making perfect. new friends. But the Lord says, love thy neighbor. Remember this up, shot from The Simpsons? Oakley, Oakley, perfect example. Ooh. Number nine. Not everyone in the South is a cowboy. <laughs> Country music videos as well as TV and movies probably have most of the world believing that the Southern United States are replete with cowboys. Is that true? Do I have any Brit friends in the chat thinking that we just ride around on cows and, and horses all day, huh? That's not the case. Anybody? Ooh, that, we don't do that, by the way. Oh, That's I'm not true. Kidding. However, I will say uh, people in the South do actually wear cowboy hats, which kind of shocked me. Crawdad, I, do declare. I didn't think that was a real thing that people did, but I went to Texas and people wear that shit that a lot, which is kind of weird. Talk. Although cowboy culture certainly has a large presence in the South, it's far from universal. <laughs> Most Southerners. All right, maybe this like isn't a good list. Hold on, let's let's keep look. Hold on. Everyone owns guns. Okay. Yeah. Not everyone is super patriotic. Okay. <laughs> Outside looking in, when they meet. Number six. There's more to American cuisine than fast food. What's American cuisine? Why did they make this list? Barbecue? Deep dish pizza? D is that an American thing? Hot dog. <laughs> the chat just... Hot dog. This is funny. Deep dish is American? Damn. W us. That's a good idea. That was nice. Good the for outside us. The ice cream casserole... Bro, hold on. I didn't show you guys this. All right. Now, I want you guys to let me know if this looks good. And before you answer, watch the whole thing, okay? 
The friendly thing is actually one of the first things every European says when I leave America. <laughs> Wait, really? I think I think Europeans are usually more standoffish, or at least in Britain. I know the UK doesn't like making friends. Those people are 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 kind of stiff, right? Not nice. Not the ice cream in the Tupperware. Oh, you know what time it is, fellas. Would you eat the Tupperware casserole? And do not answer until it's over. It doesn't look bad, right? I think really six might be too many. I think six might be too many, right? They fit best in this kind of container, right? okay. now, six spoons, might Bring be a little on. bit too much. Oh, gosh. Ooh, chop it up. In the car, but it's worth Bro, it. that looks right. good. <laughs> that doesn't look bad. If you could share this with, like, four other people, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Imagine walking next to that car. <laughs> walking your dog. Imagine working in that McDonald's and these ladies ask for six ice cream cones. And you just, you, you watch them as they drive off, <laughs> just matching the cones in the Tupperware. I mean, it, it looks good though, right? Crunchy bite in that looks in nice. Sand. Now, this is where I tap out. This is where I tap out. I can't do this anymore. At this point, I can't. Oh, wow. Just yeah, wants it. Okay, now that's, that's too much. On the top. Ordered this separate. Mm -hmm. You get the hot fudge, mm -hmm. the couple it's sprinkles, a it's a party. and now the piece de resistance. Party. Babe, it's a party. It's a party. Honey. But, yes. Yeah. Send the prize. It's fries. the sweet and salty mixture. Oh my gosh. Bro, I would. I would. I literally would. Not a joke. Dude, no, fries are good. That's what people do. They dip their fries in Frosties and shit. That's what you're supposed to do. Just order a milkshake. No, this is a party. It's an experience. This is something that you pass down generation to generation. This is probably that lady's mom. Well, no, they both kind of have old hands. <laughs> Maybe these two are college friends, and they used to do this in college, and now they're reliving old days. Whatever. Look at them. They're so happy. Wisconsin Ingenuity. I don't know why I asked about uh, American cuisine when I had this video ready to go. Also with a Coke? <laughs> that is definitely not diet. That shit is a Coca-Cola to go along with this. Honey, yes. Yeah. It's the sweet and salty. It doesn't look that bad, bro. I'm not kidding. Next Duck Duck video, I'm going to try the viral six ice cream sensation. I'm going to drop this shit and give it a try. Can you eat it all yourself? <laughs> I might give this a try, bro. Do it alone? I I don't I I don't think I could do it in a day. I'll have what they're having. I kind of I want to find out where Doug Doug lives. Pull up in front of him and order this, and give the give the 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 drive through worker very detailed instructions on how to make it. Right? Because if Doug just gets six ice cream cones and, and cookies, he's going to eat them all separately. And they're going to have to teach him. Like, no, no, here's a video. <laughs> Watch this. This is how you make this horrible abomination. They put it in Tupperware so they can easily store it. That's Honey, what I'm saying. It's engineering. Since you travel across the country, do you agree with this map link? Let me look. Let me give you a heads up. Oh, I've I've heard this before. Yeah. Um No. This is this is all well. No. No, this is wrong. I've seen this before. A white guy made this map. <laughs> no, you would have to shift this over. Like I think the axe mean is nice ends at like Illinois. I think after that, like, Michigan is nice, and they act nice. Like, I think, I think, like, you shift this over here. This is just, the, there's an old phrase that, like, East Coast is, uh, what is it? It's nice but kind. It's that thing. Racist, no. Kind but not nice. That's what it is. I couldn't remember what the two adjectives were. So it's West Coast is... Uh, nice but not kind, 
East Coast is kind but not nice, which means the same fucking thing. So East Coast will be mean to you, but they care about you. West Coast doesn't give a shit about you, but they'll act like they do. That's what the vibe is supposed to be. Um, there's definitely a regional difference, but I don't think it's this split up. Horoscopes for Americans? No, I will say I, I vibe intensely with people that I meet from the Midwest more than anywhere else. Seriously. Like, I, I immediately have a kinship with Midwest people, and I don't know why. Like, I just... It, there's something that I just immediately uh, resonate with them on. I don't know why. I'm Midwestern at heart. Yeah, I don't know why. It's something... It, Midwest people are, like, very laid back. They don't give it... They don't sweat the small shit. Like, the, the dumb bullshit that, that people on the coasts go crazy about. Like, I don't know. There's something different. There's a very laid back attitude, just kind of a, I don't know, easy to get along with, agreeable, right? Um, that's my impression of the Midwest. People on the East Coast are so, like, try hard. They're trying to impress you all the time. I don't know. Maybe it's like a, a hustle culture thing or maybe, like, a workaholic culture. So East Coast is annoying. Um, West Coast is full of mannequin people. Uh, my, my impression of the West Coast is that a lot of them are trying to be everything to everyone. NPCs, not even that. It's just like there's, there's clearly a performance going on here. I don't know how to describe it. That's only L.A.? Maybe. I will say I love the people I've met in the Pacific Northwest. Washington was amazing. I've met a lot of great people there. I'm talking more California. But I think I'm thinking SoCal LA. Yeah, it might just be that. But it's like, it's it's mannequin people. They're, it's Ken. They're Kens. They're just Ken dolls, you know? Um, that's my vibe, though. That's just my experience. Not even SoCal, just LA. Yeah. Can we give Florida its own description? I don't... You, I can't give Florida a, 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 a fair review because I've only really been to Orlando a lot. <laughs> Because my ass went to Disney when I was a kid. So I've been to Orlando a bunch. When I was in Key West, uh, I will say... <laughs> okay, so I was in Key West, right? I went there on vacation a month ago. And I was getting Juliet out of the car because we went to the beach and we got back. So I was, I was getting out of the car with my wife and, and daughter. And this truck pulls up next to us. And the truck is like rolling coal three feet off the ground with the wheels. Punisher sticker on the back bumper. Uh, has in letters on the big thing on top that says, The Man. Like, it, the, the truck is the man. And that guy uh, was... It, it was like this, I don't know, like 50-year-old Joe Dirt-looking guy. But, like, he came out blasting some kind of country music, cursing up a storm, talking so much shit. Was, I, I think he was spitting dip, too. This guy was making a scene... In a resort parking lot. Like, it wasn't like he was at, like, I don't know. Uh, where do you normally do this kind of thing? Myrtle Beach? <laughs> like a downtown uh, car meet or something? Like, who are you trying to impress, dude? I have a three-year-old. At a Walmart? Yeah, I don't, like, I, I, I have a toddler with me. She's not going to be impressed by this shit. It was very weird. Florida is strange. Who was he talking to? It was like him and like three buddies. It's very strange. <laughs> Yo. Did Coney ever upload that state flag tier list he did? I did. Yeah. I again I my favorite state flag is one that I would get in trouble for liking. <laughs> Unfortunately. One of my favorites. It's a it's a fun list, yeah. No, here's what it is. Hold on. So my favorite state flag, just based off the colors and the design of it, is uh, Tennessee. And I found a shirt that had a cool design of it because I like the colors. The problem is I can't wear this in public. <laughs> that that has very different vibes. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It has different vibes. I just like the color. 
right? I think it's striking. I like the red, but I did not buy the shirt for that reason. It was at Dollywood, uh, wood, by the way. Dollywood was fantastic. That's a Dragon Ball shirt? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um... I heard those colors don't run. Well, I guess it depends on what wash cycle you put them in. If you maintain them well, I suppose they wouldn't, would they? Have you seen the Quebec flag? That sucks. I'm not a fan of the of this thing. Whatever this I don't even know what it is. It's France. This is a French-ass design. The fountain thing? Not into it. Don't like it. A fleur. Fleur de lis. <laughs> Magnifique! I don't like Quebec. World flag tier list? No, come on. <laughs> this is quite a... P well... No, this is too long. This is too many. I can't. No, 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 no. This is way too long. That's too many flags, bro. There's always too many. We want Mario. <laughs> This is too much. What is this? Kind of like yeah. the dragon. Oh, that's Shenron. Honey, can I have your input on this? Yeah. Maybe something funny. I'll but... take a look. Why does he have the Dragon Balls? <laughs> Bhutan? How did you guys know that? How did everybody in chat know that? <laughs> so, uh, I want you to know... Big ass gorilla uh, sent Linkaga. He cast Linkaga, the strongest of the Link spells, and I put in the whole thing, and it came out with this. <laughs> and you know, I don't really have any strong feelings about it. I don't really have any strong feelings about Sea Man Grublin. You know, I, I I feel like I could come up with a funny joke about him, pretty quickly, but. Unfortunately, I, I don't think I'm I'm ready right now. I just don't have it in me right now. A uh, funny joke about Seaman Grublin. <laughs> doesn't he go ahoy? The whole joke hinges on him going, <laughs> but he doesn't. So I can't do the joke. I can't do it. It's not funny if I do the same joke, but with the purple guy from Mad Monster Mansion. I can't do it. He makes the noise. No, he doesn't. Don't gaslight me now. Stop! U.S. state flags. No, not again. Not again. I like Tennessee, and I like this shit goes crazy. South Carolina is terrific. I already did this list. I literally did this on stream, and it's on YouTube. South Carolina is crazy. Maryland sucks. People pretend to like Maryland because it's, like, zany and goofy, but it's not good. It's ugly. Disgusting. So nasty, dude. And yet you're doing it again. Nope, just those two. And maybe... <laughs> one more, one more. What was the one that I liked? I think I liked Washington. Right? Hell yeah. What is that? Bees? <laughs> what are they... Did they update? Are these new? Utah. <laughs> Wait, which one? Is Utah beaver or bees? New Utah is yeah. is beaver or bees? <laughs> bees? Honey, the weirdest thing happened. I seem to recall you <laughs> so nearly stupid. telling the joke before the stream yeah? mysteriously ended. Oh, that's tough. I wish you would tell me what joke it was and I could tell it right now. But unfortunately, I don't know what kind of joke I was telling you at that time before the stream ended. Listen, I'm a streamer and I'm doing a, I tell a lot of jokes. You know what I'm saying? I do a lot of things. So, Sorry. New Utah is bees. Beaver is the reverse of the Oregon flag. I love the bee flag. That's a W. Utah's new flag goes hard. That's amazing. I didn't know they got bees like that. I love the uh, the mountain thing in the background, like how it's not just like France with the blue, white, red. That's nice. Okay, I'm not doing flags anymore. <laughs> I'm done with that. Uh, is that enough videos for Mojo? Did we do all the mo- Oh, wait, we- <laughs> We're not done! Wait a minute, we're back, hold on. Wait, what- what else do Americans want the world to know? Wait a minute. 
or Ethiopian food. What else is like there that. to... Since U.S. citizens have roots in so many different cultures, various cultural meals are often incorporated together to create new fusion cuisine. They just put all that shit in the pot. <laughs> that doesn't count as food. That's just leftovers that you dumped into a porcelain pot. Cuisine. What is that, gumbo, boil? No, that's not good. Slop, that's actual slop. Every region has its own specialties. In the Breath of the Wild cooking? The South has tons of barbecue, Cajun, and soul food. I New love England barbecue. New Englanders love their clam chowder. Clam chowder. <laughs> so while that travelers wasn't good. can certainly... Chow chowder? Chow chowder? Chowder? Chow... I can't do a Boston accent. I can't do it. Enjoy as much... Cockies! Chowder! <laughs> as food as they can... I can't do Boston. Boston's hard. Can handle. There's plenty of exciting and delicious options. Deep in dish is delicious, dude. Dude, I went to that place Pequod's in Chicago. Oh my god. Heaven. Number five. Chow dare? <laughs> you know what the problem is? My, my fucking, my Boston accent is the guy from The Simpsons. With the chowder. Yeah, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Not all Americans are overweight. Gime. What's a game? According to recent statistics, over 40% of Americans are overweight because their BMI is higher than what medical professionals have deemed to be average for their height. This editor loves The Simpsons. That number is be considered over states like Hawaii. Trees. <laughs> it's always Complex Homer. America is huge. <laughs> That's true. They were spitting on that. Even people who live that in is the United true. States can forget how big the nation is. It's a big ass is. country. America bro. is generally considered the third biggest country by area and population. That's in the true. World. Accurate on the that. country sites into a truly daunting task. If anyone wanted to do a big cross country drive, it would take about six days of eight hour drives to realistically complete the journey. I've always wanted to do that. Have any of you guys done that? Be honest. And what was it like? Because I feel like I would love the idea of it. And then after uh, a day, I'd be like, wow, this sucks. Shorter than I thought? Really? No, I don't care. Thank you for being honest. I've always wanted to do that. It's fun for like two days. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I would have fun for a day, maybe a day and a half, and I'd be like, oh, I hate this. I rode through four states on a motorcycle, sucked ass. <laughs> we are on a motorcycle. I'm thinking like a road trip with friends. We rent an RV, me and like, you know, a couple friends of mine. We get in an RV, and we go to the West Coast, and then we fly back. We're not driving back. We talked about this, didn't we? Yeah, right? You, me, Larry, you guys come up to Maryland. We get an RV. We drive to California. Then we fly back. We stop at places on the way. I think that'd be fun as shit. I would love that. Stay in rest areas? I'm down? Hell yeah, dude. Let's do it. You, me, Marcus, Larry, try to get some other people. I want to do it at some point in my life, bro. Seriously. Flying back is cheating? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not driving back to the East Coast. And that's if you barely stop to see anything. What happens to the RV? There are actually things that you can rent. They 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 sell this as an experience. Like, so you can you can rent an RV on the East Coast and you drive it to the West Coast and then you leave it there. It's a one-way rental, yeah. And you could do it back the other way, which is really cool. Honey, look at the mountains. Breathe the air. We'll probably fly back halfway through the trip. Yeah. <laughs> we get to, to to Oklahoma. We're like, this sucks. I don't want to go anymore. I'm done. Along the way, it would also be clear that weather patterns in the United States hugely vary depending on where you go. Fortunately for anyone planning to visit the states who's short on time, they can make a full trip out of one state or city alone. Number three, every state is different. Uh, that's, yeah. From well, not every state. There's a bunch of the shit in the middle that is the same, I think. Side looking in the I think Kansas to hold on. I think if you're looking at a map these are all the east coast is different except Virginia and North Carolina kind blend kind of blend together and then down here it's all the same until you get to Florida which is very different. Like, Virginia and North Carolina are, like, they, they're, they're kind of conjoined. And then North Carolina and South Carolina are the same. South Carolina and Georgia are the same. Florida is a different animal entirely. Um, all the colonies are different. Eh, Jersey and New York are the same. And a lot of New England is the same. But I think once you get to Kansas, like, this circ... Not Colorado. 
this area is basically the same. These six, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, um, pretty much the same. Mississippi, too, maybe Alabama. By the way, I've never been to any of these states. So, you know, just this is in the East Coaster's opinion. Um, but that's kind of the vibe that I get. Arkansas is like Nebraska? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, did I piss off a Husker in chat? Why don't you get back to your corn? <laughs> Go tend your corn. I don't know what the hell y'all are doing over there, bro. Nebraska is like in the dead... No, Kansas is dead center of the country. I didn't know Missouri was this high. You can't make any statements about California either because it's so big. If you do, it's either NorCal or SoCal. So, Corn is Ohio. No, corn is Idaho and Nebraska, I think. No, Idaho is potatoes. My bad, y'all. Why does Oklahoma have that long bit? I don't know. I thought I felt, is it like a war with Texas? Is this like a taking Texas from Mexico thing? Like, they're like, all right, you can get the top of Oklahoma. We let them keep it? State slave stuff? Okay, yeah. I didn't know what that top part was. Imagine living there. <laughs> Texas gave it up to have slavery? <laughs> okay. Listen, we really want our slaves. And to show you how much we want it, we'll give you this one little panhandle all the way at the top. It's so evenly distributed, too. That's such a weird spot. Do not say we. Oh, do you, you think that this could be taken out of context and I'm going to be taken for a Texas landowner in the 18, whatever, the 17, when did that happen? 19, Civil War, what, 1882? <laughs> Learning a lot about America. <laughs> I, me too, honestly. That's why I love streaming. It's an exchange of information. The Four Corners is so weird, too. Yeah, just this weird, like, four-square spot right here. Like a conversation. I like that. <laughs> I was going to say Garth Brooks in chat, but I wish he was in here. Garth Brooks recently got on Spotify. He has one album on there. I listened to that shit the other day. Still hits. Weird as that guy. Oh, shit, ads. Oh, no. Drop the stealth bomb on him. Oh, that's tough. That's so sad. They never saw it coming. Oh, man. <laughs> it just dropped without warning. That's tough. I'm sorry, everybody. Not the Blackhawk. No, Garth Brooks is crazy. Okay. United States looks pretty, well, united. A lot of states are, are the same. To other countries, it can look like a homogenous mass of America and Americans. But every state has its own culture and distinct identity. Is this true of, like... Is this true of... What, what are they, Provinces? What are they called in Britain? Like... Are they counties? Counties and nations. We call them areas. <laughs> I know provinces are... Can yeah, Canada is different. I do know that. Because one is like, you know, Quebec with a lot of... Uh, I, I imagine a lot of French influence. One is Nunavut, which is like the wilderness or whatever. Or municipality? I don't know. The terrain, climate, and culture can greatly shift as soon as you cross into another state. No, provinces There's in also Canada tons feel of very regional different. accents yeah. and specific slang that can help strangers narrow down where someone's from. It's like, hey y'all, how we doing tonight? And every city definitely doesn't look like the Big Apple. No two places in the country are quite exactly the same. It is really weird if you guys haven't traveled a lot when you go to like, when you go to Florida or some uh, like southern state, or, or like when I went to like New Mexico. Or Texas. Like, the houses are so different. I was in Utah. The houses out there are so different. It's just a different style entirely. Um, Which is kind of... It's kind of neat, honestly. It's really fascinating. Um, Just the different architecture that's out there. Because you assume that it's all going to be the same. But it's yeah. great. 
The Four Corners has a monument and it's super unsettling <laughs> because almost nobody is ever there and it's surrounded by empty kiosks. Wait, really? This? Oh god. Well, why would why would they think anybody would be there all the time? Four Corners USA is really boring. Yeah, why would you go there? It's just a gimmick. I mean, it's a neat thing to look at, but I would never want to go there. Tourist trap? Yeah, but why? Not even, right? You go and get a picture. Yeah, I, I guess. Viva Las Vegas. What's going on with Viva the audio? Turn that shit off. Stop, Watch Mojo. Oh, Jesus. There's still plenty. Stop. Ow. Although they're all united under one flag, there's still plenty of individuality to each state. Number uh -huh. two, why they don't travel abroad often. While around 71% of we? Americans have gotten out of the country, Is it money? it's harder for the majority to make that a regular habit. The principal reason why lies with the costs. Okay. Here we are. Fucking. <laughs> they get out of the country all the time. They do it like three times a season. Branson, Missouri. Snowbelly. Is the this Homer, is Bronson, dude. Missouri. Mm -hmm. Passports, flights, and vacation expenses can be daunting to handle all at once. I'm so stupid. Pass I was about to be like, wow, my passport looks just like that. Sports, flights, and vacation expenses can be daunting to handle. I wonder why they look so similar. Even trips to neighboring <laughs> countries like Canada or Mexico can be princely affairs depending on the itinerary. Apparently, Mexico is very cheap to travel to. I have heard that. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't looked into it in a while, but apparently it's very cheap. Despite America's reputation for being one of the richest countries... I've in always wanted to go. I always thought it'd be fun, you know? I don't know where to go in Mexico, though. I don't want to be, like, a, a fucking tourist and just go to Cancun or whatever. But. The, world, the reality is very different. While the USA happens to have a ton of rich people, that wealth isn't evenly distributed across the wide population. For many citizens, the decision whether or not to embark on an international trip is largely a question of... Food is very cheap over here? What, in Mexico? <laughs> HBox begs to differ. Hold on. Did you guys see this HBox tweet? I cannot believe how many people he got with this. This is crazy. Mexico is way too expensive, man. What the fuck? He got so many replies. $300 a person? This is so stupid. <laughs> but it worked. It worked. So dumb. Cost instead of interest. Before we continue, Content Gladiator. Be sure to subscribe Unbelievable, to our channel. Unbelievable, bro. It worked. How does he do it? About our latest videos. It is a family meal, that's true. Yeah, if you have five people in the family, that's 60 bucks a person, you know? To be sense. notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. <laughs> Number one, they aren't all the same. Uh, I mean, if you're from a different country, copium. <laughs> If you're from a different cult country, I wouldn't blame you for thinking a lot of Americans share a lot of attributes, right? Ameri no, nah, Americans are all the same. I mean, like, not within the country, but, like, outside of it probably, right? America is a country of immigrants. This has led to plenty of diversity among its... You know how many people tell me that I look like somebody else? And I'm just a white guy with brown hair. I look like every other white guy with brown hair on the planet, and then I have a different variation when I wear a hat. So, I'm I'm that guy. There I am. That's me in the video. I filmed this. Residence. When I was a boy, <laughs> so stupid. heaven was here. There's like three or four Americans. Yeah. America was here. While white Americans make up most of the racial majority, there are still cities and U.S. territories where other ethnic groups make up a good deal of the population. Uh -huh. This diversity has led to a wide blend of traditions from across the world because showing Barack Obama coming parts of the wider US culture we won this country's freedom together we built our greatest cities together okay we yeah our way of life together we've continued to perfect our <laughs> look diversity that's what I'm saying it's just look at our president together 
He's Hawaiian! <laughs> Additionally, although English is the first language to over 70% of Americans, it's not technically the official federal language. There's plenty of multilingual speakers and- <laughs> Evidence of racial diversity! Obama! Those picking up the language. The United States is- Seventh wonder of the world, a black humanity. president. Wow, look at the video! The nation, you'll find Amazing! <laughs> yeah! I... And unique stories. Did you enjoy this video? I, I don't know. I don't know about this one, Watch Mojo. Not a- uh... Not your best work. No. <laughs> well, that's it for Watch Mojo. Not a great assortment today. Uh, well, no, the editor might cut the bad ones, so I probably shouldn't see that. We cut some ones. Did you see the bad ones? Comment below if you saw the bad ones. Like the video, by the way. You got all the way to the end, so you might as well like it, right? It's a thank you. A little tip jar below the stream. Hit like, and while you're down there, hit subscribe, okay? Goodbye. See you next time. So long. I should tell people to like earlier. Because I had to tell people to like earlier because then it, like, pushes the video. And they're, they'd left by now. Nobody's watching this. Nobody's listening to me talking. Cody, cut the bad ones. You mean cut the whole video? They weren't all bad. Just the two of them out of four. <laughs> Half bad. Okay. I just got here. Well, you just got here just in time. Do we do Mario now? What's uh, What's Smash Factor looking like? Mario, you think? Let me check up. Sonic's Gluto? <laughs> it's almost top 12. They're not even top 8. Oh my god, it's 10 p.m. Are you fucking kidding me? One title thing down, three to go. Oh, yeah. Forgot that we're doing all of those tonight. Yeah. Forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Top eight was supposed to start an hour ago. Really? Oh, my God. Thank you, Equinox SSBU. How long are you playing my favorite game, by the way? An hour. It's an hour-long bounty. I did promise Smash Bros. I think we saved Mario for Tuesday, huh? Huh? I think we saved Mario for Tuesday. Right? You also promised baseball. You guys want to do baseball? <laughs> We can knock that out. That's a quick video. I will only shake if you play Mario during Sonics. The problem is that Mario is... So, here's what I have. Should I show you? Because if I'm going to show you later, maybe not. At least do half the title. <laughs> I mean, you guys have seen it, right? You guys know what it is. I'll save it. Coney, please, Mario. No, the problem is if we do that, it's the rest of the stream because it's long. That shit is a long stream. I think we do it Tuesday. I think it's a Tuesday bit. Right? Quad stream it. Mario Smash and Baseball. <laughs> 16 star at least during Sonics. Hold on. Is he on now? No way that's on now, though. Yes? Wait, it just started. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. Wait, I gotta... Shit. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm hitting the button. Okay. Oh, shit. This is bad. Dear Mario, please come uh, okay. All right. Okay. Princess Toadstool. Go here. 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 Go there. Okay. It's Sonic's Gluto, too, so this one should work, right? This should be good. Okay. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hold on. 
change the game. Go into this. Okay. Turn on the audio for the stream right there. Flashbacks up. Um, okay. Why Maybe bring this up a little bit. Since Brawl Days with Sonic, uh, with Sonic and, and All right, let's get it. Trying to time out, time out to I haven't played in a while. I have not played in a while. Let's go! Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Thank you, big-ass gorilla. Oh my god, I didn't do this flip. I didn't do the turn. Thank you. Plus one oh stream I fucking love Mario G. Plus ten? A plus ten from Big Ass Gorilla? Thank you for the twenty-five dollars. Give it up. Okay. Oh, we can do this. Come on. I can't believe I'm hitting Lakitu so consistently now. Oh. Oh. Let's go! Okay, that's two. That's two. Okay. We got it. Excellent pace. My best pace. Oh, I go here. Oh. Launch this movement. Oh my god, he's so clean. I haven't played in months. And somehow, we make it work. We're going sub-20 this time. Oh, I don't remember Womps, though. I'm going to have to remember everything. What's the ritual? I forgot the pagan ritual. What do we do? Hold on. Uh, come on. No! It's so fun. He's having so much fun. Oh God, dude. Wait, is it like this? Yes! Oh, stop yelling! Stop yelling! I need to focus. Casters, please. Okay. I think I got it. Hail Satan! Love it. Yeah. If you're here for the first time and you don't know what that is, don't worry. We're going to repent in a couple stars. I don't mean it. We just need his awesome power for a moment. And by awesome, I don't mean good. I just mean, like... Great, and not by great. I mean, great, uh, great and terrible power. Great and terrible power. I don't mean good or great in like a subjective sense. I mean just in terms of how large it is. That's what I mean. <laughs> just to be clear. Oh! You mean strong? <laughs> I guess that's another word to. Yeah, that's another way to put it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yes, Coney. Hail Satan. No, 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 no. Not in this chat. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it, please. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, uh, did I forget how to do this? Whatever. It's fine. You guys want to see a trick? So the thwomp is going to jump on me, right? But if you do this... That's called the Coney flip. Oh! Okay. Is that Charles? That sounds like Charles. Did I land on it? Fuck. It is? Okay. That's my boy Chucky Chucky D. I mean that's the best option, honestly, at this point. You don't want to rush anything. Chucky T. Why do I call him Chucky D? I think there's an artist called Chuck D. Was he in Run DMC? <laughs> my boy Chuck Nasty. I love Charles, man. Nobody's been able to get, get a hit. Let's go. Okay. Yup. 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 All the way up. It's in. Chuck D is public enemy. Oh, my bad. Bro, we're almost out of Womps and not a game has passed. This is the run. This is it. Finally. We did it. And just to be clear... Because I don't want anybody thinking this is like a Sonic-specific thing. This isn't just Sonic's. This is also Gluto. This is actually Gluto and Sonic's percent. They're both doing it, okay? I am a big Sonic's fan, and I think he's a very talented player. Just to be clear. It's a matchup thing. Oh, he lived! Let's go! He survived! Let's go, Gluto! Live a little bit longer. Go to time. 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 He doesn't know Owlis. I do. I'm just scared. 
I don't want to mess it up. It's scary. It's like a triple jump. A tight triple jump. Okay. This is it, bro. This is the run. Wait, so this is top 16? Oh, it's winner's quarters. Okay. I was going to say, why are they playing? But... <laughs> Afraid of an owl? Well, yeah, owls don't have tails. Oh, he won! Wait, did he? Oh, my God. I wanted to see what happened. He hit the waft, but he... Wait, he lived waft? And it went to time? Holy shit. Hey, Gluto, I think you might need to take a quick break. You need to think about that loss. Really let it set in for a little bit. Give it some more thought. Take some time before the next match. Take a deep breath. Compose yourself. <sighs> Incredible match, RNG. Okay. Boom. But, oh, my God. Praise God. He's an awesome God. It is through him that my wall kicks work. No wall kicks will work without him. <laughs> okay. Wait, this is taking a while, bro. What? Oh my god. No, Mario, stop. I don't care how the match is developing. Like, honestly, watching Brutal and Sonic, like you said, just Can't wait for the Kotaku article tomorrow. You know, I've never been in a Kotaku article. I need to do something controversial. <laughs> My ass needs to get attention. <laughs> Undo? Why do you think I mean like that? Riddles has had like three. Oh my god. Get silly. Wait, do they have three casters on the mic? I hate triple casting, bro. I haven't actually listened to this, so maybe it's good, but I just, I don't like the concept. I don't like that it caught on as much as it did. I feel like the third one is just not necessary a lot of the time, you know? But again, I haven't listened to this. Maybe they're doing it great. I'm not trying to throw shade. Please. Oh my god. I forgot how to do this. I I literally forgot how to do that. My brain just stopped. I forgot how to do this. <laughs> I, I literally forgot how to do that part. Who is the unnecessary one, Coney? Ah, I see you're trying to get me my Kotaku article. Thank you. Appreciate you looking out for me. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Alright, take the stairs. Safety first. Safety first. Safety first. Whew! Didn't you always triple cast? Yeah, but I think it's different when it's me, TK, and EE, because we worked together for like 15 years. And I think people saw that and they just started doing it. And I don't think I, any one of us was necessary on that either, honestly. Gotcha. If I lose by a couple seconds, I'm going to rage. Oh, how's it going over there? All right, Sonic's winning. Oh, Gluto, we gotta go game four at least, right? Let's go to the basement! Is the goal to PB or just win before the set's over? Just win before the set's over. You lost a minute at the start of game one? Oh shit, you're right. I didn't think about that. Can we go to the ghost level, Coney? Unironically, I would if I knew any stars in there. I don't know how to get them. What the? 
Oh my god. Oh, I don't know what just happened. Wait, I can't make it. Because he's going to be out of position, right? Unless he phases in. <gasps> Wait. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. No! <laughs> I took too long. He's fucking dead. I, I, I hit R, and when I hit R, it... It did the thing, and it zoomed in. Oh, Ludo got first stock, though. It's fine. It's fine. It can still work out. It can still work out. It can still work out. Pharaoh's curse. All right, here we go. Dude, I thought I hit the vulture. I can't believe I missed him. Okay, we got it. Whoa! Slow it down, Super Mario! The brawl went far. I bet Mario gets a lot of sand in his shoes, bro. That sounds mad uncomfortable. Bit of a slip, bit of a slip. Make Mario bigger? Hold on. Maybe after this tight triple jump. When the triple jump is tight! Okay. Oh! Okay. How big you want it? Like, like this? I'm just trying not to block the gameplay. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Let's go! Why are you so happy? <laughs> Does it tickle? It's going to time. Fuck yeah. That's what we like. I need Gluto to hit waft though. Let's go! Oh my god, he didn't do it. Hit waft. Hit waft! I don't think he's out of combo percent, right? 40% isn't too high. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so... God, there's still so much left. Because there's two stars in here. Two Bowsers. Docs. Or the sub? Is that Docs? Is Docs sub? Yes. At least I hit that. <sighs> it's so over. No, it's not. It's good, dude. They're still going to time. I just... Sonic can't 3-0. If Sonic's 3-0s, we're screwed. But if this goes game four, we might be able to do it. <laughs> it's so worry over. Stop. Okay. Plus a lot of time in between games. Do not... Okay. That was a little bit of jazz. A little bit of improv for you. Oh, that's game two. Come on, dude. It's not over. 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 Now, Gluto will try. Reverse 3 0 Master. Remember when he reversed 3 0 Leo a bunch of times? Uh, fast Mips. This is good. It's Pret over? Okay, now you're doing a lot, Chatter. You're trying really hard with that one. What the, what the hell is my camera? I don't know what the camera is here. Oh my god. If I could just... Mario, that's too far. I don't remember how to do the camera. Oh my god! This is so bad. I don't remember how to do it. Because there, there's like a way to do it. Yes, like this. Yes. Okay. okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. We got it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go! We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Find me in the club. Oh, cool. 
Bob, my mind got much weird than it was in the sun. And I've been searching and I've been making love, so come on, give me your hope. I'm gonna do it when you do it, I'm gonna find me in the club. Bob, 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 my mind got much weird than it was in the sun. And they're having sex, and they're making love. Gluto is scrapping? Is he fighting? What is Coney saying? It's 50 cents into club. That's the right rhythm to hit that. There's a couple songs that are the... Oh my god, why do I always do this? I'm here? No! What happened? Oh! God, dude, it is so laggy here. Wait, Sonic SD? Oh, wait, but it's still two stocks. Fuck. Okay. This could still work out. This could still work out. Game four, maybe. Uh. I didn't think I got that. Okay. This is so ugly. Whatever, I wasn't one cycling anyway. I never one cycle. I don't know why I put so much pressure on myself in this area. Okay, okay. well now it. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It. it okay. We'll we'll three cycle. What happened? Let's go! Oh my God! It's over! Yes! Game four! Game four! Game four! Thank you, God! Oh, they glued up. This is great. This is fantastic. Oh, no. Uh, I kind of screwed this up. Okay. Forgot how close I was. And I cannot die here. I'm so scared of Bowser. I did the race, and I died twice to Bowser 2. So I am very scared. Yes, thank you, God. Oh, my God. Let's go! <laughs> game four, game four, game four. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. I think I might be able to do it in one more game if we go to time. If we go to time, it might be it. I need to hit BLJs, though. I haven't done it in so long. Okay. Mario hit that big key. Spin it around one time and then pull it. Last couple of times on Pluto Counterfeit. The hardest thing is about the first three oh, guess what? The rest of the set is all on What's the bad part? Mario, jump up those stairs backwards very very fast. Just like like that. But Yes! I love Super Mario. Uh, they're not even in game four yet, though. I love Super Mario. I love Super Mario so much. I love him. Wait, why aren't they moving? They're not moving? Why aren't they moving? <laughs> Dude, I literally don't know what I did. I i don't know how I thread that needle. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. I love the review. So, just a quick check on the... I'm doing it safe. I could do this the right way, but safety first. Oh, no. 
no. I forgot the rhythm. I forgot the rhythm. Oh my god. I haven't played in so long. I forgot what the rhythm was. I forgot what the rhythm was. I missed one. I missed one. Come on, Galuto. Why the talk about Pikachu? What? It's fine. It's fine. Dude, I haven't played in too long. I haven't played in too long. We did it. I think this is it. I think this is it, bro. It's three stocks to two. There's no way. It's over. We finished it, bro. Don't even need game five. I'm going to fuck up the throws, but even if I do... I thought that hit. Why is he jumping? Oh no. Please. Oh my god. I didn't think that hit. Should I go for that one? That one's so far. Fuck. I, guys, I haven't practiced these in so long. I can't die. I just can't die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, Bowser. Okay, surely it's right there. It's right fucking there. Bowser even did the thing where he goes all the way to the edge for me. Okay. okay. That's it. You were here. Finally. Finally. After six, nine, twelve arduous months. <laughs> Maybe a year. We have finally finished Sonic's and Gluto percent. We did it. We might get through the credits. Celebrate with trumpets. Send the trumpets, bro. Everybody send the trumpets right now. Sound the horns. <laughs> we made it. We might get through the whole credits before this match ends. Couple hits and you move out. Yeah. You roll. You know, there at the end, I didn't think we were going to do it. I got a little nervous when I was missing those Bowser throws, and I just couldn't land it. I thought I was choking, you guys. I didn't think I would be able to do it. But we did it. We made it work. Huge shout-out to Sonics, yeah. And Gluto. I mean, this it takes two, right? Gluto definitely stood his ass there for a while. He's getting those, yeah, he's getting those walks, bro. Thank you for the $40, Cassie. <laughs> We did it. Despite we did it. Best efforts, we did it. Sonic's percent is over. Finally. And finally. We did Rishi percent before we did Sonic's percent. Now we need a whole new category. <sighs> Thank you, big ass gorilla, for the 25. <laughs> when is the buzz percent? As a doubt, is the buzz still in?
The cone heads are so light sad. percent is not doable. I L L A C H A D. I don't think the I don't think light percent is doable. Oh, was it lod percent? Oh, my bad. Never mind. It was lod. Lod makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I was gonna say, did I really do that during Rishi? Rishi doesn't really camp. You're right. It was lod. We finished lod percent. Did not do Rishi percent. Uh, hide the vid now? No, no. I think it's important to remember all these places that we visited. Remember this? We spent a lot of time here. Remember our fight with bob -omb King? We sure did visit all of them, yep. <laughs> I, we did go up there. We did do that, remember? Is Sonic's even aware of this BS? Um, yeah, he's... <laughs> He said he doesn't like it. <laughs> Not that he doesn't like it, but he said that it's uh, he he. No, he he has said he has said that he thinks it promotes a culture where people get more annoyed because they think he's camping. But like, one, I think it's just Sonic. It's not his fault. He's a very talented player. That's just how you play the character. And two, come on, it's fun, right? You know you know what advice. <laughs> it went to time twice. I mean, like, part of that is just Wario, though. Again, I'm not kidding in that it does take two to do that, right? Sonic's played very aggressively at um that last tournament that we saw. Was it Gommel? Yeah. And he would actually fight people, but against Wario, you gotta play a little bit slower, otherwise you get blown up. It's a matchup thing. Nothing against Sonic. He's a very nice guy. He's a good guy. You know how Smash fans are. Right. But you know how I am, Sonic. completing my Mario runs. Honestly, I gotta do it. Sonic Were you a Gommel? I was supposed to be. Uh, I was... I got I got barred from entering Gommel because of Canada. Canada banned me. Yeah, I wasn't able to go to Canada. My flight got cancelled twice. Yeah, banished. Exiled. Yeah. Doing so well Are his hands cold? He's so good. That must be Sonic. why Sonic's won. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. kidding. That's a joke. That's a joke. A that is a joke, you guys. Obviously. Please <laughs> say mercy to France for the collaboration. <laughs> I would never. What are these posts? Is he about the backhand? Oh, he's doing the Wario slat. That's what that is. I like that. It's because he's a professional effing player. He's not here to please anyone. Why is this replay so saturated? That is kind of sad. Yeah, that shit is glowing. Shit is beautiful. <sighs> we got it, fellas. We did it. I will say, Gommel had the worst stench I ever smelled. I heard that. I heard it was uh, it was quite pungent. <laughs> I had heard that it was pretty bad, actually. We're the commentators. <laughs> we know what is to commentate this. And I'm saying I respect the dude for grinding up and going for the money, bro. I will do the same. Sakurai I Brawl vid? I hear it's not that interesting. He just talks about, like, you know, the Brawl team making Brawl again and how they didn't know. I feel like he, he already made that video. You know, what's different about it? I feel like it's the same. Gluto tweak? I might start it back up. <laughs> I think I could. I think I could do it again. I do. <laughs> Did you complete Mario 64? Yeah, I feel like I could do it again, bro. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so tweak percent. We go for tweak percent now. All right. And you can't say that I'm 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 a hater because Tweak is one of my favorite players and people in the scene, and my ass is gonna Tweak percent. Starts on go. I mean, I I think Tweak. I'm pretty sure Tweak has. Tony dominating all the categories. I'm like Green Suiji with my fucking splits, bro. I want to say soul name. Beating every player's category. So that is that is Didico. I think that he found his footing with Didico. Definitely. And I think also, that its character it fits his playstyle so well. Hold because on. folks don't control, folks don't like. Oh yeah, Meme versus Shudan. That's that for Topate? That's for Topate. Yeah. Yo, Meme? Two, the comeback one, king? Go. He never left. Okay. He never left. He never left. 
Are we doing yeah, only God. up Mario this stream? No, 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 no. We're gonna do that Tuesday. Maybe Wednesday. I don't know, someday. Thursday is Roblox stream. Thursday, we're gonna play Roblox with chat. We're gonna find some games. Wednesday is mystery. We'll see. It'll be fun. That logo is Mega Man, right? Yes. Yeah, I think they did a Mega Man X team. Smash Factor looks awesome, dude. Looks like a great event. Yeah, we're gonna do Roblox on Thursday. Pre-typed. Give Gluto a break. It's not Gluto. It's not. It's Tweak on this one. This is Tweak percent. I don't think I can do this one. I don't. Because I think by the very nature of their characters, I don't think this one works. Why is it always Gluto? It's not always Gluto. It was Gluto these two times. That's all. I think, I don't think this one will work. But I also would like to, I would, I would bring this up to Tweak later and laugh at him. <laughs> Levels are coming in. I see them flashing, man. If it goes game four or five, yeah, if it goes game five, sure. The thing is, the whole magic trick with this is that it seems like it's a long time, but it's not. It's only 20 minutes to beat the game. And a lot of sets are 20 minutes. It just so happens that 20 minutes are usually, you know, Sonic's or Gluto sets. It's in. Oh, it's fucking in. You usually beat the game in about 30, big guy. Shut the fuck up. I beat the game in 20 minutes every time. Come on. Not many sets are three games, 20 minutes. I guess that's true. Well, that was four games, but yeah, I guess that's true. Gluto is not afraid to challenge. He might have high percentage, but he knows I either lose the stock or get more damage on pick. I think and we could tweak percent here. I do. Which is going to go. Right. Yeah, this is great. Three stocks to two stocks, four and a half minutes left. I'm at Womps. This isn't bad. Oh! Okay. What? Can I make it? Hail Satan? We got it. Good. We're set. Hail Payman. I should say that instead. I forgot. That one is that one is more stream appropriate. Yeah. Hail Payman. And not the one from Genshin. Everybody only knows Genshin. Hail Payman like the king of hell. Yes. Oh, dude. Everything is coming up, Coney. This is fantastic. I will denounce Satan and all of his teachings very shortly, but for now, I'm taking the black pill. The Satan pill. I guess Satan pill is black pill. Hell, Jesus! That's right. I mean, to be honest, Mona still hangs out with him. It's okay, in? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> Hail Jesus. <laughs> you better think of other things like this match. <laughs> and, I mean, yes. Gluto and uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the last pass here, so he's still comfortable with the lead. That makes it sound like it's not of your own free will, which, like, famously Jesus wanted. You know what I mean? And Gluto, he has a lot of... Cody getting Mark at the Beast mid-speed run. Right about now, I was about to say... I'm just randomly like, yeah, guys, we did it! And there's just a big mark right there. Good job, everybody! <laughs> Can you make your face cam a tad smaller? I, d I will when I get the chance. I'll fix that for you. Oh, Let me. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get the chance because this is a very tight speed run, but I'll try it. Almost enough. Bananas out. Next one will do it though. Has to be extra careful. Yeah, dude, we're fine. We're still on game one. Almost. Bottle edge. 
Oh, he's so smart. He's so smart. He's so smart. He's so smart. Love that. First five stars in game one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost six. And the downer for edge guarding is so mean. Whether or not it spikes, like, yeah. that would definitely KO regardless, but... Uh, I think if it goes to four games, I have a possibility, but it's got to go long. Sometimes you hit it and it explodes and you're like, I thought I was hitting the monkey, not the barrel. It's, uh... All right, ten left. I'm pretty sure it has armor, if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to, like, uh, What the armor. hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what the uh, hell was... That was not optimal. Any of y'all... Has the info on oh, by the way, uh, next one's gonna go faster. Remember, cause I'm all practice now. I know how to do my Bowser throws and shit. I'm gonna be way better now. It's going well, bro. I'm good. I'm gonna hit all three throws. No fear. Watch this. Give me that penguin. Let's go. Oh, I think I'm dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to hit the wall. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hell yeah. Take forever, bro. Wario can't kill you off that. No. Wait, how did he kill him? I didn't see. How did he kill him off top? Wait, how did he kill him off top? Seriously. What did he kill him with? Up air doesn't do that. Up smash? Oh, my. He doesn't hit that fucking move. Wario doesn't up smash. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm certain of, Cody will miss at least one Bowser throw. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you want to make it interesting? I actually don't. I don't want to do that. Do you mean in the whole game or just on the third one? <laughs> Stop doing this. I'm trying to do my dailies. Hail Jesus. Give it up for the big guy. Why are you concerning? Oh, let's go. Well, no, don't, don't let's go tweak. I was gonna say let's go tweak for the comeback, but I don't want it to be even. I want that shit to take a long time. I don't think I do tweak percent, bro. I'm doubting myself. Damage just you get a neutral situation. But when you doubt yourself as a speedrunner, is right before you have your biggest breakthrough of all. And I am famously known for my speedrunning. So What the fuck is this camera work? I wish I knew a famously shitty still nothing yet and for the people if the want to know if there's something screaming from the people it's going to be ahead on the race versus Kameme. God. Fuck me. Yeah, I'm not here for tweak. Walk this ready. I thought that music was from this game. That Kingdom Hearts music? I was like, "Oh my god. <laughs> Did I install a hack?" Oh, I thought we were gonna see an outer shield option, but Drift was a little too fast here for Glutony. Okay, very slowly, yep. Oh, Tweak, he's gonna confirm it. Finally, yes. Obstacle. What are we at? Oh, God. I do, uh, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think this is it, bro. Yeah, I love it. He just gets going and going and going. Shit. It seems to be a different combo every single time as well, even though it's not. But, uh, I think it's just like the Justice Light. Oh, look at the ring! Look at that first throw! Going up! Oh! Did you get that How did his lucky stars tweak? You know, if I didn't kick there, I think I had it. If I didn't kick there, I think I had it, man. I really do. Oh, oh my god. That was. It's so over. It's Glover? It's like Glover? <laughs> That's not oh, good. Dear, That's a yeah, very bad guys, one. Gluto's gonna 3 0. If it goes game 5, maybe. Did he switch? Maybe Sephiroth to go very slow? Okay, all right. Well, this is going to be a fast game, I think. Oh, I forgot about this. 
Oh, that game seems like it's not going to be campy. Two Wario's, like... Because they're going to go, I don't know when I hit that Z button. I fucking love ground pounding. Famously. Okay. How do I do this? It's like you run at the wall. This is a loss, bro. I'm not even done with Bowser 1. I do have half the stars, though. Actually, wait, more than half. More than half. No, 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 you can not. No, you can not, like, uh... Mentality is such a... Okay. Then, okay. Good. We're good. Well, he did heal by Rage here as... A little more than half? One more than half. I did hit that, though. Yeah, I hit the stairs. Little wins. I never hit that. The chatter was right. No, he wasn't. Fuck that chat. Ban that guy that I said I would miss one. I don't miss this. Get the key, Mario. It's Tweak Talk Over. That's a stretch. Going back and forth, no bike here for it. Yeah, for Tweak and uh, just a little stank leg out there mm -hmm. is gonna work in the favor good. of the Frenchman. <laughs> there are no O's in there. Exactly. The, did he call Cole? No. Sephiroth Rover? Sephiroth? We are so twack. You guys are pissing me off. see what happens with explosions. Okay. I'm trying. Oh my lord, that's good. Hey, oh, yeah. Don't steal that one this away, so Glutoni has one more stop to go and he will. No, he won't. No, he won't. Tweak is bringing this back, bro. Tweak is bringing this back. He's bringing this back. W for Oh my god, he's down as full. This is so over. Any requests? Any favorite stars you guys want to see? In the short time that we have left, any Anything you guys like to see? You want to go race the penguin? Do the slide? That's absolutely it. I think Tweak is on his edge guarding. Also Tweak. I'm not sure if he was done at that Oh, I did save and quit. Whoops. He stood at the platform. All right, well, I'll do the slide. You know what? I am I think I'm done. Yeah. I don't think I keep going. Sometimes you fight. It happens. Sometimes you can fight until the end. Penguin slide or normal slide? You just realize, like, you know what? It's good. I, I, it's good to stop here. It happens. I mean, everybody has good days. Everybody Normal? Has good days. Okay. Even our biggest champion. Oh, ads starting right now. If you don't want ads, subscribe to the Coney stream. And if you don't aren't subscribed to the Coney stream, then you should, because I'm sending the ad bomb. It's dropping on you right now. Oh, it already dropped. Subscribe. Twitch Prime is absolutely free. Or it's here one. It's only four ninety nine a month. Go ahead and do it. Wait, can I beat the time? I forgot this one had a time on it. Oh my god, what's the time? Is it 21? I didn't get it. Wait, what's the time? We're doing it for y'all. Go follow us on Twitter. Yeah, that's the least you can do. That's the least you can do. Twitter. Well, there's one more. There's one more. 21. You have to belly flop for it. Do you? Because I've gotten it without that. It's not 15. Sub 21. I pledge allegiance to the bank. Have you seen that image with the. Predict you right now. Oh, I guess I would take too long. Never mind. It's amazing. I'm pledging allegiance to the bank. Wait. Can I do it this way? Oh my god, he's so fast. Holy shit. Is he faster on his belly? Oh, like a penguin. Smart. I didn't know he was like this. Dude, he's so much faster, right? I think. Am I wrong? Whoa. Dude, he's so much faster. You didn't know that? No. I swear to God, I did not know that. This fucking Yoshi is about to beat Shoot on. All right, I guess we're watching Smash Brothers. All right. I guess it's Smash Brothers. All right. We'll do Mario on Tuesday, okay? We'll do Mario on Tuesday. A local Yoshi? I think that's a little disrespectful to call him a local Yoshi.
That's May May, bro. May May's though, good. So I'm, I, I really Pro set a local May May Yoshi. Do. I don't I know if this is gonna be a mistake from shooting. Come on. But for sure, May May knows how to deal uh, with it. May May shoots on oh, my, double warrior. What? Oh, they were sharing. <laughs> I was like, that's uh, a 12. Okay, never mind. I was like, uh huh? <laughs> I was uh, two Warios on both streams. Implying good players can't be local. No, it's not that. It's that when I hear local, I think like a local skill. But no, he he is a local. Very good uh, Mexico Yoshi. Yeah, Meme and Joker were good. Joker the player. Who did Joker play? I don't. Did, was Joker Insen? I don't think so. Joker was uh, Samus, right? Yes. Yeah. Is this so quiet to you? I feel like comms are very quiet. That's exactly what you said. <laughs> I've literally never heard of this guy. Who, Mei Mei? He was gone for... Or I don't think he's gone, but I feel like he doesn't travel that much. Mexico is very good, though. Has a very strong, like, mid to high level uh, rep. No USA players in top eight? Really? Jeez. Smash factor making America look foolish. Zomba fucked us. Zomba specifically? We had a lot of people there too, I think. I mean, this was a huge event. I'm still trying to see Mamis figuring out where to enter, but he's not really comfortable with this. Oh, that was a neat idea. Yeah, I can see that. He's pretty much trying to use, like, a... Uh, Shuton comes from the land of Yoshi. Uh, Don't a Yoshi be winning all their tournaments and shit? Right. Those probably lost the, like the like fucking... Right now he's in the zone, Yoshi Dora 50,000 times. How are we losing oh to Mei Mei? Come on, bro. Pick it up. Oh, never mind. Double purple. He knows how to fight Yoshi. Never mind. He knows what to do. <laughs> he knows what's up. He's got it. He's got it. Shuton is 1-4 against Yoshi Dora. Honestly, dude, Yoshi Olimar sounds kind of annoying for Olimar. Because Yoshi just, he does that. He just powers through Pikmin. He has crazy, like, lingering hitboxes. I love hit how you just... <laughs> <laughs> gotta have the hitmarkers, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Montage has gotta have the hitmarkers. They're highlights, bro. He does have Pam. No, you're right. Yeah, he could just go Pam. Thank you, xd Aider. Montage videos, he's gotta love it here. Just like Shuton is loving this entire stock lead right now. Nair just destroys the Pikmin. Yeah. I feel like neutral air, if you just drift forward and pop it. Oh, dude, that spacing was so good. His Pam got cooked. Well, that's the other thing is, like, the familiarity. Like, yeah, it's a better matchup, but, like, you have to imagine Mei Mei knows what he's doing. Double jump armor everything. Yeah, Yoshi doesn't have to be worried and... Damn, dude, the production's nice. Like, they have moving images and shit. Holy. Wonder fight Sonics? Hold on, let me look at the bracket. Spargo, Meme, Leo... Oh, dude, Spargo, Leo... Okay, I see a little worry on your face right now. Siski <laughs> Mene. So, okay. Vertex, Damn, there's a lot to do right? still okay. in this tournament. The exact, exact same Are they streaming happened? all of it? No out, way, Mene right? Well, they had the other stream going, clean, actually. Clean Lucina that I, that I mentioned earlier. And it was for a matchup that he struggled with. Leo hasn't dropped a so game. Really Is he back on Joker? I saw somebody say he's playing Joker. Time, has a lot of practice. Against We're Lucina barely in top eight. Hand. We're not even in top you know, eight. Every other Japanese player. So I'm really it's excited. It's a long to see tournament. I'm worried about it. Just yeah. by just by the fact of how shooting can deal, and I've seen how he deals with Lucina most of the time. Right. Had to go to sleep at one. What time is it now? Eleven. Bro, we're not even in top eight at 11 p.m. This is usually when I end stream, but I gotta do a Honkai Star Rail bounty. <laughs> it's nine there, yeah. It's a West Coast thing. Yeesh. This is what you get for running top 64. Well, I think they did like best of five. Uh, a lot of the tournament, which is great for players. And if they have the means to do it, you know, if they can run the tournament well, that's great. 
Midnight Honkai is going to be silly. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, be nice. Good tech right there by Shuton. Oh, now looking good. Oh, okay. I haven't watched Smash and Munch in months. Did Leo lose number one status? Yes. So Leo is in this interesting spot because he is still incredibly talented, but he doesn't feel this like like this unstoppable force of nature anymore. Um, a lot of other people have kind of stepped up. Uh, most famously, there's a kid from Japan named Akola that plays Steve, and he's very good. He's probably number one this season. Spargo has come up in a big way. Leo is very good still, still top five, or at least top ten. I think top five. But he also, like, it feels like it's a lack of motivation, but that might be Cope. I don't know. But he's still very good. <laughs> you gonna put that on him and kept the busy. Yeah. It was like a, it was like a fly, bro. A lot of people have the sense that he could be number one if he like put his mind to it. He doesn't have jump here and no Pikmin. This is huge. Uh, like if he kept that up, that might have been stock or at least like a hundred damage. That's where Omar is so susceptible, right? Especially when there's no purples online, you don't really have a hitbox to throw out with the side. Mars said that even back at Summit, Leo said he wasn't playing the game much. Well, imagine, like, what it must be like to, and, like, I, and I don't, I'm not trying to make this about me. It's just the only way that I know how to explain this. But when I played competitively, my goal was to be number one in my region, which is a way less of a goal than being number one in the world, right, like Leo was. But even then, I was like, I want to be number one in my region, in Brawl. And I hit number one, and I was like, okay, what now? And it's oh, like, and yeah, he's dead. Lucina was a weird pick there at the end. Because, of course, he has practiced against that. But, but back in Brawl, I was like, I want to be number one in Brawl. In, the, in my region. And then I hit it, and it's like, who cares? I could just keep doing it, but who gives a shit? And the 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 desire, the, the drive to continue doing it, to keep winning, is crazy. And you told me that I had a worried face right? when he switched. Like, the, I, like I mean, it's I one thing to get number one. one. It's another thing entirely to beat Dan a lot of people. To be number one and keep um, winning and keep being on top and having the motivation to keep pushing yourself. And Leo did that for years. And he also did it for Smash 4. Like, that's... You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. So... I don't know how you keep that motivation. So, I think people are rightly wondering, like, okay, is he kind of, like, is he still feeling it? But people would always think that whether he was losing it or not, right? People are always going to make that assumption, so maybe that's not true. Staying on top is harder than making it to the top. Oh, dude, absolutely. And not just because you have a target on your back and everybody's trying to take you out. It's just, like, what do you have to prove? Leo won every major. He won all these tournaments. He was number one in the world for several seasons. What else would he have to... People would be like, oh, you fell off. It's like, okay, who gives a shit? I was on top forever. Eventually, people lose, you know? is such a unique... I don't know, a combination between a player and a character. Yeah. It's even weird with Yoshi. Yoshi being already Beat a weird character. That's the yeah. last thing he needs right? to do. So, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He keeps I tweeting like as if he cares, though. Uh, I mean, he might. I, I think I think no matter what, if Leo, if his results started floundering, people would assume that he didn't care that much anymore. Because it felt like he could literally win on command. Like, it felt like he could win just by willing it to happen. So, of course, it's going to feel like you don't want to win, right? In this set, Meme had the right to counterpick, had that advantage, and tried to utilize it with the Lucina. That blasted space, man! Do you think there was also a mentality change of the people playing, and it kind of got started after Leo got fourth at Summit to Proto? I think there is, like, an aura of Leo that probably got... Like, people started to see through the illusion, the smoke in the mirrors, right? Because it felt like if you were up, you know, 2-0 on Leo, and then he won that third game, like, it would feel, uh-oh, it's happening again. Um, and I think people are kind of, like, over that now. But obviously, that's different with every player. People have different mentalities, so. I think for this stream, it was... Oh, my bad. I got a fixed you know, cam. <laughs> uh, for the, uh, Sorry, everybody. For the so here's what I think we're going to do on this stream, all right? Because they haven't even started top eight. I think this is what we're going to do. And I, I would I, I would love it if you guys would, would help me out on this one, okay? I don't think we're going to watch the whole top eight, okay? What I think we're going to do 
is watch a little bit more. Do some Honkai Star Rail for an hour. You don't have to watch. Just leave the tab open, okay? Just help me out. Not now, not now, not now, not now. I'm still watching, okay? Just leave the tab open. That's all I need. And then I'm going to raid these guys. Because they deserve your views. It's just this shit's going to be on late. And I don't think I'm watching all top eight. Thank you. Coney really sold out, huh? <laughs> yes! Yes! A long time ago, before you were here. <laughs> I, I, I didn't sell out from 2014 to 2020. Soon as I quit my day job to go to Panda, we're different now. <laughs> it's a different world. I got a kid now. I'm playing a, a JRPG made by Hoyoverse to pay the bills. <laughs> It was Diddy against Warrior, yeah, and uh, it's Siski Who's your Star Rail main? And, uh, oh, I can't pick. There's so many. That, wow. So that many cool characters. For me. I don't know. T B yes. Pac-Man and Kasuya <laughs> against Samus? That's it, that's... Surely Kasuya you could name one. Pac oh, I don't think I could. I really don't Siski's think I could, because I love them all, Dude, you know? I love today, them. Man. Blade. I love Blade. Yeah, it's no, it's Blade. It's definitely Blade, so the, last, the new character Blade. The last I think it's a very interesting, um, very interesting new character the design. Uh, I like that. Blade is from Elden Ring. Meister, and it's oh, right now at oh yeah, he's the wolf guy, right? I'm at the other one. Right My bad. Oh, is this the Underworld yeah, Doctor game? I think so. <laughs> it's near, so it was kind of or is that Genshin? Oh, I don't no, know. No, 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 Whatever. No, 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 I, I can kind of see it a little bit. You know, we can commentate that one if you want right now. There you go. There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, off the, the small screen. Yeah, All right, guys. All right, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> the true in-person experience of your experience. But, guys, it was great commentating with you guys. It was, it was a They're swapping? Such it, was a a, it was such a good... I like that Meister knows that the position that uh, Yoshi the likes to threaten with is them. so bright. Mm -hmm. The command grab uh, is going to be below the platform, so he ran up. Who's that guy in the middle? Uh, Hacker, ha Hackeru. I almost said Hackerai because of Sakurai. Uh, Hackeru. He was a, uh, he was really big in Smash 4, content creator. I don't know if he still makes stuff. I feel like I haven't seen him around as much. But he was a, um, a content creator and I think a Yoshi player. I think he played Mario. North in our yeah. country. Yep. And I feel like he doesn't do that much anymore. Uh, at least not like I, have, I don't see it as much. But after this, maybe. <laughs> well, yeah, he makes YouTube and other stuff. He lives in Estale, or Plays he banjo now. Yeah. I don't know if he has moved or not, but originally from El Estado, Mexico. Yeah. All right, righty then. Just trying to. Who's the guy oh, in the bottom oh, right of my screen? Maybe. Thread the needle. Thread. Yeah. Oh, that's Maymay. Oh, He's the Yoshi player. No, no, no. The needle do be staying. All right, yeah, where, where do I go? I gotta fix this cam thing. That. I hate I'm doing this every time there, I play. To make sure you get every the time tail I watch hit this. Of the backer. Not yet, not yet. We go, we go. Oh, Maymay, I think he was looking for a tag. We go here. Uh, Meister didn't went for the early there. judge. I know all of the game watches like to go for this once. Just to make sure, you know. I mean, if he go, if it works, Here. it works. If it doesn't, well, we can. Why not like painless? That, Love that. Excellent. W. Unless like he. Is. Make yourself a player cam. No. Middle bottom. No. Then I'm blocking the stream and the sponsors. So That's BM. That's in the consistency. Of Come on. Because That's it's true. so it's so great. Like it, there, it, there was a time where he was literally this is the, the only game watching the planet who hit just that hard. Now there's uh, only one more added to that. Him Big and Mia. Yeah. Meister he's is looking player. shaggy, yeah, bro. They Look they at him. He's just like me. Meister, I didn't cut my hair. Well. I haven't cut my hair for six months, and now I'm just letting like that shit go. Like that, but, uh, my man's bear. Maybe he's, not get the same he's, results in Mehmet trying to he's not put him back, back down yet again. He's definitely not coming back from that. No, Motion no, track no. your camera Ain't to no Game Watch. Nope. If we had that technology, I would do it literally every stream. Right, I'm waiting next, for us to do that. Um, if I could like, match, if maybe, I could be like, hey, match my different. cam to this thing, I mean, and then it just know, moves like, with them, Meme I would has, love that. I, I was surprised to see Meme so far in the bracket. That's Are you bringing back the mullet? No. And like mm -hmm. you said, I like, just haven't, I, I break, haven't cut my hair in a long ass time, and now I'm just going to do it until I get annoyed. I've been getting kind of annoyed because it's hot. Like it's very hot outside, but. He's so, so ready. To just Wait, guys, is he bald? No, path. stop. You're an E in the stream. I know what you're doing. The too, problem like, is that there's a lot of new people here tonight, and they don't know that I'm not bald. No. Or an interesting uh, 
um, how to say it, like, circumstances, Stop. I don't know, maybe just him is just that build different, he's just that good. Is he that good? Yes, he is. He is that good, but <laughs> Meister also a player that is... Bro's like, I'm growing out my hair and you see nothing proceeding. coming out of the hat. I have it back, yep. dude! Uh, dude it's back here. You can Both these guys have actually made it your out. That, uh, I was, I was talking to, to Charles about it. Look at this verdant you know, greenery of hair. It's so lush. The, the, can't see it. Maybe was no, I'm not gonna take the head off. Off principle, I have a lot of hair. I just don't. I don't negotiate with terrorists. And then everything came to a halt, and I felt just kind of bad. You know what? Just for that, for you guys talking shit, I'm popping a crown Twitch bounty on Tuesday. Six, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. That was I'm watching crown on Tuesday. Of course, but. Remember, guys, you the did that. Did he, he also is yeah, still happening. Cody's head is gonna get <laughs> but bigger and bigger like a cartoon. Was, like number one still star on Texas, dude. Like, like he has wherever he goes, he wreaks havoc and uh, turns oh, yeah. the best. Cony is a heroist. Even his brother, as well. Mean doubles the squad. <laughs> He's they were stupid. very practiced for You guys are games. stupid. I can get in that first game on Meister. You guys are so stupid. Meister already got the jitters out, and back to looking like the killer that he is. <laughs> to break Back the to the no mercy tag, by the way. That's one that I have not seen in a minute. Really? What? What did he have before? Uh, this match looks annoying for both of them. It was some. Because they, I feel thing. like. I does anybody uh, else like? Well. Oh, yeah, this Hale is gonna sound weird, but like, I feel like Game and Watch and Yoshi got, got like the same vibe. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, they got similar vibes. Looking like the coolest right now, though. Maybe like throwing out hitboxes. Look at him go. What an appearance. Annoying out of shield. Yoshi oh, neutral air. Oh, game no. watch up B. You got it out of the way, away. though. One is deeper said, I guess. I mean, you're gonna. That's what you're allowed. You get a freebie, my sir. Very big, very, will, they very just oppress in neutral? I mean, I don't know if I would call Yoshi oppressive. Yeah, it's more that, like, you just. You have to space against him. Like, a lot of retreating aerials and shit, you know? I feel like Game of Watch is kind of similar. Oh, but... it doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop, Bix. Coney, you should wear a do rag. You highlighted that message. You spent 100 Coney coins to tell me that. It was that urgent, huh? good with those drag down hits of the back here, too. God, and. He uses it for confirmation. My wife says that, uh. When she was younger, her mom bought her a do rag from the dollar store because she thought it was a shower cap. Oh, maybe had the idea as well. Like you can tell. Like, and she got offended that Mal it, didn't it, use it. Execution. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. That's yeah, I don't know why I told you that story. I have been good today. This amount yep. a lot of use and the potential for at least one really I'll be the judge of that. Look at this. Still dangerous though, and Meme is no stranger to going out there. Oh, good tech. Not adding that. Oh, oh, the bomb. Oh, see you later. Come back in a bit. See you later, <laughs> alligator. Stupid. I love that game. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to turn this into a bit. I don't want to turn. Okay, the nair interrupted. This stupid sailor. Oh, wait. <laughs> for just long enough there. I don't want to turn this stupid sailor thing into a meme. Okay, the, this yeah, is stupid. Yeah, I'm not adding it. About that one up next. Okay, great interruption with a turtle, like Kawama. Kawama. Kawama on me. <laughs> was it ever a consideration to include the final smash meter in a competitive vault? Yes, actually. People, some people really wanted it. There were people in Tri-State that were trying to make it like, um, people that were trying to make it a real thing. But then they fought Zelda, and they're like, oh. <laughs> but then again, I mean, like, I don't, maybe that's just a balancing thing, right? Like, yeah, it's unbalanced on Zelda, but did Zelda, like, she's bad, though. So, I don't know. He shows that Yoshi, that nasty Yoshi has oh my God. the Mimi. Mexican oh. community all these years. You want to bring it back. There's a new generation out there that hasn't oh. known. Thoughts on this Yoshi power. skin? I think it's cute. Yoshi. I don't mind it. It looks a little saturated, but I think that's a production diff, you know. I like it, though. Peach would be awful. Okay. Oh, good. I don't. Yeah, what does? What is Peach's final spin? Is it the sleep one? On the oh. <laughs> that noggin is so yeah. big. That helmet. Yeah. Not gonna get pierced by. They ain't even got no games over here. 
Gotta make sure it's not late. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean Peach and Snake? Fuck that. I thought you meant on the one. Game Watch Up Smash. I was like, well, I mean, he he Maybe. reached out for like that, right? Coming it's not his fault, but no, you're right. Swinging. They're, po they're posting the pasta. Peach puts you to sleep and heals oh, her for, for like sure. 80. Yeah, Love but Peach it. is hard, dude. You don't. Peach is supposedly good now, but you don't see her at all. I think you guys are overstating you, it. I think we you could you do guys. Final Smash. Even when y'all weird, we still appreciate y'all. <laughs> but no, people fun. did want to yeah, do so uh, Final Smash on for a while. Not a while, like a month or two. Um, but it just didn't work out. What, one of the things I'm so excited for is if a new Smash game gets announced, wait until you see the Hope posting. There's so much hopium when a new game comes out where they're like, finally, there's going to be online leaderboards and good online. Um, we're going to have new, we'll be able to do uh, Smash Meter on. We're going to have Squad Strike only tournaments. Squad Strike tournaments, good costumes, yep. This is going to be the game. Paid DLC costumes that are really interesting, like Street Fighter. Like, they're going to do that. It happens every time. Kind of like you with arms. No, not like me with arms. Arms had good online. If Yoshi had a special animation for eating the food. Like, no, 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 no. What's your wish list for the next that's, Smash? That's, that's, that's I that's, would that's love it if really Smash went right? down to oh, that would, that would 30 that's characters that are extremely varied. I think, scared, I think that is against <laughs> the core of what Smash is supposed to be. So I don't think that's what's going to happen. And I'm not like selfish enough to be like it should be this. But I think Smash has quickly become like you like at the casual level it is play as your favorite character. So you don't want to drop characters. But for me I'm more interested in how the characters function. So I would like like 30 40 characters that feel distinct. Who's on the chopping block? I think you know. I think I think the cloud shit was a fun bit. But I think we don't need Cloud back. I think cut all the dead series. I don't need Falcon. Falcon is more of a Smash character now, though. I think you probably keep the originals. Probably get rid of Pete, uh, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is kind of a dead meme in terms of... <laughs> Because <laughs> that's for to jump. What was that? He had an extra stock. It was he, a good laugh, he, at least. He had extra credit. Don't worry. <laughs> of course. I mean, he had to. Who do you think must be in the next Smash? Mario. Stock away, but come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Meister go, though. I mean, yeah, you're going to give me that? Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, thank you very much. And same Isn't this conversation how you got Marth yes. trending on Twitter? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so. What did I even say? Uh, I think I said get rid of Mark, right? Yes, get the knockdown. Oh, that could have been such an opportunity there for Meme. What? It was a tier list? I think I might have said get rid of Marth. Because I said that you don't need Marth. Just make it the new Fire Emblem character. Because they keep doing that anyway, like Korra and Byleth or whatever. Just ha if you want a sword character, make Marth like the new sword guy and then the player character. That's it. Excellent bait out of... The man himself, Meme? Yeah. He's train going. I stand by that. What Ooh, was that? Up smash, Meister. Meister, kind of just go What was he reading? Take out Robin. Well, yeah, take out Robin, Corrin, and Byleth and put in the new Fire Emblem character, and that's it. Instead of having all these Pokemon, just put in, like, the new starter and Pikachu. Done. Although, apparently, Greninja is mad popular, so. <laughs> There we go. Wow. Yeah, those platforms really Why keep Pikachu? Pikachu's the soul of Pokemon. Every single time, he is West Charging. Maybe he's you know, one top game first 12, whatever. You gotta keep it. Of the or is he? Uh, give me a second. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been talking crazy today. I hope in vain that they'll keep Ridley. Yes, he yeah, good luck. <laughs> You're getting uh, oh, a mass. What the what what was that fucking the new guy the big bird guy, the bad guy? You might get him if you're lucky. Raven Beak. Yeah, there you go. If you're lucky. You gotta keep Mewtwo at least. No, you don't. He cut Mewtwo. We get loud. We get very loud. The matracas. If y'all people have matracas, we have bubbles. We don't have bubbles here, but I'm sure. Which DLC will you keep? You yeah. know, like yeah. those sounds. As fantasy, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a. Uh, we're loud and we're proud. Yeah, I remember seeing, watching some tournaments. Uh, uh, I know the chat goes like, "Oh, this crowd is." Kill, is kill, 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 kill. Keep. Don't get me wrong. 
so don't be mad. Keep. Not a Mario Party. Kill. Disney Keep, Disney but new. Yeah. Whatever the next Disney game is. Depends, game kill. Kill. That's it. We, we do see a cake. Yeah, yeah a whole celebration going, that's going to be going on, so I... I Thank you, Paper Box House, for the raid. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Keep Banjo. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> if you keep Banjo, you better remake him. Yeah, about to be, though. Yeah, almost next year. Hero is big in Japan. Oh, true. No, maybe keep Hero then. No, you're right. Killing Joker is delusional. No, I don't think so. I think again, like. You could get a different okay. Persona that's, character that's in there right. if you now really though, wanted what one. Matters right? most Persona is huge. Is huge or gonna be huge? On top eight. I think you cut. I don't think you keep all that shit, man. I think you cut most of it. The only reason I keep uh, Xenoblade is because it's a Nintendo IP. Kony is too old to understand how big Persona is right now. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Sorry for stepping on your uh, high school visual novel. Joker's just like me. I hope he gets the girls. <laughs> Never see it coming. I look just like him. <laughs> I love jazz. Oh, that's a classic. The Avatar State. Yep. We all know it. You know that TikTok where the guy goes, "I can Kokichi." That guy, that's you. <laughs> Glowing. Man's Nagito! <laughs> Man, his arm. That's you. That would be crazy. That guy is funny. Yeah. That guy's very funny. Yeah. It, be cool that guy's oh, extremely funny. Do you guys see that other tweet? The tweet of the guy who says he needs to eat ramen all week to <laughs> for his strength. Did you see? <laughs> Meister is the one. He talked like a like a pro tag. I love that one. You guys haven't seen that? Hold on. It was on the account Cringetopia. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta find it. Enjoy the match. One second. Yeah, he tried. He tried. Wait, where is it? Taking things at its own pace. Memory is so patient. Yeah! <laughs> Where'd he go? How many do you think oh, there him. would be a okay. season caused by a Smash game with less characters? Maybe. So many people identify as blank means that I wonder if it would or IP current Smash culture apart. No, you're right, it might. Unironically, it might change things. Ultimate is the first game, I think, that people might stick with if there was another game. I doubt it, but maybe. <laughs> Is this fucking guy? I love this guy. One and only for the next eight weeks. <laughs> I'm training for the Chungin exams. Hmm. <laughs> I need all my strength. <laughs> he makes his tail. <laughs> oh, that's you. That's you, chat. That's you. That is you. That's literally you. So, there you go. Hooray! Mammoth has made top eight! That is a man wins! That deserve pop off. That comeback king. Yeah, that's all of you. The comeback king has made it. That's why I can't watch anime. When, when characters Roy. talk like that or draw out oh, their. Roy. Wow. I, I need my strength. What? What, what do you mean? Story. What storyline for this tournament? Huh? <laughs> turn of events right here. I can't do it. We have our best Yoshi in top eight. Definitely. Isn't Mei Mei like forty? Mexican Yoshi for sure. What an amazing. I don't, maybe I don't know. <laughs> That's more Yoshi. impressive to me. If you're still winning at forty. A little bit short. Fortunately for him, however, that yep. is uh, 
all before our top eight, which is going to be starting in just a <laughs> bit. <laughs> Right. Anything else that you want to say, Vixie? It was a pleasure yes. being here with you, by the way. Yeah, it's been amazing. Like, Damn, younger so than Coney. So, okay, so there's a lot of... Extra, got a lot... Everybody getting their jokes yeah, out. Really here we go. Here we, we go. <laughs> yeah, people, Very good. That's those, funny, uh, you guys. Everybody have one, huh? Coney is 50 and bald. That's very funny, you guys. Yeah. Love. Love everybody saying the same joke. Plus two. Very good. You know what? People deserve some quality. There's a cake on the other stream? Somebody's birthday? That's not a cake. That's a woman. Wait, is it a cake? Is there like a birthday thing? Le trajimos esta sorpresa porque hoy él cumple 10 años y los dos vamos como Coney translate. Con esto Stop. Y quiero felicitarlo por sus 10 años. I know años. some Spanish. Yeah, she said años, which means years. Smash Factor 10, 10th anniversary, which is huge. A tournament going to 10 is fantastic, especially with this production, dude. That's sick. Okay, so they're wrapping up there. <laughs> Chat, this guy is not 10. <laughs> 10 year old with a beard? I don't believe that for a second. He just wanted a cake. Increíble. 10 años, no lo puedo creer. That's funny. Es un sueño. ¿Qué? Okay, okay. Bueno. Sigamos disfrutando de Smash Bros. Se viene el top 8, amigos. It's a lovely cake. Hay una sorpresa que tengo también para todos ustedes. Este pastel lo voy a That looks awesome. por toda la comunidad hoy. Muchas gracias por It's estar so aquí. Well made. Y sigamos con esto. What time will top 8 end? Like 4 a.m. It's going to be late. Which is why we're gonna play a cheeky bit of Honkai Star Rail, and then we're gonna we're gonna raid them for the rest of the tournament. Claim your points. Oh my bad. True. Gracias, chicos. Vamos con top ocho. Cody, did you actually raid that person last stream? It didn't go through for me. Yeah. I, I think sometimes it doesn't go through for some reason, but yeah. Can you add this? Better not be a sailor. <laughs> I don't know when you're going to use it, but it is funny. Go for it. I don't know when you're going to use that, but... Go ahead and start sneaking. Oh, the chat is so scary now. Oh my god, the chat is so scary. I don't know if I can keep this. This chat is very mysterious. Me leaving the kitchen stream? You better not. You better not sneak out of the, the Honkai Star Rail stream. You better sit your ass down. <laughs> Me creeping my cursor over to the X. <laughs> This emote is better. Better not be... Sa I fucking knew it. I'm not adding sailing. Hype train is close. Oh, wait. Hold on. I have a free sub. Hold on. I don't... I don't think this... This, uh... This leaks anything, but let me drop my prime. Least I could do. Here we go. Big ups to Smash Factor. Eh, tengo un... Anuncio importante que... Que hacer para todos ustedes. Entonces, bueno, vean un pequeño videito. <laughs> Ni yo lo he visto, pero sé lo que les va a decir. Do you just click links people send? Ain't that kind of unsafe? Oh, extremely. Yes. They're announcing your sub. Everybody looking up at the screen. Prime from Cody!
11! Probably Smash Factor 11, I think. Probably. Oh. <laughs> okay. I thought that was... Okay. <laughs> I saw a million. I was like, huh? <laughs> that was USD. I'm so stupid. Dude, good for them. Good for Smash Factor. This shit's been going on so long. And it's always like a killer event from what I hear. Soy, soy una locura. A mí me da mucho gusto poder anunciar que el siguiente Smash Factor será totalmente gratis para todos ustedes. Es un evento de la comunidad. Tiene que ser para la comunidad. Hbox is always on camera. It's his passive. Este yeah. <laughs> eh, después les explicaré más al respecto, pero espero que nos puedan apoyar. 60k USD and free venue fee. Damn, that's sick. Y a toda la comunidad. Muchas gracias por tanto, comunidad. Eh, va otro para ustedes. That's a lot of money, yeah. <laughs> Stop sneaking. Oh, tours. <laughs> Chat is funny. You're sneak. You don't. You don't even have a reason to sneak. You don't even. There's not even a reason. You're not even giving context. You're just sneaking. No reason or anything. How do I see the special emotes? Download Seven TV. <laughs> this is so stupid. Sneak. I don't want to wake up my family. Oh, okay. That makes sense. First message, sneak. Just had to make sure it worked, I guess. That, yep, the emote's still there. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> this, is so, <laughs> this is so stupid. You know the worst part? I don't have it yet. It doesn't show up for me. So I see people just saying sneak. That's all I, <laughs> over and over. There's no emote. None of us have it. <laughs> Nobody has it. Everyone's just saying. You know what's crazy? I don't have it over here, but I do have it over here. <laughs> the st the skeletons are over here on this monitor. Not on the other one. Wait a minute. Is that? The activity feed, where if you follow the stream right now or subscribe, you get to be on camera? Is that what that is? Subscribing to the Cody stream, where everybody can see? Not you. Ray Apple? Hmm? Spork Wizard? Magical Moron? Wow. You're famous. You get to be on the big screen. Quit playing with your slinky. Oh, shit. You're right. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. Oh. My ass is slinking. Oh, this is tremendous. This is great. I forgot that I had this. Thank you, Chatter. It's time to slink. I love that. All right, uh, right, I'm going to pop ads now. Because if I don't, then you're going to get ads during the game. <laughs> Cody getting his slinky. Stop. Alright, uh, I'm popping ads now because I don't want to do it during game. Is it top 8 now? Is that what this is? Uh, I'm going to run the ads. I'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? Here we go. If you don't want ads, subscribe. Use Twitch Prime. We're almost at 3k. Can we hit it? I bet we could. If you Prime, drop a Prime. We could do it. We'll be one step closer. See you soon. Goodbye. Do you find yourself saying stuff like "yoop" and his ass is blanking to people in your normal life? Oh, no, I definitely say that second one. That second one is just me. I say that all the time. The first, I don't say "yoop" in public conversation. Nobody knows what "yoop" means. 
I don't youp. Thank you, real gamers only. Sorry. Honey, I think you should have this emote. It relates to your stream and actually has many uses. I've tried this before, but now I have money. Look okay. Your content seven app emote is six hundred forty four thirty nine. Stellar Cosmos. If this is the Sailor Goblin from Rusty Bucket Bay, you will be spending the night in the brig. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Sure, I guess. I guess. Fine. Thank you. I thought it was the sailor emote. I was going to send you to the brig. I'm gonna walk there the plank. Honey, this is not the sailor emote. <laughs> I think this has used during cringe confessional and other niches. Stuff. It's going to be the sailor emote. I know it is, and I know it's big ass gorilla, so I can't ban them. It's going to be the fucking sail. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> that's really good. All right, all right, all right. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. That's great. When I pop a bounty. <laughs> great for ad reads. That's really good. Remember, Honkai Star Rail coming soon. Let me see what the sets are tonight, because I do have to play Honkai for an hour, and I don't want to step on the tournament. Um, semi pro top eight time. Semi pro. Oh, it's just top 16. Spargo Leo, Sonic Shoots on, Meme Gluto, Siski Kamehame. I want to see Siski Kamehameha, actually. What I'll probably do... Alright, guys, this is, the, this is the plan, okay? This is the plan for the stream. We're going to watch two sets, okay? Two sets, then I'm going to play an hour of Honkai Star Rail. You don't have to watch, but please leave the tab open and listen in, okay? That's all I ask. Just leave a tab open, listen in. It could be at 1%. I don't mind. I just want to show you, or at least let you hear, some fantastic Honkai Star Rail gameplay. Okay? That's all. You don't have to stick around. And then I'm going to raid uh, Smash Factor for the end. I'm running. I'll catch you if you run. Well, if only there was another way to traverse more slowly. <laughs> Perhaps without alerting any witnesses. Mm. Maybe there's an easier way. Do we have to stick around? You don't have to, but I would appreciate it if you did. If you just have me in another tab, just like on another monitor on the side, just so you could check in on me in the Honkai Star Rail stream. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, but I would appreciate it. That's all. Did you see the new Nasby trailer? If it was just the first one, yes. Yeah. Um... But yeah, and then I'll play that for an hour, and then we're going to go, uh, I'll raid the stream. And then Tuesday, Mario only up. And what is the opposite of sneak? Probably people run, I think. And then Thursday is Roblox, I think. Maybe, I don't know, on Wednesday. We'll see. Rat race? Hey, if, if he's down, I'm down anytime. I loved Chicken Little. I will rat race anytime. Truly. <laughs> Just ask him. I can't ask him again. I don't want to bug him. I asked him like five times. When he's ready, we can do it. Whenever he's ready. That's Honey, all. I think this fellow Not trying to bug him. Uses link. It, don't do it. This better be funny. The sailor isn't good. That's not funny. <laughs> this is... What is the point of this? No, do not. I hate it. Oh, it's inciting a strong reaction. <laughs> there you go. Soy su compañero Colt. Me acompaña. Chat seems to love it. Hola, hola, ¿cómo estamos? 
Pensaron que se iban a deshecho de mí? Pues no, estoy aquí de vuelta. ¿Cómo estamos? All right, I'm going to pop a predicti when we see the set come up. Dama, damas y caballeros, estamos aquí para presenciar a los mejores ocho que se han enfrentado el día de hoy. ¡Hagan ruido! Bracket prediction for top eight? Oh, good lord, I don't know. Um, let me see. Pasaron ahorita. Solo quedan ocho y solo tenemos espacio uh, para un campeón. Gente, a ver, que a ver, obviamente que hay lugar, pero ¿quién está okay. buscando? Quiero escucharlos, ¿a quién buscan? Very quick. Very fast. Uh, Me gusta esa energía. Spargo tenemos over Leo. Desde la parte de Shuton abajo, over Sonics. Desde la parte de Losers, la fiesta. Uh, Spargo Grands. Wait, Leo hasn't patria. lost a game. Barcelona para el mundo. Leo. Shoot on. Shoot on. I think Leo might be on one. Um, Leo beats Spargo. Shoot on goes there. Uh, may meet Cluedo. I think Warrior. I think. Yeah, Gluto probably wins this, but I do think I do think that uh I do think Meme can win. Because Yoshi's pretty annoying for uh for Wario. Kameme Siski uh, Kameme, I think. So this is Spargo. And I got Spargo winning. Uh, so this is Kameme Sonics. I don't know. Fuck it, Sonics. I'm not doubting him anymore. But then Spargo beats him. Spargo. So Spargo here. Spargo here. Uh... Leo Spargo. Ooh. To shoot a win the tournament? Spargo wins the next round. Spargo, Spargo wins. I think he beats shoots on twice. I got Spargo winning. I don't have shoots on winning the tournament. But maybe I'm wrong. Has Shuton ever won a tournament outside Japan? I don't think so. No, he won. He won something. I don't remember. I don't. I. I am very bad with like results and stuff. Prime Saga. Okay. That was a long time ago. Did he win Crown? Because I. Yeah. Didn't he win Double Down? That was Proto. Such an honor to be here. I'm Whoa, new Kony coin redeem. Yeah, why don't you hit that button? <laughs> Go ahead and pop that, why don't you? It's only 500k. Okay, Max, jeez. Max was on Duolingo before this top eight. His ass was training. Predicties? Oh, my bad. Yep. Okay. I forgot that his name used to be Kamemushi. All right, Predicties up. Only one minute long. Win yourself some Kony coins to play the trumpet. Go. Predict he's up. Go. Sure, yeah. But one at a time. One at a time. All right, there's one. All right, there we go. Oh, but I see another. All right, anyway, back to the match. Yeah, his name used to be Kamamushi. Wait, Kony, it's the actual light versus darkness. True. Wait a minute. Dark Samus is kind of like a heartless, bro. That's true. Her ass does not know the value of friendship and the meaning so that far, friends give to your life. Her ass does not cherish her loved ones. 
call you out with these rising warriors. Oh, Kona, right? you must be a big Kingdom Hearts fan. Also, oh, like you wouldn't believe, yeah. I love it when the light defeats the darkness by defeating the shadow of the heart of the light. I love that. My, uh, so Mal was playing Kingdom Hearts 2. And I don't know if it's like, damn, he's smooth. Look at the way he's moving. I don't know if it's like this in 3, but in 2, whenever they address all of them, they say Sora, Donald, Goofy. That way, in that order, every time. Here we go. Let's see how Kamehameha can kind of shrink the margins here. 99%. Sora's got a lot of kill power. It's like that in all of them? I don't remember that in 1, because I watched her play 1 and 2. But I feel like in the first one, not quite. She's playing Kingdom Hearts. Break up. We've been together 17 years. <laughs> she played she play Kingdom Hearts. The, like, the replay now in 2023, I'm just like, oh, you know what? We have a kid together. <laughs> but now's the time. I think you're a bad influence. It's over. How long has Kingdom Hearts been out? Since 2001, I think? I loved that game. Yeah, I feel like... Sora's I love the first Kingdom Hearts. And then it got more square than Disney, and I'm like, <laughs> Kony plays League, so it balances out. Yep. Equal distribution of cringe. If they've ever met in bracket before, how many times, etc. Siski, obviously a different animal, though. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of been the, the face-off for the best Samus, right? Like between Yara, between Siski, I mean... Thunder! Incredible tournament runs, and the resume is just getting more stacked as these tournaments come to it. Cody casually screaming no when Sora was added to Smash. Dude, I still get hate comments on that. People hate me. If that's the first thing you ever see of me... Hating on the character that you've wanted for several decades. <laughs> you are going to say some nasty shit. That was very good. Still, sometimes, yeah. Not often, but yes. That vid was like 60% satirical? Yeah, I mean, like... I, I'll, I'll play the bad guy. It's fun. Because everybody gets to have fun shitting on me. And as long as people are having a fun, that's fine. Because I'm just a screen computer man. So let, you know, the kids who wanted Sora, I'm the bad guy. I do that at birthday parties, too. I went to uh, Tantalus's 4th of July party, and all the kids were, like, beating me up and shit. <laughs> I'll be the bad guy, whatever. They were, like, hitting me with the glow sticks and shit. Yeah. What? Oh, I didn't tell you guys this story? Yeah. So, like, uh, at Tan's house, a lot of people brought, you know, kids or whatever. And um, the kids were playing, and they, I would say, hey, let's play hide and seek. And they'd say, okay, and then they would hide, and I wouldn't look for them. And after about three of those, uh, they all started beating me up. They were setting off fireworks, and I'd be like, the next one's red. And then it would be green. And I'd be like, yep, there it is, red. And the kids hate that. Dude, the kids hate it when you tell a lie. Because kids just found out what truth and lies are. They just figured it out. So they really don't like it when people tell lies. So, like, it'd be a blue firework. I'd be like, here comes white firework. And eventually they started beating me up, yeah. Hello? Moshi Moshi? Sorry. Donald. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> oh, he, he closed the door to Kingdom Hearts. Mmm, that's what he did. He went into Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Sneaky got out. Did a heel turn on the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like doing that, because the kids get to have fun beating me up, and I pretend like uh, they have superpowers. Like, I get hit, and I'm like, whoa! And they think that's the funniest thing ever. I'm basically, like, one of the putties from Power Rangers when I when kids are around, because they just beat me up, and I, I'm, I am Robbie Rotten. I'm a clown? Yes, exactly. I'm always, like, deviously scheming things. And they always see right through it. And they think they're so smart. Yeah. Next time, fight back, bro. 
I did make a joke like that. I was like, you know, because I'm getting beat up. And what if I just grabbed one of them by the ankle and flipped them upside down? And then did just instill panic in all the others? They, they're just like Pikmin running around in a circle. I'm the Emperor Bulblax. <laughs> I pick one of them up by the ankles, start swinging him lightly. No! <laughs> Finally draw aggro. Yeah, it's normally a pretty rough spot for every character, especially characters with <laughs> slow double jumps like Sora. But hold on! Yeah, that keyhole getting locked up right now, as Toon said. Gonna see the up smash finally connect. And Kamehameha, you know he's so tapped in to when he can and can't go for that. And also, he's getting a pretty good read as to when he can, he can attack this I don't know why I thought Kamehameha would win this. I just feel like Sora is so floaty, he can just kind of... Skip past Sam as bullshit, you know what I mean? Samus destroys Sora? Really? I feel like he could just float around her shit. But I guess the idea is she could patrol the air, like, burst forward air is really annoying for him to get around because he's always jumping. Kamehameha thinks Sora wins. I just feel like he can, yeah, so that, so you drift. So she can, like, burst up air, burst forward air, but you can, like, kind of drift back and forth. Really? No, I like the idea, but... Hit 52 still. I would definitely assume that Sora gets around the insane ledge trapping. Kinda, yeah. I just think he could jump over all that, but also at the same time, it's a... It, that In that game... If you're jumping over her bullshit, it means that she could also just jump up there and catch you. But and you could see Kamehameha going for those resets, like we were talking about just before, going for fair one two, knowing that Ski has time to air dodge out, but it doesn't matter. He yeah. just couldn't keep up the aggression. Once Siski had a lead, it seemed like it was slipping out of Kamehameha's hands very quickly. Could not get off the ledge. I mean, when did Siski get signed to the Giants? Damn, New York Giants. Burger King too? He's showing him a funny picture on his phone. <laughs> Plus two, that's a good meme. Yeah. Here are ten things Americans want you to know about them. <laughs> Check out these top ten design fails. <laughs> the Meister Luminosity pick. He's not even in the game. You see this picture of Meister? He's the Goofy Dragon. <laughs> did you make that? <laughs> Brutal horse riding accident! That's kind of fucked up. You like to ride horses? It's very dangerous. If you weren't around for the earlier parts of the stream, that joke makes no sense. Guys, that's a that's a deep cut from like three hours ago. Sorry, it's a very that, that's a callback bit. I'm clueless. Yeah, you'll have to watch the whole vod to get that part. <laughs> that made no sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, yeah. <laughs> Tony, where's the honk guy? Soon, brother. Soon. I said I'd watch a couple sets. Because I want to I wanna play for an hour, but I also want there still to be sets left so I can raid them. Give them the viewers they deserve. But not, you know, before you guys watch the whole stream, you know. Thank you, Darius. has to at this point down about 80 percent and counting now to 90. Okay. me and my wife love the youtube content okay be honest with me does your wife hate me i ask you that question because more often than not the guy loves me and the wife is like i hate that guy he's so loud and annoying <laughs> i'm curious are you being nice when you say that your wife it's okay if she does i'm just curious my wife is a big fan word my girlfriend doesn't like you. I totally understand. My long-term girlfriend is a big fan. Okay. <laughs> My girlfriend thinks you're annoying but funny. She's so true. She's right. She's right. 
stocks, and that's probably because if you get I find she up, agrees with you on more shit than I do. W. Yeah. Excellent wife. Bang. No, I, I, I've told this story a million times, but I went to a tournament, and it was a guy and uh, a guy and his wife running an art booth. And the guy asked for a picture, and we talked for a little bit. He's like, yeah, we love your stuff. And, like, I could kind of feel this vibe, and she was like... And I was like, yeah, both of you? Do you? And he was like, all right, well, maybe not her. <laughs> and she was like, you're just so loud. <laughs> and I'm like, I know, I know, I am. My wife says the same thing. I wake up my baby all the time. I understand. <laughs> A little bit off. You're not wrong, young lady. Does your wife think you're annoying? Oh, extremely. <laughs> she hasn't laughed at a thing that I've done since 2017. All my stupid bits. Yeah. She's so sick of me, bro. <laughs> I'll just tell lies. I just lie to her and think that will make her laugh. I just... <laughs> Like, we'll be watching Titanic, and I'll be like, wow, is that Rose McGowan? And it's clearly not. And she knows that I know it's not, but I get mad that she doesn't humor me. Like, she has to be good. Like, no, no, Zach, that's not Rose McGowan. You know? Like, <laughs> Holy shit, he's dominating him. What the fuck is this? Wow, that isn't funny. Damn. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know. I just try to get a reaction out of her. Any chance that I get. And she's found that she just doesn't give it to me. Who said Dark Samosa beat Sora? It's not his name. Her name. It's name. It's like a symbiote, right? Yeah, I'm cat jumping. I'm always yeah, I always cat jump. Yeah. Oh, he went regular Samus? Dude, regular Samus is so pretty. It's such a cool design. The yellow and the red? I love that. Wait, Sora got through to her heart! Her corrupted heart! Oh my god! He unlocked the power of Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> what do you mean, wow? It's a big deal! <laughs> Don't bet, Chess. Why are they still fighting? Now it's sp it's just sparring. Samus is like, wow, Sora, you really showed me the power of friendship and how to love not only others, but also myself. Up for one more round. And this is like the secret boss, like in Kingdom Hearts 1 when you fight Hercules or whatever. Friendly spar, yeah, 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 like with Hercules, exactly. Cody, could you beat Tifa in the Underworld Coliseum? I never played Kingdom Hearts 2, but I beat everybody in one, like Sephiroth and Cerberus and all that shit. That game was so whimsical. It was. That shit was mad whimsical. Stop slinking? You can hear that? It's so far away. He's kind of beat ass. He's kind of getting stuffed in this game. Jesus. It's loud? <laughs> it's not even close to the money. Yeah, just going for the grab. Keep it My bad. Build that damage up little by little. You don't need to do anything crazy from this position. <laughs> what a combination of emotes. We caught your ass sneaking a slink, got caught trolling. That's a level three combo of emotes. I also love lying to Charles, because Charles will believe me. Charles is so pure of heart. Wow, Sora really sailed under the stage. 
What do you think you're doing? Overstaying its welcome for Siski after that parry on the getup attack from Kamehameha. I thought it was over, but he went for a nair that just didn't even connect. Oh, here we go. Is it finally gonna end? There it yeah, is. Yes, he's two dead. nairs into the up air. This Honestly, time. he almost this brought that shit back though. He did a lot of damage on that second stop. For Sora. <laughs> I need a tier list of which Smash characters are pure of heart. Oh, dude, happy to oblige. I'll do it next stream. Sora is definitely number one, obviously. Mario is very high. Luigi might be higher than Mario. Pit? I don't know. I think... I think being a child is a huge buff to that. And I know Sora is a kid, but like... I assume that he's like a young adult now because he's been in a bunch of games. But like Pit is like a like a child, right? So that adds a lot. <laughs> Mario is just pretending. Yeah, Mario feels like there's something simmering beneath, like a rage. I've seen his Smash renders. He's mad. Yeah. Probably the best ledge trapper in the game, at least the one that can kind of run the same process over and over again. Yeah, He's not dead, right? Yeah. Good foot still. Oh. True, true, true. There's a on, on freeze fire. Not gonna be quite it though. He keeps the eyes blocked. Oh. Noah B yet. Noah B yet. Dude, the percents are so high. Siski knows his tournament life is on. Dude, the the neutral air is so annoying. Just kind of slightly clipping you. Oh. Good dash attack. Oh, I like the idea. Love the idea of that thunder. Nice. Good shit. Did he get hit by the bomb? Because he was facing the other way. Why was he facing that way? What happened? He did get hit by the bomb? That looked way too big. Oh, he was high percent, so he had to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bomb two framed? I thought he got ledge, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I need to see the replay. This game five is about to be a wash, you think? I mean, Kamehameha, like, destroyed him game three. He might be able to reverse this, yeah. Samus is the coolest lame character? I don't know. I think that's Olimar. That's just me, though. I just like Olimar. I'm a big Olimar guy. It's Pac-Man? I think Pac-Man has one bit, and he's been doing it for two games now, and I'm just kind of like... It's a fun bit, right? But I just like him to learn something new. It's Steve? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Tony, when did Samus get good? I always thought she was mid-tier. I think Samus is good in that she is... This is going to sound weird. I think Samus is so good at being the anti-jump character. In a game where jumping is so big and so uh, good on so many characters, she punishes for just jumping without thought. Um, and I think that's a very cool spot for a character to occupy. I think Palutena is similar, but I think Palutena is struggling because now people have kind of adapted to not jumping against her and like figured out other weaknesses in her kit. But Samus can do it from range, so... And in addition to the jump stuff, she's also very good at ledge, obviously. So, Why would you go Smashville here? Yeah, I'm a little surprised, too. Like, Samus is good here, but... Cause, yeah, because she's just going to go under that platform. What <laughs> does what does Sora do off platform? Like, if Samus is below platform, what is he... He can't, like, fall aerial, right? He's too slow. He could do fall neutral air, but I feel like she could punish that easy. Combo extensions, maybe. I feel like he has no threat above Samus there. And maybe that's true of all characters. Like, it's not a good spot to be above somebody, you know, but... You don't want to go to FD either? Yeah, that's true. I feel like I want to go to Bastion more than this, though. At least just to survive longer. But... 
Because at least then you you might live charge shots a little bit longer, but. <laughs> I haven't seen it, man. I've been on the. I haven't been home since Gommel, bro. Give me a break. I'm trying to run Good that Barbenheimer ASAP, though. The double feature. All right, already taking 92 percent. Getting a little bit of side knee damage. Center stage control. Samus can be such a menace in the center stage. Kamenga always wants to make sure you're commanding that area. He could cheese side Samus. Oh, and that near I don't know. I feel like Sora cheese is like. He got blue cheese. It's kind of moldy. You know what I mean? It's not pure. That Terry F tilt and the wolf is like that's pure, like hundred grade cheddar, sharp as hell. Sorry, kind of moldy. To think he was at game point at tournament stock for Siski just one game ago, and suddenly this reversal of fortunes. Dude, that's what I'm talking about—the jumping. You see that there? Like Kamemi is trying to jump in, and it's just God, I hate that up Fire. Ew, that down smash. Yeah, he can't kill, dude. Can Sora just not kill? I feel like this is abnormal. Bro, he is chasing. This looks annoying. Up air would. Yeah, if you get the strong hit, but... That was a late air dodge. Like, if he if Siski plays that better, that hits. Nice, that was good. Kameme still fighting for his life here. Two Back off! On Siski. You got quite a, quite a bit of work here. And the shield bump oh, on the platform man. there. That's guaranteed with the up beat. Yeah, Sora, pure fighter heart, but to get out of that. Still couldn't beat on, her though. prime form. Is light, but not that light. Oh, prime, like Metroid Prime. You get it? Probably, and that will do it. And that is a trade yeah. that will wow. take Siski down to his last stock. But guess what? He won anyway. He is now in the top six. Spain lifts on. I hate Samus. Such a great I can give it up. Way to open up this top I can absolutely give it up for Siski. But I hate Samus. By the way, oh my god, look at this payout. Snooch is living. Mystery Ghosto is dead. Goodbye. It might be enough for a trumpet or two. <laughs> I need you to watch the second half of this trailer. You are not prepared. Maybe. It's a trailer? That's Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Umeki. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. What? Yeah. <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> cool fire gif. That's great, yeah. Why did she do that? <laughs> did she get a big cigarette? Oh, it un unlocks the door to Kingdom Hearts? Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> oh.
Okay. <laughs> I guess. Uh, why? Why is he the cigarette guy? Huh? Open the blackened lungs. We need to purify his lungs with the power of Kingdom Hearts. The lungless. I feel like he does smoke a ton. You know, I actually have a have a very vivid memory of so back in Smash Four, there was this perception of Japanese players because you know you didn't you, they didn't speak English and a lot of people didn't understand them. There was this like sort of infantile understanding of them that like oh they're so wholesome, they're so they're so sweet and nice and sportsmanlike, they're so nice, and there is this like kind of it was like this childish feeling about them, like they're not you know normal people. Um, kind of infantilizing, yeah. And I remember distinctly it was at a frostbite, and I saw Kameme smoking outside. And he was smoking a lot. He, he like, he was putting one out and he was lighting up another one. And I was like, oh. <laughs> He's a grown-ass man. Yeah. Right. True. And it was him specifically. But now it's like, if I ever see a player doing that, I'm like, oh, dude. And I think it might be because I've been in the game for so long. That, like, I, I, like, you normally don't see that, you know? It is a kid's game. I think that's part of it, too, is, like, you don't think of it that way, you know? But smoking is big in Japan still. It's interesting that, like, culturally, uh, smoking has become so taboo. Not maybe not taboo, but, like, less common in Western culture. Although, I mean, now it's vaping, right? But. Do you smoke? No. I smoked a clove cigarette on stage for a show once, and uh, that was a weird experience. That shit was... I didn't like the feeling. That's metal. <laughs> In your lungs. I think it was a clove. Yeah. I don't know, for younger crowds in the city, smoking is still just kind of what you do. I'm sure it's different, like, culturally, if you're in the city or, you know, I've been in the burbs my whole life, so. I never smoked because I, everybody in my family smoked, and I'm pretty sure I have some, like, secondhand complications for it because my family, everybody in my family, family smoked like crazy, so I never had a desire, so. Zamba twice in a row, if I'm not mistaken, right? I Dude, Dare know, worked uh, on me. Like, oh, yes, lost. yes, he did. Yeah. Dare literally worked. Like, I, I was like, damn. <laughs> I don't want to do any of those bad things. You got it, officer. Alright, Meme versus Gluto. This one's weird, because I think on paper, Yoshi should beat Wario. Like, on paper, right? But... I think everybody beats Wario on paper. <laughs> like, if you just look at Wario, like, raw, it's like, well, how does he get in? But the answer for Wario is always, like, drift. But Yoshi always has drift, too, so. Early 90s anti-drug cartoons worked on Kony. Unironically, yes. That one where Alvin and the Chipmunks and Winnie the Pooh and Bugs Bunny and all the cartoon guys... Tell you not to smoke. That me, literally me. Oh what? No. Could he bike there? No way. He can bike. He panicked. Just like that, Gluto with an insane lead, but the Nair so sneaky, not ready for. Bike was gone. I didn't think it was. A oh, it was on the stage. Okay. I I didn't. I felt like there was a reason that he couldn't bike, but I couldn't think of what it was. I was like, did he just use it? My analysis is bad, guys. I've been streaming for five hours, and it's... it's oh my god, it's midnight. Good heavens. Ew! Banjo is reworked, but you have to smoke a pack a day. I'm, I'm already... I'm off, Warrior, or off Banjo now. Banjo's not... I don't care if he's good or not. I'm not playing him anyway. It's okay, Cody. I'll take it from here. Alright, I'll send you my stream key. Let me whisper it to you. 
showing up big time right now. Oh, I thought oh, that broke his shield. Break almost happened. That is actually Mamis trademark. He was doing that for so what? long before. What does Yoshi get off shield break? Not just dare, right? He could probably get more. Egg roll. <laughs> Quad up air. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Whoa. Bro, Gluto is air dodging. Yoshi is really interesting to watch at a high level because Yoshi is like the patron saint of like... Yo, this character though... I'd like me so much more if they use literally any other Yoshi skin than this awful year. I like this one. I like this skin. Hey, Everybody else hates it. Bit of a lucky break to start that match no, I feel like um, Yoshi, very, very, Yoshi always has extremely high stocks when a game comes out, and then he only goes down. Everybody's like, yo, Yoshi, though. This character goes crazy, and then it just he's bad. Except Melee? Well, yeah, but I don't count that game. Come on. I mean, brawl into oh this lineage. Yeah, and in melee, it's one guy. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it's more about Yoshi, like. When a new game comes out, everybody's like, yo, I think Yoshi's got it. He's probably top 10 now. And then he never is. Nobody ever does anything with him. Did anyone play Yoshi in Brawl? Uh, not many people. There's a guy named Poltergust that I think also played Phoenix Wright in Marvel. He was a Florida guy. He was very good. Uh, there was a couple more. Did any of you guys remember? I thought of a Yoshi player the other day that I think a lot of people. I forgot about this guy. He was a Smash 4 guy. Does anyone remember the wall? Yeah. This guy from Texas named the wall. He's in my region? Yeah. I didn't know if he still played or what, but. Purple Yoshi guy. Yoshi's dead. Oh my god. Eyes wide open. Jesus Christ. Japan thinks Yoshi is top 10 and ult. Come on. Come on, Japan. Japan, come on. In a game with so many good sword characters? I guess a lot of people have sort of phased them out. This is going to sound fucked up. I don't mean it to sound this way, and I don't mean it to sound disrespectful. I think if Leo or Spargo like, played in Japan more, they might not feel that way. <laughs> I think Yoshi struggles versus swords. And I think between Byleth or Cloud, like that might be tough. But maybe I'm wrong. I didn't know if Proto would come over here and fuck shit up, and then he did. So. Leo thinks Yoshi beats Byleth. Yeah, I think Byleth is a worse example, but... I definitely think Yoshi beats Joker, as weird as that sounds. But I think Cloud would fuck Yoshi up. Loses the disjoint as propaganda in 2023 ult. That might be true. I might be old posting. There's some characters that, like, historically lose the swords. And, like, it's, like, their identity. So, like, Game & Watch, Yoshi, Ness. But it's like, is that even true anymore? I, you know, maybe it's, like, confirmation bias. And it's like, you see it happen, you're like, oh, but... Yeah, Cloud Disjoint is different, though. Like, that that move, like, it is absurd to me that Spargo could just be like, all right, brain off time, and he just... <laughs> just send that back air over and over while he thinks of another game plan. That is such a low... Oh, no way! Just off the mark, that WAP certainly would have ended the game, evened up the set, but Meme lives to fight another day, at least another few seconds, and he's building this damage up so quickly. The ledge traps, the up B once again, Pluto kind of panicking. 
Who is he fighting? Bro, Mei Mei is mashing. <laughs> jab, 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 jab. Forward smash the other way. Oh my god. May may land without an aerial challenge. Oh my god, such a scramble here. You see the aerials all of ah, good. No. Wow jumps off the bike in the back air. Gluto Damn, is he's that whole right thing. back in this set. It's one apiece. I could not call this one. They've been so back and forth from the This is gonna sound really stupid, but I remember being amazed in Brawl that Wario could eat his bike. Like it wasn't a video game or a cartoon. I was like, the whole thing? Wow. That's very heavy. In one bite. <laughs> I was amazed by that. I was like, uh, wow. It's it's really interesting to me to see player specialists or character specialists like Ludo because like the guy played Wario in Brawl where Wario's good. He played Wario in Smash Four where he was bad, 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 bad. And now he just got lucky that Wario is good again, and not like crazy good. You know what I mean? Like War he's he's still a phenomenal player, but like at least Wario is functional, right? That's nice. Blessing of Sakura, yeah. That's nice. Too many times beneath the stage, but it is a very good pressure tool. A reminder that if you step on Yoshi or you take away his armor, he's done for. How bad? What, Wario and Smash 4? Wario and Smash 4 is, like... So Wario and Brawl was not really designed around Waft. Like, Waft was really strong, but Wario had, like... He was... Had some of the best drift in the game, if not the best. He was extremely tricky. And then in Smash 4, Sakurai was like, Alright, Wario is too strong. Waft needs to be the one thing he does. So he was completely designed around Waft. So Waft, like, was the strongest fucking move in the game, but you never hit it because he had nothing to pressure you with. It was literally all he could do. Which is weird, because you think Wario is an archetype that would be good no matter what, which is, like, strong air... Oh, he's looking. Uh, which is just strong aerials with high drift. And you think Wario is good in that world. But in Smash 4, where you want to stay grounded and shielding a lot of the time. So. What characters are good in every game? Uh, Fox, Pikachu. Those two are like the standouts. Um, honestly, Mario is a pretty solid pick. Mario was shit in Brawl, but I don't think... I think now that they care about balance, they want Mario to be good. Diddy, Zero Suit, yeah. Some movesets are always good. Like, Diddy cannot be bad with his moveset. I thought Bayonetta could never be bad with her moveset, and I might have been right. Um, but she definitely got worse. I think Bayonetta's moveset is fucking crazy. The way that it exists. Like, she can't be bad. She has too much creativity and, and flexibility. I think she's hard, though. Several more up airs on most of the cast, but not Yoshi, as he's able to just fly to safety. Yeah, Sheik was awful in Brawl. Said, they are still just scrapping. I don't think there's been a... Sheik being good set. is directly proportionate to if she has setups or not. If she has setups, she kills at like 110, 120, and even if they're hard, at least she can do it. If she has no setups, she's dead in the water. In Brawl, she had no setups, no combos, so you just hit people until they're at 300. Oh my god, it was so tense right there by the ledge. I didn't even know what to say, but Gluto with his feet back on Terra for him right now. Oh, the back airs, and now suddenly... She has setups now, but they're too Mame niche. Controlling this whole game I don't know if it's now. niche. Maybe Gluto niche is the right word. I think she has setups walk. now, but, like, they're very... There are 90 characters in the game. You gotta do a lot of homework. Some stuff transfers, right? But with all the matchups that you have to play, it's harder. Too much shit to know. Player hostile. That's a fun way to put it. How did they make Falco bad in 4? Um, 
reverse side, the back side. I, re I don't really know how to explain it. He's just slow fox. Slow fox doesn't really have kill setups. And also using that down smash as a get off me tool break the shield. <laughs> there it is, fully charged up smash. He's right back in at 65 damage of a deficit. His forward air was cracked. Falco forward air and back air were absurd. I hope Inkling is good in the next Smash. Dude, Inkling is one of my favorite character designs in any Smash game. I really hope she's good. I could kind of see the writing on the wall with Inkling. And I said it and everybody was memed on me, but like... Sometimes I have a good sense of characters are going to be good or bad. And when I played Inkling for the first like three months, I was like, yeah, this character doesn't have it. She's going to fall off bad. Sometimes. Sometimes I call it. Sometimes I'm way off. <laughs> but is Inkling's problem just kill power? Kill power and a very telegraphed game plan. Very little ambiguity. So it's not about, like, some characters, even if their kill power is bad, if they have a couple different things to kill you with, it's scary. Inkling doesn't. Why not? Of course, it'll work against you if you get knocked off the stage right after. Very risky. It, that move does not, using that move on stage does not come with no risk. I think Ludo putting a lot on the line there when utilizing that bike. And Ultron can body block some other projectiles like the Yoshi. I think that Ludo also with these two interactions, he just found another way to come that up. I remember the Steve is a gimmick low tier era. I thought Steve was Pac-Man Prime. I thought he was like... Uh, a more annoying version of Pac-Man, but he would get solved. The same way that Pac-Man does, kind of. Where it's like, a good Pac-Man can still win, but it's like, you get the game plan. My bad. <laughs> that diamond, I didn't realize how strong the diamond was. My bad. Pac-Man is not solved? I think he kind of is. Now, I mean, it's always going to be good, but at least you understand what to do. It's just about the discipline to do it. And it's always like character dependent. I think the bigger thing is Pac-Man can't kill in the air. So if you're just jumping around, around with Pac-Man, even if he hits that bell, his best thing he can do is that side B. Steve does not worry about killing in the air. <laughs> Gluto solved this one. Dude, that's what I'm saying about Wario. Like, on paper, Wario loses, but in practice, it's like he just drifts away, and then you swing, and then he hits you, and then you swing, and then he hits you. And Yoshi swings. Like, you can't keep being stubborn with Yoshi, you know? Gonna work to Meme's favor. Get that neutral air. Just break up some of the pressure and look how relentless he is with the edge oh, guards. There it is. No bike. Oh That's no. A weird Never mind. What a recovery coming out from Nice. Wario players. And this wob could just be the three stock. How does he do it? To get a dominating three. Wario has a surprising three. amount of mix. I don't think it's surprising. Wario is like the mix not the mix character, but like he is absurd mix. Good for Meimei, though, getting top eight. Wario is Mr. Mix, bro. Alright, do I want to watch any... I'll, if Spargo Leo comes on. So in case you guys aren't... Uh, in case you guys just got here, here's the plan for the stream. We're going to watch maybe one more set, and then we're going to play some Honkai Star Rail. And listen, you don't have... To stick around, but I would appreciate it if you left the tab open for me. Because it's a sponsor bit, and the more viewers, the better it goes. And then I'm going to raid the stream. So don't worry, you won't miss it. I literally just got here. Listen, well, I don't know if I'm leaving yet. I might keep watching. Depends on the next set. I mean, man, it's it's hard for me to root against the motherland of my family, France, but... I think the whole building wanted to see Meme take that. His myself. motherland? A little bit of a heartbreak to see him exit, but he made it to top. Max is French? I was been taking some time off, you know, chill with his wife. I didn't know get that. His life together, Family you know. Man. Yeah, for His real. last name is Russian yeah. as hell. There's like one vowel in it. It's like the last line of defense. I thought that shit was Czech. Here for Mexico, Spargo and Leo. Catch him as French. Side of the bracket, but 
Unfortunately, they are on the same side of the winner's bracket. So one I got to do 23 and me or something. I don't know what I am. Crazy set as we go through these replays here. Gudo with the adaptation, but Meme honestly was a very, very hot start in this set. You said one must fall, and Gudo was falling in your replay. You're white. That was just yeah. Thank you. That's helpful. Maybe I'm not. I might not be. You don't know. Neither do I. Who knows? You should stream it, and we can do bets. You want to do predicties on my heritage? I might be down for that. Can I dox my data? <laughs> yeah, will I get in trouble for that? Is that dangerous? Yeah, I have to agree with that. Italian? Uh, that's a bad bet. I don't think we're Italian. I think it's Irish. I think it's an Irish angle. Yeah. Based on my family names and stuff. Die. Holy. Rolling in on Wario is the most feels bad, man. It, it hurts so bad because you know you shouldn't do it. You know your ass should not be rolling in, and yet you do it. It's bad. Leo Spargo is next. Maybe one more set. That's only two out of what ten potentially eleven that you're gonna get to see. Maybe one more. Top eight here at Smash Factor Ten, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Whether you're out here in the crowd, whether you're watching from home, your three a.m. stream. Holy, it is twelve thirty. It just means so much to all of the people here in Mexico, and I'm sure the rest of the world is rooting for these guys. The scene has come so far since the last time I got to visit eight years ago in 2015 when I saw Leo defeat Mr. R in that legendary. Do people would go to Mexico and they would come back? Like, do oh, wait, I gotta pop ads because ads are coming in one minute. Hey, I, I'm popping ads. If you don't want ads, subscribe with Twitch Prime. We only need 10 more to hit 3k subs. Can we do it? That depends on you. Drop a Twitch Prime or a tier one, it's only $4.99 a month, and you won't get ads for a whole month. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Goodbye. Do you think you could do Sonic's percent for shoot on? Maybe, but I'm not doing it again. I already did it once, I already did it. Joker beats both Cloud and Pam, kinda. If you're talking about like Spargo or, oh, you're talking about just Spargo. Never mind. I thought you were talking about Pam for Shuton. I was gonna say Leo apparently is like 08 on Shuton, which is crazy. But. Mm. Did you try only up 64 yet? Nope, not yet. I'm gonna do it Tuesday. On Tuesday. Por favor, denle una cálida bienvenida a nuestro amigo, a nuestro hermano de Sister. Leo is not taking a single game for a shoot on. Really? Man. What's Pam, Pyra, and Mithra? Eso. Eso. Se estará enfrentando a la amenaza del Caribe. Quien carga Let me throw up the predicti. con el calor del sol y la velocidad del viento. Hagan ruido y que sienta lo que dice México. Reciban a Sony. Wait. This isn't Leo Spargo. <laughs> I just realized. Wait a minute. This isn't right. <laughs> Thank you, Palace. Well, fellas, that's bad news for Smash fans, but it's great news for fans of this brand new game that I can't wait to show you. Fellas. I would love to tell you about a game that I've been playing quite a bit. Listen, if you guys are going to wa go watch their stream, I totally understand. I'll see you guys later, okay? <laughs> listen, I, pre I would love it if you just left the tab open. Just stick around a little bit. Just listen in. Otherwise, enjoy Smash Factor. I'll see you guys soon. I would love to tell you guys about a brand new game that I just heard called Honkai Star Rail. That's right, Honkai Star Rail. And in case you guys haven't heard of it, it's a game by Hoyoverse.
you know Hoyoverse. These guys made Genshin Impact, which made the, which won that one award that the girl said the name funny. Remember that? Let's check out Honkai Star Rail for a little bit. Now, guys, there are in-game updates of version 1.2, where the main storyline on the Jean Jo Lofu reaches its climax. Various factions and powers have come together for the decisive battle. It's time to revel in the carefully crafted climax, featuring an epic story, cutscenes, and music. Hold on, let me turn it down a little bit. This joint kind of dramatic. D what? It's already at 12. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you're gonna pass through various delves and arrive at the location of a sealed ambrosial arbor, where a face-off with the one responsible for the Stellaron disaster awaits. And in version 1.2, two new maps, the Alchemy Commission and Scale Gorge Waterscape, will be available for you to explore brand new environments. There's also limited time events that are very interesting, with monsters, and most importantly, the free 10 warps. 10 warps?! You can log in for seven days to claim 10 Star Rail special passes for free. So let's check out Honkai Star Rail right now. Let's give it a shot. Wait, tutorial again. Oh, wait, is this the is this the start again? Oh, I guess it deleted my save. That's okay. I don't really remember much about it from the first time. So let's get back into it. What's she doing? Playing violin, dummy. <laughs> Seems I came at a bad time. <laughs> that lady is not playing an instrument. It's a future instrument where you don't need the instrument in your hand, probably. I bet. system time. Very punctual, Kafka. That's Kafka. You guys were saying that before. always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of the She's dumb as heck. Uh-huh. 23:44:59 system time. You did that. Coney is giving me a bad impression. No, I'm not. They completely invaded... All right. I don't know. All right, oh, it's time to fight the Legion. Happy. I'm in charge of this operation. Sorry, I'm right if you want to go. Let's get it started. After Can't wait all, to roll my my Elliot units. That's going to be script. nice. Why would it matter? So, this game, it's a turn-based JRPG. Like which you've probably seen a million times, you know? You know this format. But they've got all kinds of new elements where you can unlock cool characters with skills. Like this, I'm going to use my blast skill on this guy. Which breaks him and kills the other guy too. And then he dies. The battle is over. And just like that, it's a win. And this... Um, I don't want to look at that. When did the antimatter <laughs> legion become so weak? You sound depressed. No, I've just been streaming for six hours. But I was looking forward to this the whole time. I want. I can't wait to see what they added with the 1.2 update. Honestly, that's gonna change the game quite a bit. Oh, a doomsday beast. Good thing they're in my attack range, because that means I can use this and exploit their weakness by attacking early. And you're going to see that uh, reflected in a little bit of damage. So I actually have an ultimate that I can use when my energy is full, but unfortunately it's not full right now. So I'm going to use my blast, and I'm going to use it on the middle guy, because if I use it on the middle guy, it actually expends the other guy. So watch this. Use the blast, hits everybody, and they do a big damage. You see that? And now they're knocked down. And now it's time to pop my ultimate, Twilight Tail. Use this to kill all the enemies. There are some great cutscenes in this game. When you drop that ultimate, you get to see the characters pop off like this. Look at all these people die at once. The battle is over. We got Subula on the last bounty. Oh, God. Don't do that. Come on. Coney, you're going to summon Blade with your 10 free pulls with any luck? I sure hope so. I hope that happens. 
You're so good, Coney. Thank you. Yeah, I've been yeah, training yeah. a bunch. Where did you send it, Silver Wolf? Silver Wolf! Yeah, she's a hacker, I think. Not important. You... Of course not. Her ass is hacking. I'm just amazed at this fancy technique of yours. <sighs> just a little trick of tempering with the data of what we're There are ultimates in this game? Yeah! Toys. Ultimates! Like and skills! It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. A rating gun? Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of how much would you guys score on the rating I gun? I, I think I'd be like a, like a 78. Because I still have a lot of uh, growing to do. Five? It goes up to 11. Or to 100, chat. <laughs> it goes up higher. Time to switch to my team's new addition. It's Silver Wolf! Let's pick up some items. And continue on with the story. Can I open these? Yo, destructible objects! Where I can get currency! Coney, when do we get to play? Almost! The You're almost there. The space station is up ahead. You're almost in there. there will be lots of Legion I can't wait to pull. Wait, can I pull? I can't pull my stuff okay. yet, right? Not yet. Soon. Okay. Got it. Time to abuse the weakness! Got him right in the back. Never saw me coming. I think we're gonna... We're just... Yeah, so we can't use ultimates there. Let's use our single attack on this guy. Because we don't want to use too much. Unless I use my Rubik's Cube move. Gotcha! Oh, he died. Oh, never mind. He was in pain. My bad. Activate your ultimate now. Oh, shit. She's gonna hack him! Ban that user! Ban him now! I didn't realize it was a rhythm game. I, it not, I'm not hacking. I'm playing video games. Okay. <laughs> Ban his ass from the server. She got shot and it did 10 damage. Yeah, alien technology was oh not very strong in this universe. Someone or something. Oh, what's this? It's a new type of enemy. You don't look concerned. Looks like we're the ones. But they're the ones get <laughs> <laughs> Okay, time to knock these guys out of here. Let's use our skill point. Consume skill No, I wanted to change whatever. It's fine. You took the bait just like that. <laughs> oh, I used all my skill points. Now I can't use my impair skill. But that's okay. I'll get rid of that guy, and I'll wait for the next turn. I'll use it on the next one. May as well kill them all. Cody, is this going on YouTube? It might. Vince is unironically a, a huge fan of Honkai Star Rail. He might see some value in this. He might want to put this shit on YouTube. They might love that. I'm playing it right now. See, he's wrapped up. And that 1.2 update. Huge yeah, fan of the update. Sensation. And who wouldn't be? Where they added all kinds of new units and characters My and enemy. missions to explore. So much to do. Shoot that guy! <laughs> oh my god. Not a single soul. According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The yeah, it doesn't ring a bell. Now, listen. I know a lot of people love to play Honkai Star Where's Rail for its engaging Elio's story and character dialogue and cutscenes, but me, myself, I just, I'm a big fan of the gameplay, the so I'm gonna cut through okay. a lot of this just the to try out the game, you know. Connie, you seem like a natural at yeah. this. Have you played this tutorial before, or are you just gifted, or is this game just so pick-up and playable? I just think it's really accessible. I think that's what it comes down to. The game is extremely accessible, as they long as you've played JRPGs before and you kind of understand how it goes, and I assume that a lot of you have. But even if you haven't, guess what? I think it's actually better if you haven't played those games, because then you won't have any JRPG sort of preconceptions or things that you're thinking it might be. It's probably better if you haven't haven't done it but if you have played a JRPG so, it actually might be better because then you understand JRPG conventions 
And it's a little bit better because you get to see how this game kind of distorts it and tries different things with it, which is really cool. It tries out different uh, mechanics, which is really nice. So you're saying I shouldn't play this game if I played a JRPG. I think this game might be better if you've played a JRPG and might be better if you haven't played a JRPG. It all depends on the user. Whichever one is you, it's better for you. <laughs> Whichever one that you are, it's better to be that one. Strange thing number two. There's a roguelike mode and a boss rush and lots of story, cool team comps, and so much more. Thank you, Vince. Vince, the see, I would tell you all that, but I don't want to spoil everything for you. Vince is out of here spoiling that shit. She's a member of the G. 9 out of 10 on IGN? Oh, dude. How do they do it? Hoyoverse did it again. Is this free? And if so, where can I play it? You know that's the craziest thing. And thank you, Chatter. I haven't even brought that up. This is absolutely free. You can download it. Now I'm a pretty big con head, so I've been around, and I'm pretty sure you owe us a Sibula, right? No. No. No, I don't owe you anything. <laughs> Subulas must be earned. Not given. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna activate Kalis, cause uh that's my receptacle. Wanna give him a new name? Uh <laughs> no thank you. That's a good name. I just like to get immersed, you know? I like to use the same name there that they go. gave me. Cause it's like I'm playing as the character, right? Does he remember? Hmm. I'll remember you. Isn't a receptacle like a trash can? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing the dirty work. Let's find out together. There's so much to the story. Oh. <laughs> Where am I? A space station. But that's not important. Listen. You are in a daze right now. You don't know who stop, you. stop None what? That matters. Listen, I'm getting immersed. In the near future, you will encounter at the end of your journey. She's this talking is your very slow. Leo has foreseen. Do you like it? No, I, I don't want it. <laughs> he had a head a shake. Answer. So, Elio can foresee the future, but he can't make decisions for you. <coughs> Use that will of yours to reach the end of your story. That's the you I like. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. <laughs> we should avoid being seen. Next time, again. answer with Jabba words. <laughs> no, so I'm not Jabba. Long. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry. <laughs> Farewell. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know. Is Kimona still in here? Kimona, how am I doing? <laughs> Kimona's a professional voice actor, so. Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? <laughs> <laughs> Five gifties for Jabba response? The whole time? Kony, what's your dot 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 sound effect? <laughs> that was good, right? That was good. That was good. I don't remember a thing. Aww, Mine would be. That's not a dot 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 sound effect. <laughs> My name is Kalis. Name's Don Hung, and this is March seventh. <laughs> this space station was just attacked by the antimatter legion. Oh, I hate the antimatter legion, the dude. They always be attacking stuff. Where should I go? Back to the master control zone. Ask then the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the. 
Let's go then. Dan Heng goes. The story goes crazy in one v two. I can't wait to explore it. I really can't. I want to see what Dan Heng is up to. Why is her name March seventh? I don't know. It's intrigue. Let's find out together. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. Probably when she this got assembled or something. It's better if you have something Wait to a protect minute. yourself. Sonic 3 0 shoots on? Oh, I was just wrong then. Whoops. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe My as bad. long as you stick with me. Going to be a dub voice actor. I think you would word fit perfectly. Thank you. I think I could do it. Time to open the character menu to get the character information. Can I drop my pulls yet? Kalos is a character that follows the path of destruction. I didn't do that. Different types have followed different paths. Destroying who? <laughs> Guys, follow me. Where are you going? Where are you all going? Hmm? Where is everyone in chat going? I really don't get why she'd go out of her oh, to download Honkai Star Rail for Hoyoverse. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna sneak away on this. Oh no, the Antimatter Legion. I'll hit him in his weakness spot time to use my new attacks because now it's a new character the type icon indicates the enemy's weakness type this one is water and green let's use attacks of the same type as the weakness so she has the water the ice so i'm gonna do that and then use this and that breaks it and then the enemy freezes this guy has battering which i guess is weak to all of them but if i blast it i can hit all three now they're broken too. And they recover and use Hunting Blade. Fortunately, it doesn't do enough damage. Why are they all hitting her? Don't worry, she'll be able to strike back using the single target hit on that guy. Didn't really do a bunch, but now I can use my blast hit and they're all dead. Battle over. You're stronger than you look. Thanks. You seem to be quite the fighter. Thank you. Very good strategy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Coney, why should I play this RPG instead of something else? Uh, because this one's free. You can download it for free and you could get started right now. You could actually play alongside me if you download it fast enough. Oh, here we go. I can do it. <laughs> Never mind. I won't let's go. I'll take you to <laughs> I got the dot dot dot. Hell yeah. No, you could download this right now and actually play alongside me and we could both learn together. Maybe you could fight can I die? No. I was gonna say maybe you could maybe you could help teach me. Enemies weakness type can be seen by viewing them. <laughs> Classic Coney game. Thank you, Spag. Yeah. I just like something that lets me kind of explore the strategy. Um, like a like a strategic blend of action and story. And see, I, I strategically use that move um, to, to protect uh, the person. You see. Oh, no. A bad strategy. Unwise. Because... I didn't hit him, and his weakness was that one. Oh, that's my bad, bro. Try I blew it. I do love thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't run. Oh no, he obliterated, and now the shadowless void strike. My shield is getting knocked out, but now it's her turn, and I'm gonna use this single target on this guy. Because he's weak to ice and he died. Let's make it quick. Time to make it quick with this break move. I'm gonna hit both of them with it. Here I go. Take that. 
he's going to use the Vortex Leaf, but unfortunate for him, he's not strong enough. Time to use Girl Power. Oh no, he's locked on to me. I'll have to use my defense on my teammate in order to protect him with the power of cuteness. Here we go. Uh, I'll, ki I'll kill that guy, sure. <laughs> now this guy isn't weak to ice or baseball bats. But this is all I can do right now is just hit him. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Time to use my ultimate move. The Glacial Cascade. I should have used this earlier. I'm so silly. I forgot about ults. Glacial Cascade. Take this. Yeah. Or maybe Stardust Ace. Send the train. Then do it. Kalis ultimate offers two powerful attack modes. Single target, multi-target. Let's see single target. Got him. Blasted him with the big stick. Unironically, if I had a weapon in like a game, I love baseball bats. I'm a baseball bat guy. So seeing baseball bat representation in a game is fantastic. I love that. I knew it. <laughs> Rules are not meant to be broken. Shut up, old man. The future is now. It, it worked. You like Echo then? Echo doesn't have a baseball bat. He is like a cricket bat, which isn't the same. I don't know that. Dan, hang. Why are you here? I took another route to the upper level. I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured. This is the Dan Nothing Hang really. theme? You found him. Well, I suppose as the head of this... Then let's go talk to him. Oh, it's pronounced as Don Hung? Oh, my bad. Don Hung theme. Time to open the team setup to adjust my composition. Let's get him in there, too. You can have up to four characters? That means limitless team composition capabilities. There's so much we could do with these characters. Let's select Dan Hung and level him up using these materials. He's up to level four. I don't know if I should have done that because I could have leveled up my other guys. They're probably already level four. No, they're level two. Can I level me up? Uh, okay, now I'm level four. Good. I just want to be strong. Time to go to the monitoring, loop, monitoring room and meeting up with Arlen. That's not Arlen. Technique is a special use technique to gain an edge in combat. Okay. Oh, she can hit from far away. Wise. Clemency. Good. Never heard of it. I don't know what word that means. I don't know what that means. Don't know what that word is. March seventh technique can randomly freeze an enemy when the battle starts. Oh, dude, and now I get to use the green attack? What are these? I don't know what these two mean. Stab him! North wind! Is that his weakness? Because he just... He didn't even take damage there. <laughs> Whoops. I guess I'll shoot him. Let's make it quick. I'll use the blast move to knock all three of them into next week. Bow! Honey, March 7th is really cool, but my favorite yeah. was a five-star surpull of December 22nd. Is that true? <laughs> is it? Oh, wait. I just realized what that date is. Okay. I see. <laughs> Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Honestly, that, that's a date that uh, is very special to me, too, for a multitude of my reasons. Turn. I think we had a great time during that stream, and it was one that I look back on fondly, and I hope you do, too. It was so fun. Hooray. <laughs> Coney is torturing me with the way he plays. What do you mean? What should I be doing differently? Oh, that. That move is a triple hit. That's way better. Why would I ever not do that move? You couldn't have done it without me. That was so much better. You are so bad at every game you play. That's literally not true. I've been competitive in multiple games. Many games, in fact. What do you mean? 
That's true. Yes, it is true. I have been competitive. Just Thank you, chat. Why is the antimatter I have Lady Leader. Don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah. I was a top 1000 gamer in Mario 64. Quickly. Yeah. So right now our highest priority is to return to the master control zone and plan a counterattack. Let's get in After there. The evacuation was complete. The elevators were all shut down to keep the legion away from this since Lady Asta sent you to look for me. Oh, right. <sighs> but she played Caitlyn mid. Hell yeah. And I won a lot of games. Uh, here it is. <laughs> now that we found the key, we should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. All right, let's unlock the elevator then. I think I'm on a big train, right? Is that what's happening? Let's go. Hold on. Uh, okay. Hold on. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. I'm getting water. I'll be right back. One second. Hold on. I thought the train was a space station. I thought they were the same. Thanks for sticking around. Uh -huh. Let's uh, get back to it. You won't slow us down. Agreed. Let us worry about the <laughs> You could use me as a crutch. Aren't you a nice kid? Stop slinking. What are you talk? I just went to the Thanks. bathroom. The train stops at the space station. Oh, that's the star rail, right? That's what that is. Traces. Oh, it's a skill tree! Time to strengthen my character using traces. Can I skill up a different character? I don't want to skill that person up. Time to activate my attack boost. And then immortal third str Oh, wait. Perseverance. Each town stack increases the at the start of battle. Immediately regenerate. Oh, I need to ascend more. My ass is not ascended. Yeah, I can't. Oh, man. Whatever, I can get all three of these. Now, all three of those traces have been activated. Can I add that other guy to my team now? I don't think I can, right? The fourth guy that I just met? No, okay. He's already on your team. No, the fourth guy I just talked to. Arlen, yeah. Oh, is that a... Oh, that's a space anchor. I thought that was a bad guy. Let's go ahead and heal up. Max HP reached. Let's get to battle. Blast him! Using its weakness against him. 
Looks like they're frozen. I'll use my single target move against that guy, I guess. Because he was already frozen. Wait until you can pull. Soon. This guy's dead, but yeah, I can still do that. Because I can. Okay. Let's blast all three of them. Take this. I sure hope Coney beats the boss this bounty. Last time he rage quit. Okay, I didn't rage quit. The boss was... If I remember correctly... If I remember correctly, that boss was actually a, uh, a scripted loss. And it was one that I just didn't have time to grind back to, if you remember. No, I hit the wrong per... Let's go. Oh, my ass was not paying attention. Whatever, they're both dead. Got him! Let's keep going through the space station. What could happen next? Dangers around every corner. Watch out, everybody. <gasps> Is this a secret room? What's in the chest? Five stellar jades. That's really going to help me in my mission. No scripted losses in the game. Just skill. Yeah, honestly, I prefer it that way. But also, I prefer it when games have a little bit of a, of a narrative element where you can lose fights on purpose to give you something to aspire to. I do actually prefer that. But also, I prefer when the game just gives you a real boss and doesn't dress it up in some, you know, cutscene stuff. That's nice. Take this! <laughs> okay, I tried to hit E to do my technique move, and he snapped his fingers. My bad. Clemency? Never heard of it. I hate clemency! Ethereal dream! Oh, he brought his ass into a into more like a nightmare. He didn't even die. Oh, I can still attack. No, his ass is dead. Wait, why would I ever pick the first one then? Dude, the second one always does way more damage. Time to blast them. Take this. Cunning, will you ever do a watch along of your sets, Bulls and Pooh back in the day? No, I miss calling where you throw the Breck favor even more now since he displaces people after stealing their money. No, no, <laughs> that's funny. No, no, that's living in the past. That set is so old now. Uh, hey, these shiny things. Are... No. They were acquired. That's a old ass set, bro. Oh, because I need to use skill points? Oh, true. I got to use my skill points. You're right. Thank you, chat. See, there's so much to do and so much to see in this game that it's easy to just miss stuff. But I'm going to use the light cone here and equip it now so I don't forget later. Now I have the light cone of destruction. Which is the path that he follows. No one, no one else's path. Just his path of destruction. I'll use the space anchor to recover my HP and continue on my path of destruction. When is React Wars? <laughs> Not tonight. Aww, is that it? Whoa, is that a secret? That wasn't too many monsters. How do I get over oh, there? Bring bad luck. Listen, you guys know I normally hate backseating, but now I just gotta know. How do I get over there, guys? <laughs> Does anyone know? No one? Where's the jump? Later you can go over there. Oh man. But that'll give me something to aspire to in the future. So that's okay, actually. Move carefully. I'm going to use my Glacial Cascade. Check out this awesome move. Time to freeze. None of them froze. What about this? Stardust Ace! Can't wait to break some rules. I'm gonna knock these guys the fuck out. Hiya! Damn, 
Yeah, they both died. Okay, what is the difference between these two? Oh, this one gives a skill point. This one takes one away. Ah. I see. Got it. Oh, no. He's going to use a powerful shield or guard attack. So I'm going to use the power of cuteness to protect my friend. Uh, Real-time combat view displays buffs. And God, this is complicated. I guess I'll just use my single target hit. Take that. And then one of these. Looks like my ult is almost ready. I'm going to send him into the nightmare dimension in just a moment. Why he get two moves? I'll do this to get more skill points. Although that didn't really do any damage. And then maybe one of these. Looks like my ult is almost up too. This guy's about to really have it when I send him into my dream. But actually, I should, <laughs> but actually, I should probably hold on to it, right? I probably want to hold on to it for the next fight. I don't want to space him yet. Should I? Should I? Can I space him? <laughs> I'll space him. The truth of life and death. All right, we're sending him to the to the, the space stream. Take this, yeah! Thought that would do more. What about Stardust Ace? And I'm gonna break them right now. Yeah! Phew. That was a close one. Wait, oh, my lights went off. Wait, I forgot they go off at one. Hey, oh, sore losers. You can't just gang up on us. Woo, this computer is making my room hot. Or start, wait. Yeah, the computer is making my room hot because the game is so graphics intensive. It's burning hot. Why does it always have to get this exciting? Anyway, at least you're back. Who's that? <laughs> what are you guys undoing? Oh, you, Himeko, what took you so long? Oh, it's Himeko. Yeah. I think this is where I get to pull stuff soon, right? Hey, nice to meet you. In other words, March has right, let's skip through. Come on. About how you want to uh. In that case. Uh, I'd rather not answer. Huh. Looks like we have two Don Hungs on our team now. <laughs> <sighs> Please. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Oh, I got Himiko. Time to add her to the party. Never mind. She's already on the party. Uh, let's continue forward. I think I'm about to pull soon, right? I think that happens very soon. I'm gonna pull! Can <laughs> we press four, please? I wonder what that chatter wants me to press four for. Wonder what that could be. What is the current situation? The situation is under control for now. Damage to our security system was my real problem. Does this game let you go fishing? I don't know, Vince. Speak on that. Can you fish? Be of great help. Hmm? Wait, warp. That's this. Oh, hell yeah. It's time to pull. Wait, do I have 10 more? Oh, I only have one warp. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, send the train. Conductor, bring me a really good pull. Send blade. Asta! Oh, I was going to get her anyway. <laughs> that was a scripted pull. Come on. I'll leave the reassurance They're supposed, the supposed to do points. that. Come on, man. Check your Did game you mail. Wait. Um, You're welcome to come to Himiko. Uh, I will. 
Got it. No. Got it. It's Serval! Down the path of erudition. I don't know what that word means. Uh-oh. Are these achievements? Got it. Claim some essence. Do I have another... Damn, I got 20 warps. Now, chat, where do I... Which one warp do I do? Stellar warp or a brilliant fixation warp or a lost soul warp? Which one do you think I should do? What do you think? The top one? Departure warp. Pull on top banner. Oh, this one's got minus 20% too. What a steal. Let's pop it. Send it. Bring me blade right now. This instant. It's... Mutual Demise. And Amber. And Hidden Shadow. And Meshing Cogs. And Hidden Shadow. And Defense. And Hidden Shadow. And Hidden Shadow. And it's Sampo! Who has the path of nihility. Like nihilism? Like emptiness or nothingness? What? Shattered home. Wow. Great, great pulls there, I think. Those went great. Should I pull more here? I get 50. Do I do more pulls? Do I do that again? Keep pulling. It's time to pull once again. Use the... Do I take it? Punching my ticket to the Honkai Star Rail. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's Amber, Passkey, Loop, Chorus, Cornucopia, Cornucopia, Shared Feeling, Pioneering, Hidden Shadow, and Tinian. Pretty good pulls. Stop. Stop. Do I do just normal warps now? <laughs> Let's use her. Okay. Do I just do normal? No, do I save it? I guess I should save it. Tingyun is actually insane. Wait, really? Wow, I guess I got a pretty good team. I'm going to swap her in for Dan. Wait, quick setup. Uh, Tingyun for Dan. Who has the path of harmony? No. For her. Add. Now Tingyun is on my team. Now I'm Himiko. And now I'm Tingyun. Oh, she's like a cat girl, I guess. Some kind of animal. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, wait, no. I don't want dialogue. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll leave you to get some rest. I hope all this chaos will end. Me too. Quest complete! <laughs> Stay four, please. <laughs> what was I? Out. Was that a switchblade? Oh, ads coming up right now. Guys, there are some ads that are going to pop. If you don't want to miss Honkai Star Rail gameplay, subscribe right now with Twitch Prime or a tier one. Otherwise, enjoy some ads. I'll see you soon. Thanks, kid. But first, let our pre-check. It's quite a bit. <laughs> Got it. Uh, oh. Wrong order, kid. Push the control stick up to activate. Upright. Side. Ready? Yeah, upright. Wonderful. Now. Got it. Locked Abraham, in. Abraham, the top priority. Sorry, I just I want to get to more gameplay. You know. But yeah. What a, is it? What a? It's a pizza cutter. <laughs> huh? She loves pizza? Is that her... Press 4 to see it better. I... I can't hit 4 any more than I'm doing right now. I need to leave. No. You guys know that, uh, that put it on the pizza video? Um... I told you guys this story, but my wife actually is... Her cousin's friend is one of the girls in that video.
Oh, these are missions? Alright, I can claim the Star Rail Special Pass. <laughs> the Mary-Kate and Ashley one? Yeah. It's something like that. I don't know. I'm too tired to explain it. But yeah, she knew somebody who... Oh. ching -K? ching -che? Is that it? Don't you pronounce that with a... Don't undo. <laughs> Just move on. Okay. I I uh I w my my friends were playing Genshin and in that game there's a character called Kaching and I thought that was funny. <laughs> sorry, Mihoyo, for the poor pronunciation. Yes, please forgive me, Mihoyo. I'm sorry. I'll stay. Let's go. <laughs> oh no. The space station is hurt as creep. But we can't just either way. That's why we have to We got to get out there. He's the one who can With Kalis. This is the supply zone. Mr. Yang. The Astral Express. Mhm. Mm I like right now we might be able to Coney, where's 300,000 subs torquing? I think you ended up on the wrong stream. I think you were in a different stream that made a promise to you, and you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> Certainly not during a sponsored stream. Technique points? How do I use my technique points? I'm going to use them on this guy. Let's level up. But how do I use the technique points? I don't... Oh, the tech. Oh, now I remember. Now I remember. I'll use my technique points from her. Take this! Oh. My bad. Customers are always welcome. Customers? Miko can launch follow up attacks during battle every time an ally inflicts weakness break. Okay. Well, I have the purple thing, which these guys don't like. Take this! Uh, can I defend myself? With me out here, how can we lose? That seems cheap. Let's go. Ting Yun is a buffer. Buff someone. Now it's too late. You should have told me before. Come on, bro. You can't run. It's okay though, cause soon I'm gonna break the you. defense, and then we're in a good spot. Time for me to use my blast. Take this! Damn! That was pretty cool. <laughs> when charge reaches three points, Himiko will automatically launch a follow-up attack. You won't get away. Oh, there she goes. Victory rush. Use the pizza cutter. Holy! That shit was kind of strong. That's it. Time to stop Let's wasting my time. Nice. Glacial Cascade! Oh, sorry. This I didn't Cascade! I'll use my support to buff that guy. Because he's the main character. I thought you said she was good, bro. She didn't even do anything. Or did she? Watch this damage. Boom! Damn, that actually did kind of do a lot. Use the single target pizza cutter move. Oh, his ass about to break out. It's okay, though. Is she like a shopkeep? Is that her vibe? Buy more pulls. It's better content. No, no. <laughs> see, I'm on a challenge run to see how far I could get without buying pulls. That's otherwise I would. Because, you know, I want to see all the characters in this game. But I'm challenging myself to see how far I could go. You know, that's the vibe. Oh, what are we going to do to get over there? Let's go down here and open something up. <laughs> that dude was sitting. He didn't even mean anybody any harm. Get away. Victory Rush, take this! Victory Rush is kind of crazy, actually. 
Oh no, now it locked on. But I'll it use my buff. Done. And then defend that guy. Right there while I give you a, present. a present? I'm gonna give these guys a present. It's my the blast from my baseball bat. Take that. Wait, it said detonated. What happened there? Where's the gambling? What you <laughs> you wanna you wanna drop predictions on this? I'm saving my ult because I feel like I'm. I think I have my the boss soon. If I'm not mistaken, I think the boss is coming up. So I should probably save ult, right? This guy takes a long time to kill. Oh, because I don't have the green guy anymore. My bad. I lost my green guy because I had these people. You get ultimates very easily. Oh, really? Oh. Team comps are very important in Honkai Star Rail. Be sure to have a flexible team comp ready. I sure will. It's important for me to be able to vary up my strategy when I play games like these. And I can't wait to see what variations I can have on my winning formula. Let's open it up. How come I can't play Silver Wolf? Because I, I had her before. She wasn't in my party, but I you thought she was, you know, going to... I'll buff that guy. All the best. I just keep buffing you him. Have the worst luck oh, I should have. I probably should have buffed her. Because she breaks them. Whatever. Better Kill that guy. Oh, they die in one hit. Never mind. Good. Reach the end of the story in your own way. I will. Looks good. Thanks. Keep at it. Oh, that's the heal move. I forgot. That's the skill thing. I should be using that. Oh, I'm getting close to the boss. I remember this. Uh oh. I hope I'm ready. Looks good. Let's do uh this guy yeah use your technique gotcha weakness attack break it for the victory rush oh she didn't do it why didn't she do it i thought she was gonna do it i'll hit this guy with this move oh i should have just done the never mind whoops i should be using my ults bro but i'll use ults i'll use ults. i just don't want to be caught unawares during the boss, you know? I'm nervous. You won't get away. Victory rush! Brrr. So much damage. And you know what? I'm gonna use this one too. Check out this awesome move. The glacial cascade from the sky where you shoot the ice and it turns into bunnies and then the bunnies freeze the enemies. And also, amidst the rejoicing clouds. Good omen. Enemy regen damage boost. Oh, she, he has half his ult now. Okay. That's kind of crazy. Great Tingyun ult usage. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so she just has a, a nuclear bomb. Just like a satellite blast. <laughs> Dude, that almost killed her. Not an extra action. Okay, we're safe. Dude, that shit actually almost killed her. That kick was strong. Customers are always welcome. Oh, what are we going to do? Uh, I guess I could just... I should buff someone else. Yeah. Let's defend. Uh... Take that! End of bow. But good thing I have my shield on. 
There's the girl power. Oh no, my team is not diverse. I just realized I have no way to break this guy. This is tough. Because the only person that can is my main guy. What am I going to do? Uh, is he going to wake up? <laughs> His ass is sleepy. Uh, unreal projection. Stop hitting him, dude! Can we wake him up? How long is he out for, dude? Ah, here we go. Let's make it quick. Let, please do. Let's use this. I have all these skill things, but I don't know what to use them on because he has a, a multi, uh, the big hit. But maybe that's what I should do. I'm gonna die. I don't wanna be alone. Dude, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> this guy is going to kill me. He's not even the boss. It didn't even get close. Oh my god. This guy's gonna wipe my team. What am I doing wrong? Oh no. My final blessing. Please kill this guy before we die. Use this. Here we go. Use it all. Just use it. Kill that guy. Please, God. Please, God. Ne you next. He blows up. Yup, that's 100. Yes. Okay, final blessing. Give it to that guy. Thank you. Ting Yun ult blessing. Let's go. Oh, Andy gets to go? Let's see how this does. Oh, so that's just, just really strong. I should just do that regardless. Got it. Okay. I should just do that even if it's not a multi-hit. I was saving it in case I like had to hit multiple people. I see. Okay. Ow! <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Uh What do I do now? Combat is a series of precise machinations. Uh You can retreat? Wait, that's an option? Okay. It won't happen again. Strategy. Take this! Oh, I don't have a skill thing. Okay. <laughs> I had to sneak away, yeah. Alright, we're good now, because... Watch this. Ready? Watch. Oh, dude. I didn't do... I should have had her power up my damage before I did this. Wait. Maybe I can. No, I can't. Okay. Alright, just... Just blast them. I blew it. You won't get away. I blew it, bro. That's my bad. But I can use this. Right? Give him the alt back. You see? Just like that. And then I also use the satellite blast. Kill them all. Right? You stink at Honkai. I'm learning. This is my first time ever playing. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this it's my awesome first time. Move. I'm learning along with everybody else here. Okay, let's level this guy up. Make him stronger. Great. And then we're gonna shoot that guy. Got him. Oh, they're not even moving. They won't even get the chance. Ow! The <laughs> donkey kick is so strong. Ow. Why does he get two moves, dude? These guys are kind of strong, actually. Is that guy not dead? I'll just keep buffing this guy. Although I should have killed the other guy. Never mind. No, no, I should have. Oh, wait, no. She can shoot him. Never mind. Okay, he's dead. Oh, no. I didn't protect. <laughs> Uh-oh. Whatever. It's fine. 
Oh, his, her ass is tired. Don't kill him. Oh, dude, this is so bad. Oh, she broke out. Good. Okay. Let's use our Stardust Ace. Again. Rules are made to be broken. That's true. And I'm gonna break some. Right now! Farewell hit! It didn't do anything. This game is hard, dude. How tired are you? Very. <laughs> I've been I've been streaming a while. But don't worry, we're only one fight away. I think this guy is like at the mid boss of the game. And once he's down I think we're in a good spot. Did I just not level up my guys? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> oh my god. All right, well, this is a tough fight, as you can see. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat him today. But guys, just download Honkai Star Rail for yourself. Wake the fuck up. Check, why don't you download Honkai Star Rail for yourself for free right now on PC, Android, and iPhone. And you could try it for yourself, and maybe you could beat that boss. Let me know how it goes, will you? <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, that's the end of Honkai Star Rail for me. But don't worry, I'll be playing it more on stream in the very near future, for sure. So. Already, uh, that was a boss. That was definitely a boss, actually. Alright, everybody, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna go raid Smash Factor Gaming, who is smack dab in the middle of their top eight. Okay? Let's fucking go, I loved that, yeah. Alright, go watch Smash Factor Gaming. Enjoy the rest of the top eight. I am so tired. I'll see you guys uh, Tuesday. Here's a little treat since you guys stuck around. Good night. Oh, yeah.